Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Demon Pit Week stream number four. Dark Void versus a lost thumb drive at Medieval Times. <laughs> Let's uh, get over here to the most <laughs> exciting title screen in all of gaming. Check it out. We've been poking it with a stick for like 10 minutes saying, do something. <laughs> it doesn't cut to any video. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, no, there's no trailer to the show. There's nothing. I, um, part of me wonders what the hell the actual shipping game is. Because I think all I've ever seen in this game is the E3 trailers. Yeah, I feel like I've seen maybe two trailers and some screenshots of some magazines. I believe that we'll be doing cover shooting, but going up a building. I think that's it. the idea. We're the Rocketeer. Uh huh. This is a Gears like, but we go up a wall because we have a jetpack and that's how physics work. Right. But I don't actually know. Right, that might not even be in the game. Any day now, Capcom will scam my ass into streaming a non-game. <laughs> I'll just be like, yeah, everyone everyone loves, uh, what was it, Squat Thrust? Yeah, uh, that game, huge Capcom game. I don't know why no one bought it. And then we're going to stream it, and it's going to be two and a half hours long, and we will not even hit a button. <laughs> I, yeah, like every other one of these Capcom Western developed projects have some horrible reputation. This has nothing. Yeah, this thing, it feels like the public reception for this game got chain lightninged off of every other game they shipped and no one actually knows anything about Dark Void. I know more about the Dark Void DSi spin-off than this. Yes, the, the Dark Void Zero, the totally real game that came out on the NES. Yeah, definitely. It, had, it, had, it starred Jimmy Fallon or something. <sighs> I forgot there was like a Jimmy Fallon cameo or whatever. In yeah, there's just some weird text joke in the beginning. It was real dumb. God, that was desperate. Mm -hmm. But the weird thing is like, this is, they set it up like this because allegedly this was they were trying to sort of shape this new ip into it no it's like bionic commando and it's like guys that bombed yeah but, but what are you talking about it's like bionic Commando. no one even played that don't don't do that um so Yippee. really bizarre choices or you know we can just go with the modern vintage gamer thumbnail he does when it's even Vaguely in the most stretched way possible, applicable mistakes were made. <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail on YouTube. Me just being like this, and then like a red arrow pointing to Dark Void, just the fucking box, and it's just gonna say, mistakes were made. 2010, 14 years ago. Where's Dark Void 2? Okay. They're this... gonna make that instead of one of the franchises that anyone wants from Capcom. I want you to make Dark Void 2. Especially right now, having not played Dark Void. Yeah, I was Void. like, wait, I don't know if you're going to say the same thing. I don't know these. if I'll feel the same by the end of this, but uh, right now. Um, okay, I got to get this joke out of the way. So anyway, uh, Jonathan Blow was like, nobody has implemented a rewind system as, as high fidelity as the one in Braid. And I did a GDC panel about it. How embarrassing. Those things are useless. Anyways, modern vintage gamers should just do a video based on him being right. You should do a whole video that's just like, the rewind system in, in Braid is so powerful. It is just Braid. It's just zoom-zins on shots of... Oh, God, that, that remaster... That remaster is coming out soon. The definitive yeah, edition is. of Braid is. is coming out in the next we two can't months, stop it. isn't it? I don't know if it's in the next two weeks, but it's soon. No, two months. Two, two months. months. Okay. That's what I said. Yeah. Two weeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? going to have a heart attack. I think it was May last we heard. I don't know anymore. Bob, let us see what lies beyond the know. dark void. Sure. And this is not Dark Sector, not to be confused. Oh my fucking God. Just so I we're even... clear. This is not Dark Sector. That's had a much bigger cultural impact than Dark Void. But that's only because they took the thing from the other thing. I haven't I haven't played Dark Sector and I haven't seen the movie. What is it? The Crawl? crawl. Just Crawl? Yeah, just Crawl. Not even there's, the no, cr there's no the, I don't think. Ah! Wow, yeah, they... Okay, options. Let's check for some titles. What is this, like, knockoff Halo menu? Okay, firstly, 
one of the smartest audio balance screens in all of 7th Gen. No, go back. I want to I wanna talk about it while it's up. Blaring music, gunfire going. Highlight voice, though. I don't hear anyone. Can you adjust it? And... Your resistance is blind. Okay, cool. This is, this is, this is like really smart. Yeah, actually. Most video games do something completely not emblematic of the gameplay, right? Right. And this is just like, what if I flared every sound effect there is at once? <laughs> like I will in 10 minutes when you hit new game. <laughs> uh, Xbox Live menu type B. What is this? This is the Xbox OG menu. It, it really is. <laughs> one second. Can you go back to control controls? Because sure. like, I feel like we can learn a lot from a game from its controls. Okay, so when we go into the air, we're going to be inverted. Mm. Because we're flying. Yeah, I'll we'll see how that feels. That might be fine. I'm sure that'll make sense. Right. In the gameplay, in the moment. Uh, we're playing this on the Xbox Series X, so we're going to get faster load times, we're going to get steady performance, and we're going to get 16 times anisotropic filtering to make it look real good. Aliens, Colonial Marines will get none of these benefits. <laughs> it's all, wow. Mm. Not back and back. <laughs> Let's let's see what's in here. Okay. New game. Normal difficulty. We got this. Oh god, gross. John Schwando says on mouse and keyboard this control is completely wrong because the mouse is simulating a joystick. Oh, on I love PC. those. That's isn't that the, the alien logo they just used? No. Okay. Thank All you. Right. There's definitely no similarities between these games we're playing tonight. Thank you. Well, this already looks nothing like I was expecting. <laughs> oh my god, why are we Colk McGrath strapped into a jetpack? Oh my god. Hey, it's Anthem. Great. Oh yeah. Don't worry, buddy. Anything happen? You got flight support on either Damn. side. How many soldiers do you think die from lighting their ass on fire? All but you. <laughs> they had to find the perfect assless soldier. Uh, yes. Wait, how are you breaking? I think it is safe. Are you uh, putting out your arm slightly? Yeah, I guess. No, you. You know, honestly, I thought you would have a handgun. Oh yeah, that's it's fair. And maybe you do when you land. Because those, those you these are shooting when you land. There's no way they're just like, you're just fucking Iron Man, <laughs> right? Oh my god, ambush. Ooh, 15 frames per second HUD update. Uh huh. It looks great. This is way louder than I was expecting. Sorry about that, everyone. If only there was a sound test that perfectly prepared me for this. I can't say I expected a fully flying simulator type statement like this. Oh yeah? Yeah, no, I thought that, would, that was too advanced. I don't think they showed this off. I don't remember seeing this shown anywhere. Otherwise, I feel like my brain would have like, put this in the same box as Anthem jokes to make. Right. I feel like I should have quick turns and stuff because I'm just a man with a jetpack. But they haven't introduced that yet. Maybe they will. Okay, Bob. Now I need you to rate it on how it feels so far on an Independence Day on PS1 to Star Fox 64 scale. I didn't play Independence Day on PS1. Oh, that's no idea. Um, but it's better than Warhawk on PS1. But not as on good. On PS1. Okay. But well. not as good as uh, Star Fox on N64. <laughs> Yeah, I would say Warhawk, I think on PS1 felt better than, uh, I think that felt better than Independence Day. Chad, did anyone else play these three games? <laughs> I feel like that's such a small, if only more streamers streamed Independence Day on PS1. Good job on the Chivo. Whoa. Yeah, wow. I'm What's I'm I'm oddly befuddled by it being this choppy. This is uh as I just said on back and pat series right. X. Oh that's cool. That's like a Star Wars. It is. 
Man, our main character's design is horrible. I love that he's Cole McGrath in a jetpack. He's that just is unbelievable. Those generic seventh gen. Where did you get ever. that? <laughs> I don't know. He's bonded in because he needed it. it. Are we sure this isn't Warhawk? <laughs> this could have been a Warhawk. But they made a Warhawk after this. It was like two years later and it was really good. Yeah. Unfortunately, no one cared. No one cared that it was really good. Okay, maybe that wasn't us, because that guy got vaporized. And this is a week okay. later. Maybe we're gonna get oh. his jetpack. Oh. We're gonna be what cool. If, what if he was our brother? Man, this really is the Rocketeer. Holy shit. Yeah, what? Holy shit, this really is the Rocketeer. To any Zoomers in chat, I'm sorry. Even I barely only remember the Rocketeer, but this is enough for me to just be like, holy shit, is literally the Rocketeer. Maybe yeah, I don't. I think I've only ever seen trailers. Never actually seen it. Business for another month or two. I hear they're sending a private courier. Probably so quiet. I don't know. Wants to check the flight plan three times over. Will? Ava? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? This is my plane. You is that Nolan pilot? North? You're the courier. Somebody would call him a Nolan Probably North type. Strange. <laughs> I am so, we have been playing for like 15 minutes, not even. Uh-huh. And I'm just completely floored that this is Uncharted uh -huh. and the Rocketeer. Right. On either side. You don't want to start a war, do you? Your riding co-pilot is the very cause of my dishonorable discharge. Why is he quieter than everyone else? I don't know. Why does she have a film grain skin condition? <laughs> right, according to the charts, we're now officially inside the Bermuda Triangle. March 1918 swallowed up the USS Cyclops and all her crew. Anybody ever tell you you're a superstitious son of a bitch? Yeah, I can't believe this is literally we made Uncharted, but the Rocketeer. Yeah. Chris says, I thought this was a space game. No. No, not at all. I, yeah, but I didn't think it was Uncharted. Right, that I had no idea. I'm, I'm all for the Mirror Triangle fiction, <laughs> though. <laughs> that was, what was that face? It was incredible is what it was. <laughs> he his turned into a source fil filmmaker, man. <laughs> his jaw was trying to wrench itself free from his head. What happened? Oh, that's my friend, Dark Void. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. This is Uncharted. Why did they tell no one? I don't know. What is wrong with them? <laughs> that would have sold. <laughs> hey, Capcom, just go. Hey, we're making an Uncharted. Is yeah. okay? Please play our Uncharted game. It's Uncharted, but we have no <laughs> money. <laughs> I. I feel like there was a better example of a charted but no money in seventh gen. I'm trying to remember who specifically shipped one of those. <laughs> oh, we, oh my god, look at that jump! What's that? He wasn't the only one who saw the crash. We better get moving. Moving? What about the plane? What about Cooper? Well, please! Cooper didn't make it. He didn't. Uh, please press go. the back button to review the current objective. Follow Ava to village. Um, We're not safe here. Yeah, I feel like Enslaved isn't quite Uncharted, because it's not no. a third-person shooter, and you're not a handsome guy, and you're not on a tropical environment, and you're not having high-flying adventures based on movies that they themselves were based on serials. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is clearly what all this is. Yes. We shouldn't be this far south. Before the crash, you're not some handsome guy and enslaved. I wouldn't. You're not traditionally well, handsome. I'm not certain, but judging from the direction our plane was facing, what's I think the term? The right way. What's the name of the actor for uh, Indiana Jones? Harrison Ford. You're not a Harrison Ford type. Yeah, you're not like an enslaved. That much is certain. <laughs> the Monkey King's more like. The Hulk. <laughs> I, I was gonna say he's more like uh, that the guy who plays Aquaman, like that. Yeah, kind, that kind of uh, actor. Yeah. Hold up. 
Her face is so good. Take cover. Okay, I was like, when's he gonna say take cover? And then it was a full minute later. <laughs> is he gonna be attacked by some monsters? Are we gonna just jump uh, yes. right to... Uh... Oh no, the robots. Oh my God, the robots. Right, I remember seeing robots in the ads now. And they have the face with the slit. Why did they? <laughs> I, I need to call it down. Grab a fallen weapon. I need. What is this music cue? They discovered the majesty of guns. These guns are their comical. Friend's corpse. What? The fact that gun is the size of her? Yes. Is funny to you? Yeah. Are you okay? Got it. Like, Neva, be careful. If you get lost, push the back button. Or as we know it now, squares. I love squares. I seriously cannot deal with the fact they didn't stress that it was an Uncharted. Right? Oh my like, god, this guy is loud. Should I turn so down the sound loud. effects? Yeah, I feel like we should nerf ludicrous. the sound effects in this game and the music slightly. Wait, did that okay, go a little bit further with the sound effects? Okay. Okay, yeah, that should we should be good now. Okay. By the way, chat, I agree with you. These subtitles suck. Yes, for sure. I have the TV in front of me and I'm just like, oh blue, that's a choice. <laughs> Feel really loud, but whatever. Oh yeah, the the <laughs> Chris Chris Wolfhart didn't get to see the fucking title screen and how it's the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's a it's a choice. <laughs> They're like, but what if the Xbox gamers get upset that this isn't charted? <laughs> I don't know. Back in the service, I was briefed on some tech the fascists were developing. Serious black book stuff. It's like literally that. the Rocketeer. Yeah. But, uh, uh, but in an uncharted environment, I'm for some reason. I'm losing it. Yeah, the fascists. That's just what they call themselves. Yeah. Excuse oh, we have a super. Oh my god. What? Oh, it literally loads like normal. Okay. We've okay. gotten coveted technology. You found a tech point cache. This floating thing is a cache? I guess. You couldn't just call it a tech point? Anyways, tech point caches add a large sub of tech points to your collection. What are tech points? Nice. Oh, he's excited. They're nice. <laughs> do, 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 do. I just, I just cannot. Uh, I, mm. There's more of them. They must have heard the gunfire. Like I, I've got you covered. I get that you shouldn't go out there and literally say, "Hey, please buy our game." It's literally uncharted. Right. Mixed with the Rocketeer. Some might say illegal <laughs> to say that. However. However, did this just did this just run like total shit on a real 360? Almost certainly. That's got to be like if it's having this much trouble on the Series X. Have we checked the video options menu? There might be an uncap option. I don't think there. It's was. very rare. Yeah. No, okay. Brightness. So I was like, I think all I thought was brightness, but we'll check. Some games do that, and good God, I wish more did. This reminds me of XCOM Declassified. I always wanted to see that game. I grew up with um X X X clowns. X clowns. That's that's what Magneto says when you run into him. I grew up with XCOM Beneath the Deep. What is the Terror from Beneath or whatever? Um, and that was mortifying. I don't think the other expansions or versions of XCOM could have been nearly as terrifying as that one. Uh, Kid Me was Terror from the Deep. Yeah. Uh, that, uh, that had an impact. Also, that game mechanically also feels like watching humanity get churned through entropy and fast forward. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa Bye, whoa, Will. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'll miss you, Will. Oh, you wish you had a jetpack now, huh? Yeah. I didn't think, I thought this would feel more like Uncharted where it would like stop me at all from doing something insane like that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I mean, to be fair, Uncharted probably would have had you go slow-mo halfway down and go, Ooh, and then put you right back at the top. Right, exactly. Or 
if it's Uncharted 1, because I feel like Uncharted 1 did this more often, it would have played some drums real quick. It would have like, snare, doo -doo 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 -doo, and then you would have been at the top. <laughs> When's Uncharted month? Damn it, if I had known this, we could have made a we have Uncharted at home month, right? Damn it. <laughs> Will? <laughs> Will, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm just... I can't believe they let me drop to the beginning of the level. I'm exploring. <laughs> Why did they do that? I'm a big, brave explorer. Well, you wanted to go back down there. Also, there was a pedestal, and I'm worried that at the top of the pillar, like on the flat top of that pillar, was like a cool collectible. I mean, it's possible. I'm thinking they might have done that. To I just, this. So the PC version of this, does it work fine on a controller? Does anyone know? Can you look down to the right? I just want to. Okay, nothing. there's nothing on top of that pillar. That's good. Holy shit, someone done take this TV, this tree, and just perfectly broke it in half. Yes. That is like... What's Mario like? Put in... People are saying it does. That's how I played it. Wow. Huh, does it run at 60 and stuff? I would assume. Right, it'd be, it'd be weird, weird if it didn't, but... Can't always take it for granted. demon pit we be like you have to fast for four days and then eat an uncharted clone and i'm like is this water oh this is delicious oh my god All right. <laughs> he even has a little quote whips somebody please remake indiana jones but he quips like modern mcu stuff at uncharted <laughs> it would be too funny like that's kind of not the energy Harrison Ford had. Well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, I know there's one more you. Have the video game bros played Vanquish? That's one of my favorite games from this gen. That is also one of my favorite games from this gen. Every time I try to do a top five of seventh gen, it's Vanquish, Burnout Paradise, Rock Band, Blaze Blue. And uh, I mean, I hate to say it, but if I'm going to choose a Blaze Blue, it's the one where Tagger's good. Right. Because <laughs> they broke that man in the second game and then slowly brought him back to life over the course of the next, what, four versions? <laughs> oh, Jesus. But yeah, Vanquish is really good. I'm glad they, they ported that to the next gen consoles on, you know, eighth gen. So we got 60 frames per second accessible versions of Vanquish. And Bayonetta, but never Bayonetta 3. Or 2. Or 2. Man, I, it also feels like there's a ton of Platinum games they just could do that with, and they aren't making games anymore, basically, so they probably should. Like, they could do that to Mad World, other stuff like that. So you're experiencing Dark Voids, but you wish you had Maximum Anarchies? Yes. Tager sure didn't love the first game whenever new was on screen. I did okay online. <gasps> oh, oh, no. no. Shake the analog stick. This is terrible. Should I feel bad that he held you up like that and my brain hit them back, Bob? That, oh my God. That was like a falcon punch without the flames. Just right. the amount of <laughs> ugh, straight into it. Should I feel bad that he held you up by the neck and my first thought was I robot the Will Smith movie? A little bit. You should feel a little bad for that. Should they feel bad they hit a turret segment in 20 minutes flat? Yes, they should. Including the you falling down and retreading the whole level? Killing spree. By the way, if you're making like a really cheap shooter, I'm here to impersonate the guy from Halo. If anyone needs that. Why? Chris, I wasn't expecting. Gamer Chris, I wasn't expecting robots either. Were you? I, I remember it back to life in your brain. Right. When, there as soon as we saw them, I remembered. But there yeah, was a no. tech point cash back there, like a 180 from you. It's slightly up this hill. Yeah, those stairs. This is important. Got it. See, he loves that shit. <laughs> 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 They're like fruit gushers. <laughs> 
It's crazy how much this looks like Halo 2. It is funny because it's like the environment's distinctly uncharted. But so many of the weapons and the technology has Halo 2 vibes. Two, specifically. I was getting a little bit of Mass Effect vibes from the, some of the guns. The UI hits Mass Effect for me. Like, yeah. look at that. But you're probably right. I haven't played Mass Effect enough. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna work my way down. When you see Beth. vertical cover... What? The of the you can do it without the backpack? The jetpack? Whoa, whoa, dude. This is sick. You're insane. He's just an event. Oh, I'm going to vomit. What? Okay. How are we doing that? Okay. You can do this. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Blows up. <laughs> Wait, why isn't he Roger Craig Smith? <laughs> He's Roger Craig Smith oh, no. and the, the lady's Tales voice actor. She's like, whoa, this? my head is spinning. <laughs> Chris Wolfhard chat. What the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, right? That is I'm, a good question. We're 24 minutes in and I'm just like, they did not advertise this properly. We are terminally E3-pilled fellows and have been since 2005. 2004, maybe, even. Mm -hmm. How the hell did we not know this is literally Uncharted? I don't know. And the Rocketeer. And it's not even like, oh, it reminds me of. <laughs> no. This is someone saw Uncharted and went, yo, what if the Rocketeer, then no one can sue us? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why'd you stop being in cover when I did that? Chris says this is the stupidest gimmick he's ever seen. I, I don't know. This conceptually, I like. I'm not controlling. Bob's controlling. <laughs> conceptually, this seems pretty deep. I feel like this is a gimmick that will make sense when I have a, a jetpack. And right now, I'm like, you're breaking your legs every time I do this. No, he's too strong. Thank you, Sliskin Alpha, for the sub. Hello, Giga Boys. Once again, just a question. Have you lads ever heard of a game called Martian Gothic Unification? No. No. The animation for flipping over and down is insane. I it has a real it has a real source filmmaker energy to it that's like. Oh no. Or maybe I'm thinking what? Haloid. Like it has a little of that guy's work yes. energy to it. Where it's like he would film. He would animate a fight scene like this person jumps down off this ledge. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, he's above me. I can't how are, jump back wait, up. Wait, how is your arm doing that? <laughs> Don't worry about One it. One moment. How is... Okay. Real... Yeah, you'll yeah. break your fucking arm. What yeah, you... no, it's, it's hilarious. That isn't safe. No, no, it isn't. Good job. The music stopped. We're good. Even though there's still a yellow mark down there, which I thought meant an enemy was down there, but maybe it's a pickup. The way I fly across the train is so weird. Yeah, like you expect a lot more gravity. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more friction. There's just something about that where Uncharted wouldn't, you know? Yeah, because this game feels like it's inspired by Gears of War and Uncharted. It's like, it doesn't feel like either of those, right. though. Right, it feels lighter than both of those, but that's because we're going to fly. <laughs> Man, Vanquish is so good, God damn it! <laughs> now I'm just thinking about Vanquish. <laughs> like, yeah, this dude isn't gonna, like, like uppercut a, a robot's here. head off. That's like, you know, We get to see the, the level up system for the guns. Feet tall. 27 feet tall is more accurate. Okay, so this is... This is your weapons locker, this box on the ground? Yes. That's... So, if I upgrade this... Okay, I have different choices for how to upgrade it. God. Custom built machine gun created with salvage parts and human ingenuity. Larger barrel that fires deadlier high caliber rounds. Increased clip size, and then locked. What does this one get? Rapid fire watcher submachine gun. <laughs> we don't even know that name yet. Improved particle accelerator increases the accuracy and damage of projectiles. We can't afford any of this. No, we cannot. Call another body. Oh, we got grenades. I was wondering if we get any. Where are you? Ava? Great. 
Oh no. It, it worked. Good enough. It was very thin. So just the concussive wave was enough <laughs> to like pop it open. Oh my god, I'll I hit show that button. You, I hit that button at, like minutes ago, basically. It just queued it up for that long. It was like, oh, you're done shooting now, throw the grenade. <laughs> Thank God that animation ended. We can now do what he asked so long ago on that special day in winter. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, and I think that there's a respawning pile of grenades right here. That yes. would make sense given they just taught us grenades. Aw, we're maxed out. Wait, are they gonna get to the jetpack factory? Oh my god, I need that. Can I make the jump? Oh, yeah! 100 extra points. Totally worth the... You sure about that? Yeah. Da, 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 no. Oh no. What did we do? Oh, you Where made this wrong. Where are we? What are we? Hey, What's happening? Up. Guys, you can't load that log on a third person cover shooter when we die. That's... This is on a Series X. That might have taken forever on original hardware. Oh, we're going back it's before like I even killed those here. guys. Oh, wow. Mm. This is good checkpointing. Oh, I'm just listing for 55 bits. Where MDK says, I remembered I was so hyped for Dark Void, but hey, not, but the not hit scan bullets, the movement, and the shooting turned me off so far. Someone pointed out. It's like wheelchair combos. See, your problem was you weren't comparing it closely enough to Vampire Rain. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's talk about what just happened. Bob's <laughs> at the corner of a structure. He hit throw grenade, and his dude <laughs> just fucking high-fived it to the wall behind him. Right? He just literally threw the grenade at the wall next to him. Somebody has to stop Bob. <laughs> Don't worry. Bob's going to stop Bob when he's... I fives the grenade next to his forehead. I, can I can't. Count on you, Bob. Yeah, I can't believe that either. That is not. You, you don't You're ship. Right do you, you don't ship that, guys. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, is it do. going to add our tech points? No, it reset. Yeah. 70 bits. Oh, oh boy. boy. Thank you, your Uncle Kevin, for the 70 bits. Reminder, did you know exactly one month sub worth of money goes from the 70 bits is his to do donuts to pay him for the 70 bits sound? <laughs> Wait, the music stop. Okay, all right. I was worried. Just to be clear to anyone who thinks that's a scam and I'm getting off too easy, we do not make $5 worth off the 70 bits sound in any given month. <laughs> At least not in a while. I feel like when it first showed up, maybe, yeah. You're breaking up. Hold tight. This this music's kind of good. Yeah, no, I was just as I was doing some kind of an interesting thing here. It's like you know them being like, oh, it's Uncharted, so it's like this sort of we're out in the jungle, fast drum beats, primal feeling, but there are robots, mm -hmm. and you can hear that in the music. Straight up. It sounds kind of like the 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 weird rock they made up for in Star Star Wars uh, Fallen Order. Seventy bits. Oh hey, boy. hey Bob, we might we might be making five dollars worth of seventy. 70 bits. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Seventy bits. Oh. Boy. It is not ready for that many seventy bitses. Just to be clear. Seventy bits. Oh boy. <laughs> Seventy bits, oh, oh, boy. oh boy. Seventy bits, oh boy. I, I'm now, I'm now realizing I need to adjust that to bits, show up oh as long boy. as the audio does, and no longer. <laughs> I've never had to time that out. Oh boy. Wow. Okay, everyone in chat, total lockdown. You say nothing at all. This is merely a phone call between me and Chris Wolfhart, and 243 of you are wiretapping. <laughs> 
Hey, Chris, did you beat Earthworm Jim 3D back in the day? Oh. Do you remember how it ends? I'm just asking ahead of Big Think. No reason. Don't look it up. Chris says, I did. I was very sad. I missed you finding out who the boss was. <laughs> uh, he's real gay. <laughs> Inon Kaiju says, hey, Giga Boy's been fighting off the flu, but I just realized this combat would be much better if you were riding a pig and had to fight enemies for the collectibles they drop. <sighs> Any uh, thoughts on that as a... Combat dynamic, Bob? I don't think that that's a really well thought out combat dynamic, and you should probably be put in jail. <laughs> just, just a thought. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder, can I just run up and just end you? Yes. This guy isn't like enhanced in any way. He's just like, I'll punch the robot once and they will die. <laughs> He's real strong. Who knows? For all we know, his gloves have, like, metal plating underneath somehow that doesn't, like, completely fuck up his hand. Oh, wow. He didn't die. Where's the jetpack? We haven't unlocked it yet. We're pre-surfing Surf Dracula. <laughs> all right. I think there's something really adorable of treating an enemy robot like they're a human. Uh-huh. It has now just occurred to me the reason we fight robots is so they can get a T rating. Yeah, absolutely. Even though Uncharted did it. Yeah. Uncharted was able to get away with it. Man, he's taking a lot of points. So, um, I know it's often said, but it deserves to be said for the rest of time. Man, people really, most of them did not figure out how grenades should work in 7th gen. No. Somehow Gears did that almost perfect the first time out. Mm -hmm. And no one could figure it out for the next eight years. Yeah. yeah even on target had troubles. Oh my God. I want to see that cutscene, but with a human. Just in time. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate. <laughs> like instead of a robot yeah. strangling you, it's a person. <laughs> His head still despawns. Right. I think there's a village down there. <laughs> I feel like this. No matter how that happened, the shrapnel would have killed you. <laughs> She's like, so. What do you think? And he's just dead on the ground with metal shards shoved in his face like a grenade went off. Yes. My God, that's horrible. You could barely read chapter three. That was there? That was the blue stuff in the upper right. I, mm. Also, I can't believe they just stole the alien's logo. I feel like that's illegal. <laughs> Bob, there's, there's a lot in this game that was... <laughs> Found after it fell off the back of a truck. Upgrade only. You will not start this mission with the weapons you select here, but feel free to upgrade them with your tech points you have collected. Can, can we talk about what? how weird it is to have it phrased? Like, feel free. Feel free. I'm liking the regular gun. Oh, I can't afford Yeah, that. and you keep liking that. It's like if an eBay seller was just like, feel free to order this. I ain't sending it. <laughs> right? Do I have no gun? Okay. Where are we? Central America? Peru? I don't know. It seem like a so Dreams are made of. There's nothing you can't do. Welcome to New York. Yeah. I saw it. <laughs> It came right at us. I wish I... I don't know. It happened so fast. There's nothing you could have done, Will. He was a good friend. I know. 
But right now, we need to find some help. <laughs> Look. There are fires burning. Yeah. And somebody lit them. Do you think this is a good idea? Just walking in like this? Guess we'll find out. There's not much choice. Well, it's good to be out of the jungle, at least. this I don't know you seem to have picked up the tech point from nowhere right you see the carvings on the columns Anunnaki. But what reptilian uh -huh. right you know if the war started what do you think the fascists want with this place I couldn't say you hear that? Yeah. There's a levitating here. book over here. Right? Maybe up ahead. You can view it in the pause menu, Bob. Oh, uh, journals. Um, I don't even know which one it was that we got. Well, wow, outsiders lot. came to our village today. The priest said not to talk to them. That they made our gods angry. So I hid, but one found me. She was nice, though her words and stories were strange. I do not know what she was trying to explain to me. <laughs> <laughs> we only sat together for a short time. Then it said, I had to go and went home. It is best to please the gods. <laughs> Great. Why? Okay, so this is multiple entries. Yes, it's most from... You uh, put them in okay. one set of... This is the best of Akasha Volume 1. I guess. The outsider woman came back today. I hid again, crouching behind the cistern wall, but she waited until my legs grew tired. Were you doing squats back there? I guess. When I stood up, she laughed. We walked together as I took the path back, and she sang softly. A funny song about a place I didn't know. Yeah, it was the one that just played. Thanks, chat. I think what the priest said was wrong. She is not bad. She even gave me a small painted paper that she called one a dollar. Dead, but alive. She made me say it with her. Dollar. Then she told her me, me her name. Marie. 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 That's a that's the whole thing. Why, oh my why, god! Yeah, yeah what, I'm, I'm selecting the close button for some reason. Sounds good to me, baby. Come on, Murray. Do you think? Do you think Sean Murray? What? Oh, must be the welcoming party. Not exactly welcoming. Or alive. Because they're not reacting at all to your presence. Your presence is unwelcome by the <laughs> More like an animatronic, like, and the gods. theme park thing going on here. Yeah. Come on, Will. You heard what he said. The Focus SE is the perfect vehicle for driving around Shadow Moses Island. Hey, it's the Monkey King. He's so fucking buff. He is. We were in a plane crash and we need He must have shaved or something. <laughs> Nicola can help. Jesus, this dude is like Doom Slayer Rift. <laughs> Don't think we have a choice. Is he taking us to the gym? I guess. God, dude, put a shirt on. Why are you acting up? <laughs> oh my god. No shirt can contain him. <laughs> the village. Good job on that, Chief. Oh my god. Yeah, see chapter four. Yeah, there it is. Spare parts. I can't believe that chapter was walking to the village. Jesus. <laughs> that demo would cover him up, slut. <laughs> it would be really funny if your character, that was the way he reacted. It's just like, Will, are you okay? Do you... Do you want to talk about anything? He's like, no, I'm fine. Hello? Just, they they aren't hey. decent, and it, oh. his eyes keep darting. <laughs> Jesus. One comes bearing the gift of light, and the people grow impatient. Are you going to be Tesla? I mean, he's going to be the guy from the Rocketeer, but he's in a fucking mountain village instead so, of Taffy, Chicago? I, <laughs> I found them in the village. Their plane crashed. Hmm. Is that so? So, uh, what's the relationship of, uh, these two, huh? 
What's uh, what, what sort of thing they got going on here, huh? He's Iron Man's dad. <laughs> These are all the same character. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the device back there, it generates electricity. Local conditions are unique, to say the least. It is so funny. Long That's Colonel. Okay, I could hardly hear him, so I wasn't sure. You say your plane crashed. Evidently a common occurrence around here. The Focus SE is the perfect vehicle for driving around Shadow Moses Island. The back canyon is littered with wreckage. Anything we can salvage? Certainly. But they have the area sealed off. <laughs> the Ford Focus SE the comes with dead. a standard rear view I camera. I you do. And one hand washes the other. Come. <laughs> Why Demon Pit Week has a lot of Paul aiding. In this temperature. What's does. up with that? I don't know. He's j just What's cheap, I guess. Oh, negotiate the we made it. Take she has one too. Repair the planes, but make sure you retrieve the sonar box. That's so. I've marked its location. Did I'm you miss the part of the Rocketeer where the dude the busts a nut looking at the jetpack before he puts it on? Did you forget that that happened? We just skip over that. It's just a tool. Oh man, we're in a Disney like Tarzan moment. Right? You try down below. Goofy fun times in a mountain. Do 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 do. Exotic adventure. D d d d. Gonna shoot someone. So when does the Phil Collins kick in? Yeah, <laughs> I can hover. <laughs> when we got the jetpack, right. I expected it to not let you to just hold. jump Good. and hover. I thought it would maybe be stuff like this, right? right? Quick dashes on the ground. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm worried this game's gonna. <laughs> like, its gameplay look is, loop is gonna look like the dumbest shit in the world as we jump and hover around bullets. Yes. I could have sworn it was you who walked out that morning. Hold up, I got a crash site up ahead. I'm gonna go check it out. Just changing the subject. Yeah, do I have an on-ground dash? I don't feel like I will. My God. Okay, grab the red skittle. Did you not? Yeah. There it is. It's the middle of the blue sky. Press B to flop it to your death. Wow, I'm surprised oh. it didn't hurt me. Nice. Okay, I have some theories why this game didn't uh, <laughs> review well. Where do you go? I don't know. Jump around like an idiot. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Why did he do that? Another trembler. A trembler? Yeah, um, in the movie Puss, tremblers are the people who make you, with the power of their mind, get an erection. Oh, okay. Company. Copy that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got company! Yeah, um, stop using your jetpack and just fight them normally, Will. I, uh, <laughs> don't know how! Die <laughs> says they're not special. <laughs> talking about tremblers. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfectly normal, actually. Oh, he blows up. I assume... Oh, my God. Oh, that's sick. This is... That's really cool. Uh, so... This soundtrack might be the best part of this it game. It is. Like, this is really interesting. I would kill for a soundtrack this good in a lot of modern games. Like, I wish th the God of War Ragnarok soundtrack had an interesting fusion of, like, an expected sound for the soundtrack and, like, some crazy part. Yeah, like I said, this is reminding me a lot of that actually good music from Jedi uh, Fallen Order. Survivor? No, the first one. Oh, wow. The, yeah, because oh. it, it had one moment where it kicked into stuff like this when you went to some, some yeah. one of the planets. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm a vomit. 
I couldn't figure out with my brain which way was down. <laughs> no, fuck you. There's no way. There's no way, me. You're just... You're misunderstanding something I'm saying, right? Right? That has to be the case. They have to be misunderstanding something I just said. There's no fucking way. This is like unexpected bangers, like in Lost Odyssey. I feel like Lost Odyssey is where you would expect bangers. It's worked on by Sakaguchi. Fuck you! My comparison wasn't literal, Bob. This is Bear McCreary. What? Fuck off! What? So for anyone who missed it, that is the composer of God of War Ragnarok. Jesus. What are they telling him to just not do anything exciting in that? They're like, hey, we wanna we want you to come compose our game, and he's like, oh that sounds great. What is this? This is the room you'll compose in. It's just the room and fucking only God forgives where he gets handcuffed and has to watch the prostitute and he's like, how do I compose music like this? They're like, oh that's the fun part, you don't. We're just gonna train an AI on your prior work. Jesus. I'm serious, what the fuck? This is like the best part of this game is the music. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got let's see what gun you got this is. Oh nice! Something that blows up. Dark Void was his real passion project. Hey, I mean, I don't doubt that this game actually got him all the other game work he's gotten. Because once you do one, right. you're in the door. Yeah, this, this music does not feel like it's from 2010. It either feels newer and inspired or older. Because I feel like, yeah, this is, I, okay. It's a little lost in the cave because it's hard to see anything. Would, would you say the level design is as good as the music, Bob? No, I would say I'm completely lost. <laughs> <laughs> Participants in the survey said, quote, where the fuck am I? What is this place? Can I leave? I miss my family. Weird that they introduced you to the button you hit whenever you're lost immediately upon booting the game. Yeah, and yeah, that is not helping me at all. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> so it can't be this way. Yeah, this, this is, is where, where you came, came in. in. <laughs> I went down this path, and then it became a dead end. Oh wait, this, yeah, this I went up this. Yeah, this goes up here, and so the trick is to not use your jetpack because then you'll miss what they think the. And then I, oh no! I went this way too, but I thought that because the the marker was so far up that it couldn't be this way because this was leading down. This music's so good. Oh my god! And then there's something to okay here. There is something I can. Oh my god! Do this on too, Jesus! Oh no, that's not good. That's that that can't be good. That that's what the game's already doing level design wise. Yeah, I'm excited for us leaving the forest because I feel like any other environment will be more easy to see. Parts, yeah. <laughs> and he took that like nothing. Admittedly, this is like brighter on the stream than it is to us. Like it's that classic OLED problem of I think it's like the bottom 40 nits or so are largely crushed. Mm -hmm. But if you look over here, you can see. A little bit better because yeah for sure yeah if i was using a newer oled which i may even have access to but it's smaller so then that would mean we would have to move the tv closer and then we wouldn't have space uh i there's a dial for me to bring up the mm. darker region so that way we can see it better crush my nits found a wrecked a18 it pulled some spark plugs we might be able to use great i'll check out the next bridge keep me posted are we climbing along that? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that wasn't any of the things I was going to say. <laughs> it's good level design. Game. So what we were talking about earlier, when you walked out. That was three years ago. You never thought to look me up. Me? Video games would die if two people had a healthy, Everybody normal relationship. Well. <laughs> yes. You're a good man. I never said you weren't. 
You ever think about that? How few video games are just two people who are like really good buds and there's no like... Yeah, like it's this... Army of Two stays winning. <laughs> <laughs> Army of Two Chads be winning! <laughs> <laughs> What we do is morally questionable, but we are still good friends in the end. <laughs> in the handshake, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> They're just really shit. good friends. That's how history sees them. <laughs> like Shinji and Kaoru. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gabe, you need to give me the prompt. There it is. <laughs> that one's way more possible than that one. That would be impossible from down there. <laughs> Jesus, I, the, what, wow, okay. <laughs> Wonder why this game critically wasn't received especially well. <laughs> it's a mystery. I'm just gonna go ahead and check real quick what the med critic on this was. I just, I'm floored by this game right now. Yeah, that's fair. I expected it. Okay, so it's Metacritic is 59 out of 100. That what? still feels pretty low. That does feel pretty but low. Maybe but maybe it runs like absolute shit. And we already saw the loading is done. What is... There's slugs? Excuse me, there's, there's slugs? slugs? Something jumped out of one of these things. Out of what? They're helmets. Really? I'm sorry. You're telling me. Are the fascists employing the, ro the aid of robot operating slugs. I think that the fascists might actually just be aliens from space. I can't believe of all the things I expected to come out of this game with, you know uh, what was none of them? Yeah, Beer McCreary was really serving in that game. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't think I've ever fucking said that in my life. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're definitely going up. Yeah, right. I'm... Yeah, okay. Can you, uh, okay. I was like, this game might be dumb. Can we activate the jetpack if we didn't jump first? <laughs> Oh, geez, you oh, should geez. use a grenade. Yes. Whoa, what was that? You should use a grenade less creatively. <laughs> you you ever seen the bottom of Avatar's foot? <laughs> <laughs> Kudos to know is like, let me throw this grenade. <laughs> Oop, there it is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's cool. Ah. That's that's not. That's that is distinctly less cool now. Oh no, we're gonna uh, we have again. this load time. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh hey, is there a collectible on this? I think behind you? Yeah, I think. This journal hey, might come I recovered handy. a flight log. Might shed some light on what happened up here. What? One of those was your internal voice. The other was your external voice. They didn't play two voice lines over each other. They promise. Have some of this. He sounds uncertain. He's like <laughs> really nervous. This? Like you're you're applying for a job, and you're trying to sound confident or say a cool thing, but then it came out completely wrong because you're nervous as fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Did you know this fall through That's the, the hole? Only way? Down there? Great. Did you know this game would feature hole jumping? No. So did bumping the edge kill you or yeah, did you hit a edge. branch? I think bumping the edge killed me. Uh I think you need to stop yourself, Bob. But there was no ground. I thought it the was, ground would it was, kill me. It was up. It was, it was that way. That's what the. 
the reticle moves. Right, but there's nothing there that killed me. I thought that we were going to the bottom of the hole. No, when they said fall through the hole, they meant like most of the way. They didn't mean. They didn't mean the whole they hole. Didn't mean the Don't whole be ridiculous. Hole. Come on now. Lex wins. <laughs> oh, you got to pick up that collectible again, Bob, so that way he can. Oh, it already saved. How you, I guess. come you motherfucking can save that, but not? But not our points. Are you really that terrified that we're gonna get ahead of the curve by failing a fucking combat sequence over and over? Which we're not even failing the combat sequence part. <laughs> Terminal velocity is just the velocity you just die at instantly. Yeah, that's nah. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's how it works. That's the only way? Down there? Great. This thing better not cut out on me. I think that I think the honk played, but it was just buried because it's a loud, it's a loud moment. Yeah, why didn't they put this guy in a Marvel versus? I know why he didn't end up in Infinite. Right, that's that's pretty late. Well, no, it's more of Disney got to control everything. Mm. That there are barely any characters compared to three. It's true. Well, like, God Hand Man never made it into a Marvel or Capcom. I think that's much bigger of a crime. <laughs> yeah, but that game's five years older. <laughs> a barometer. Might come in handy. Copy that. Hey, Bob. Hey. Fall through the rest of the hole. <laughs> no. That's what it wants. No, clearly to fly up here now. No. No. Bob, where are you going? Why, why? Bob, no. Bob, fall through the rest no. of the hole. Now. No, Wait, no, no. <laughs> okay, we're good. See. Ava, I recovered a copper coil. Great. Keep at it. So what do you think Nicola is doing out here in the middle of nowhere? I don't know. Research? He said there was something special about this place. Maybe he's working with the fascist things. If he was, he wouldn't need us to find the sonar box. Just saying. I mean, Does it matter? He's he might us still. Just, you know, the robots aren't, like, incredibly smart. They might be really bad at finding parts. Maybe. Yeah, they're literally called the fascists. Over here. Can't say Nazi. Whoa, that was <laughs> smooth. Looks like I found a path. Okay, the sonar box. This music is just weird now. Um, of some sort. It's really good for what it's going for. It just seems weird it's playing now. Right. This is disintegrator. See, large radius explosion. But yeah, we gotta make this thing more powerful because they're not gonna allow us to get anything else. Using it, yeah. Bob, yeah, we sure are getting a lot of achievements very quickly. Yeah, I'm wondering how long this game actually is. Now that the load times have been reduced so, so much, anything's possible. Ava. You're gonna have to see this to believe it. Well, you're almost there. The sonar box should be on the end of the mast. <laughs> Did they expect me to walk up to it? That seems way more I, dangerous. I feel like no, but they wanted a cutscene to save you from missing it. Right. He's fine. It's like somebody combined Nathan Drake with BJ Blazkowicz. Okay. Chat, am I the only one who has that opinion? Because his jawline is just straight up that tier. <laughs> like, clearly. That was a purple thing. Straight up. Oh, and there was also a collectible on the thing dangling yeah, in front of way. you? Hmm, journal. That's great. I'll read this as I fall straight to hell. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, if I didn't want ledge grabbing to work, okay, 
I'd be playing Earthworm Jim 3D still. <laughs> but I love myself, and I'm not. Wow, wow, wow. I watched the zero punctuation review earlier, says Marmotius. Nice. And Yahtzee made the exact same comparison. I mean, it's what he looks like. They clearly made him to do that. <laughs> if you loved yourself, you wouldn't have played it at all, said Seahorse. <laughs> Damn. These allegations got hands. <laughs> right? Stand down, robot. I will shoot past you. Will, you're pretty good at killing these robots. Do you do this for a living? Part time. I guess I could just smash them over the head with it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Animation clearly made for going over dozens of feet goes two feet. <laughs> Right, takes the exact same amount of time. <laughs> looks terrible. Oh, what's the book? Fucking awesome. This is great. God, that gen would have been so much better if every bad third person shooter was as, was as good as this exact experience. <laughs> or it's like, yeah, it runs at a perfectly locked 30. Low times are manageable. Everything looks crisp because we put Edison drop a filter. Because you see all these boards. Yeah, those See how you can see details there? There's a chance even just letting the Series X upscale list to 4K it would be lost. Mm-hmm. Because it has a surprisingly shitty upscaler, even though they bragged about that at launch. They literally bragged about it either with the 1X launch or the Series X launch. I'm pretty sure they bragged about it with the Series X launch where they're like, oh, we take the 720p games. We, we use a gaming-optimized upscaler to turn them into 4K. I'm surprised that worked at all. Oh my Can God. I get some pinball sound effects to go to this? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I thought he was coming after me, but he was dead. <laughs> Will has a dead robot hanging over him like people with skeleton props in old movies. Yeah, it's just literally ah. that scene from RV of Darkness. He's like, oh no, it's got me. Yes. <laughs> Which it, only now that you thought of that as I was describing this other thing do I go, that was obviously them. Yes. Ah, damn it. Yes. I sure did watch Army of Darkness when I was 18? 19? <laughs> oh, there's something we can... There, there we go. Oh my God. Grip. Oh, Jesus, I didn't see that. See, that's why they should have a sound effect where Will just yells in that exact voice, grip, whenever that pops up. Have you seen that they're putting FSR 3 in the console versions of Immortals of Avium? More specifically, even the frame generation, Bob. I know, God, that's gonna be horrifyingly bad looking. The fucking Clone War begins now. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to fight the good fight, right? That's what the Clone War was about, right? I think so. Okay. Who are, who are the good guys? Um, obviously, the guys the Jedi's were helping. Oh, okay. I heard there were heroes on both sides, so I'm not so sure. I mean, he said that, but then the, the, the alleged heroes, I think, genocide in various races? I don't know. <laughs> I will be right back. Maybe the Wookiees had it coming, but I don't think so. Good night. <laughs> They, they, they were really heroic because they murdered all the Wookiees. <laughs> Wookiees were fascists. <laughs> you know, Star Wars is known for being really morally gray. So who can really say who the good guys were? Is it the ones with the red lightsabers killing innocent people? It might be them. They might actually be the good guys. And we just didn't think about it enough. Oh no. Man, every one of these Uncharted moments is like just a cutscene. We don't actually. Are you all right? Yeah. 
That was close. We don't actually play while any of them happen. Right. Which is way cheaper. Thanks for the hand. Nicola, we got the sonar box. Wonderful. You should see a path that leads out of the canyon. I'll meet you in the village. It sounds a lot like Nolan North. It really does. Episode zero uncharted. No, this would be way after. Well, I guess it's set in like a, a olden times. They're pretending we're in like the fifties or something. But then everyone has space technology. Oh, there's the protagonist of every every seventh gen game. It feels that way sometimes. I, the, no, like Nolan North was the protagonist of every seventh gen game. Yes. Flying out of this war zone by sunrise. I wouldn't count on it. You hear that? Look. Huh. What's going on here? Does she literally have a smaller jetpack? Like they made one custom for her. General robot supremacist. Far more human than I was expecting. <laughs> uh, what is that? Like, ooh, baby. They. <laughs> oh, it's a snake body. Do oh? not be frightened. Our gods have come to save us, to, to show us the way to our salvation. Oh no, their god was a false god. That was really quick. Yeah, it feels like we're speedrunning a movie here. <laughs> right? Which is funny, because really it's, it's kind of pacing itself exactly like a movie would. Like, we're an hour and ten minutes in, oh. basically, so... <laughs> They just forgot to, you know, they filled, they filled all the ports where we should have some charming dialogue with you shooting robots. <laughs> right. It's the same, they basically the same thing. It's basically the same thing. We're having a conversation with the robots, with bullets. Hey, you should hit LB and smash a grenade into the wall next to you. I don't think I'm going to do that. No? I feel like that would not be beneficial. You, you don't think Will is to be trusted with explosives? I do not. Oh, man. And they got away quick. I'm not even like someone who hates on Bear McCreary because he's popular and he does a mainstream sort of sound. I just genuinely every every soundtrack from a Sony first party game mm -hmm. that he's worked on was pretty unimpressive. <laughs> so it is completely crazy to be like, what do you mean Bear McCreary did this? Did someone else do this as well? Can I even... Can I cope my way to that? The the night. What is this destiny? He's just give a generic name like that. We got a cool serpent robot. What's his name? He's a knight. Okay, okay I'm going to say something, but it's not what you think. I wish Capcom had made a destiny, but not destiny and not the destiny model. I wish they had a game that involved shooting and damn. magic. <laughs> And, okay. In space travel. Okay. That's fair. I want to go to space Mars with magic mm -hmm. and shoot a fucking gun at a robot or the moon <laughs> or Mercury. Bob, it's only a matter of time. You know, we got to give Destiny 2 a chance. I know, because that game's about to be annihilated. It feels like this, this upcoming thing is the last thing. Yeah. Who knows, maybe Pragmata is that. I don't maybe. actually know. Yeah, it's unclear what Pragmata is at all. <laughs> yeah, there's only one other person who's really working on a lot of this stuff. Um, I don't know what they're known for, but I recognize their name. Oh. Not cute. Here's this other person. 
a person who works with Bear McCreary on so many first party games. <laughs> Come on. Uh, they worked on other things though, like um, they're they're mostly if you they're mostly the production end of it is okay. a good way to put it because they're credited as score mixed by original music mix and mastering, uh, mixing engineers, et cetera, et cetera, audio engineer. So you okay. know you can tell they're the production end of the soundtrack and stuff in uh, in their career. So what I'm trying to say is. This is apparently just beer McCreary cooking, and I cannot believe that because every single fucking... Like, we're just getting... You know what? While you're doing this incredible gameplay segment... Yes, yeah, it's, it's nothing like the other 10 I've already God. done. <laughs> I'm just going to look through... Fuck you, what? Bear McCreary did the 8-bit soundtrack for Dark Void Zero, too. Huh. You do that? All right. Right? I don't. What if that just sounds like ass? What if it's like when Inti creates falls asleep making a retro soundtrack? <laughs> what if Gun were even more Gun? How many points do we need for the next upgrade? On it's gun? like nine thousand or something. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was like eight K, wasn't it? Ninety two hundred. Yeah, okay. and then if I want to upgrade this thing. Well, why would you do that? You always have this gun. <laughs> Think about that. I currently have, have I've had both. Right, but you didn't in the last level have this one. Most of the time I did. This one? Yeah. Not not the weird Halo Covenant looking yeah, weapon I got with rid the of two that, prongs. I got rid of that one real early and two levels ago. I don't know. I feel like we're gonna end up in a place where they're just gonna give us our basic basic ass gun. I mean probably. That's that's why I like to upgrade basic ass gun before like the other things, because countless games have done that to me where I'm like, oh cool, I upgraded this thing and now I don't get it anymore. Man, he's really hard to see over there. Yeah, there he's he in the is. house. Okay, that's why. Well, he's on a wall in front of the house, peeking out through the doorway area. Yeah, Deep Down was under Yoshinori Ono. I don't know why. Every time I say Ono's full name, I feel like I fucked it up. Like, I just said the wrong guy's name. Yeah, no, I also had that feeling of like, is that right? It is, but I say it so seldomly. Right. <laughs> Yoshinori Ono. This is... Oh no. Didn't deep down just come out? Yeah. Definitely. I hear it needs to be more optimized. Right. Fucking what? Curious. Can I just run through this? Will Lost you Planet 3 has a special thanks for music to Bear McCreary. Huh. So he didn't work on it. But someone who did work on it thought his help was, oh my god, we're we're seventh genning it. Yeah. But if you do this, you're not gonna get enough tech points to upgrade your weapons. Is it trying to get you to go back? I don't think so. I think it's another going forward thing. Okay. Oh no, he's a blowing up one. I was thinking about how there's no time for me to play Dragon's Dogma before. Big thing. Yeah, that's true. Because I'm doing, I mean, I'm doing meal prep, diet, washing clothes, and exercise in between this insanely long stream uh -huh. and tomorrow's stream. Yep. At least tomorrow's stream should be shorter than the, today's stream. But yeah, if it isn't, something has gone horribly wrong. But yeah, I felt bad. There's that in another game that I was hoping to play. At least there's any prayer that I can put any amount of time into that. It's the one we got the code for that. Oh, okay. What demon pick alive? games are even left? Your favorite, Chris Wolfart. Ride to Hell, Retribution. That's tomorrow's game. Today's games, of course, Dark Void, Aliens, Colonial Marine. 
Man, we really did do everything possible to make this five foot seven game look fucking six two. Right. We literally fucking Tom cruised its ass. We stuck a box underneath it for it to stand on in a scene with any love interest. God, is, do you think Cameron Diaz is taller than Tom Cruise? Probably. Do you think he had to like get her to crouch or whatever? See, or it says, oh, 100% she is. <laughs> Behind the scenes on Vanilla Sky would be funny to see. Because it's like both Penelope Cruz and Cameron Diaz are taller than Tom Cruise. They have to build those trenches like they did for the, like, uh, the Hobbits in Lord of the Rings. I thought this was going to be a reference to Citizen Kane's filmmaking. I was going to be like, oh, Bob, you're such a, a classy film appreciator. What? You're just going to pass up? Oh, wait. Was that the upgrade box? Yeah, it was the upgrade oh, box. Okay. <laughs> In a sea of zeros and ones, the six out of ten is king, right? <laughs> How far away to get away with this lady? It seems ludicrous. This game feels like a game playing on a TV in the background of an NCIS scene. It really does. It has that really strong energy of that. Like, this isn't a real game. Who made this? You know what? We need to really seal the deal. You need to be doing more finishers. They need to be animated even more like a Monty Ohm thing. <laughs> and then it needs to have giant gaudy text pop up that's like, Ultra Kill, whenever you do them. And you need to be doing it like three times a minute at minimum and then it would completely seal the deal right because those shows love really dumb animation work i think the most embarrassing thing about the scott pilgrim movie is how fake the ddr game looks yeah no, i think that's actually one of the largest shortcomings of that film Yeah, this really should be the climax of a completely different plot. Right? Instead, it's like the first the like minute or hour of it, we're speed running it. What if the rest of the game is just trash? What if the rest of the game is us just fighting Nazis? <laughs> we're going to be in urban environments. Find ways to top Mollus. I have a jetpack. What do you mean? Why'd you go inside? My intruder. Oh wow. Should not have seen this. What? Yeah, literally lizard people. I did not think we'd be just be dealing with literal lizard people in Dark Void. Yeah, this really does feel like an Indiana Jones twist at the end sort of moment where yeah. we're supposed to be like, oh my god. There's a reveal that blank is actually blank, and our minds are blown, and I've been bitten to death by five-foot doll snakes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I can't see them, and I have to fight them, and this is not going well. <laughs> Who did make this game? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, what do you even reveal from here? Like, this is ludicrous. The fascists are literally lizard people. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? You know the next game made by these people? What's that? Quantum Conundrum. You know the next Nick game made Where by these people? Where the hell people? are you going? Soul Fjord. But hey, you actually know the next game made by these people. It's a game in 2014 you might have heard of. Called Murdered Soul Suspect. <laughs> Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Man. I feel like any, most other shooters, third person or first person, would give you a flashlight. 
or just like the goddamn environment. Right, they choose one. <laughs> also, Spiff, I would make a joke that you can't tell the difference between aliens as an IP and anything else, but you can't really see much of fucking anything right now, so I really can't be making that joke. This is Dark Void, by the way. Do, 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 do. I hope aliens look along the entire soundtrack this good. That'd be there's, nice. There's literally no chance. I know. I know. There's a there's <gasps> got there's gotta be basically nothing likable that that's that one of those all timers for people upset at GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> all timers. You're fighting lizard people that are fascists. <laughs> you should probably be reacting more than that. <laughs> uh, Spiff, I wish you got to see any of the cutscenes that led up to this, because I'm convinced at any moment the cutscenes will stop, because this game is like Uncharted fused with the Rocketeer. It's really bizarre in that way. Oh, bye. Bye. So who's the director on this? Exactly the producer, Jim Deal. He gets the deals done. <laughs> Good night. Also, I, I'm going insane. Is this actually Nolan North or some guy doing a Nolan North it's voice? It's totally Nolan North. It has to be. It is Nolan North. Jesus Christ. How fucking insane to literally cast Nolan North. I mean, that's what they just all did, that jet. Like, for third person Uncharted clones? I feel character. like that's it, what's insane about it. I guess they aren't all that. It's just like, if you want that exact character, like, oh yeah, look, the Assassin's Creed main character is Nolan North. <laughs> right. But like, it feels like that guy is more like Nolan North than this guy even is. Because there's a difference in energy, or more like Nathan Drake than this guy is, because there's a difference in energy. You know, I have yet to believe that this guy's supposed to be the everyman, like you do with Drake. I feel like that's what they're going for with him, but all right. I, got it. I mean... In Uncharted, they do a lot to characterize him as the everyman by having him fail to do amazing things a lot. Like, he'll stumble, he'll fuck a thing up, he'll be scared, he'll do any number of things. Our guy isn't that characterized. Currently, he's about as uh, deep as BJ Blazkowicz's face at the bottom of the screen and <laughs> when you're playing the game. But that's what they think they're doing. It... By that may well to be true, yes. Like they have, he has relationship troubles with the lady and he's sad about his friend being dead. That's enough. He said, what a wrong way to die. <laughs> yeah, rep. Oh, that would have given me a stroke if this guy was just the Deus Ex uh, human revolution guy. Nobody listened. Harry, you're great. Now who's great? Gabby? Tried to take you, but I don't go so easy. Oh, that's, that's it. Bust the bastards up. Do you think, like in Hayes, they're gonna say it? No, I really don't. I'm not oh, getting that feeling Capcom at all. Would have put out. Okay. Yeah, I know. Crazy, right? Ready to tee for it. They say it. Oh. Oh dear, he's coming. Yeah, he is. Or not. Ward. Not. Oh, he's still down there. I just saw him for one second, like directly beneath you on the right. Where did he... Oh, my God. He's ragdolling. Okay, yeah, that's a ragdoll. Why did he calmly slither over there to the... Maybe someone shot him maybe, to death maybe. while he was over there. That's got to be what's up, right? I missed the Hayes playthrough. Did they actually say it? Okay, I know we run some insane bits around here. Right. I don't think we would run a bit about Hayes 
saying a slur because we think no one would check the VOD. That's, that's a bit far even for us. That seems like a really, really big bit to push. Right. <laughs> I love when enemies are dead and their geometry just sits on the ground and is now light as cardboard. It's always fun. It's all good. <laughs> Insert tit. I mean, yes, your hand. If you have done, yes. Shapeshifter sons of bitches. Look, I'm all dirty. What? Will, they're taking them away. We've got to. Oh no. Uh uh. No. I know it doesn't make any sense, but we have. Forget about Nicola. We're patching up a plane and getting the hell out of here. Do what you have to, Will. You always have. Labor. Let's get to the planes. <laughs> Into the void! Imagine a script for something had a life. <laughs> and that that script could have a degenerative mental condition. <laughs> this is what it would become. <laughs> Because every time these cutscenes play, it's like, look at these characters you know and love interacting with each other. I'm like, you really did not right. give us anything to, like. <laughs> What's this? I can upgrade my rocket pack. Oh, it oh, gives it the, I... yeah. Oh, that means we're doing flight yeah. combat now, huh? Yeah, probably. Ah, crap. We've been at this all night. Tavi, what is that? Uh, what? Right there. Ah, oh, that's not safe. Experimental. Very dangerous. Yeah, I know, but can it fly? Oh, no. Uh-uh. Are you crazy? You'll kill yourself. This, Never knew you cared. This random native dude has no accent at all. He's perfectly yeah, learned of, English part of from Nikolai, like, like, who has is, an accent. Is this dude like just some Boston guy who ended up here? <laughs> right? Not a good idea. Why is his name Tavi then? All right? <laughs> Come on, I gotta try. Okay. Oh, yeah, you don't want to touch that man. Oh, uh, that'll fuck you up, bro. <laughs> Now, now it's Nolan North. Yes. Slow down. How? The brakes in your right hand. Oh yeah. Does it feel weird to you that we're having this moment when he had a jetpack for the last yes. 20, 30 minutes? That feels really strange. Why did they do that? Did it work? Now crash yeah. into the giant energy field. I don't, I don't know, man. Okay. You need to take out the communications tower so the watchers can't monitor our signal. And now it's Warhawk Copy on the that. PS1. Use the guns on your pack. Oh, where are we? Where are these? Jesus. Oh, wow. Steady. Does this feel better or worse than the One, Superman two, flight? Asks Spiff. I mean, it feels better than that because, oh my god, what do you. What are you talking? Why is it still marked? I blew it up. <laughs> nice. This thing's got some firepower. All right, that's all of them. Nice work. Woo! Yeah, that, that whole scene with Bizarre is like, what do you mean you're acting surprised by this jetpack? You've been wearing one for like a half an hour. But this is a different one with guns. What? Oh, hey. You press, you click it in to do a maneuver. And then, oh, you have to hold it? Oh. And now, and now flick both sticks up and down. I was thinking of just flicking both down at once. Okay. That's terrible. Okay. Yo! Flies like a dream. 
Bob's like, oh man, this control sucks. And the character's like, oh man, this flies like a dream! Yeah. This is what we call ludonarrative dissonance. What? They have radio cops? I guess. Like everyone? You what? See what I can do. Hey, Bob. Tabby, hey, quick question. Yeah. You have to hover. Otherwise, you'll kill yourself. What? Well, we need to find out where the fuck we're going right? first. Which is, it's not bringing up anything when I hit the dislike button. So maybe it's this, maybe it's not. Okay. Um, did you expect this to be just straight up the Rocketeer Uncharted literally until it was Lair? No. Reasonable. Oh, oh wow, that soundtrack's going crazy. Oh, I know. It's like, it's like, we have Doom 2018 at home. <laughs> oh man, now I want Bear McCreary and fucking the guy from Doom Eternal to just go fucking nuts on a soundtrack. That would be like one of the greatest game soundtracks of all time, if they would let them. Because <laughs> now I'm just convinced Bear McCreary is being asked for the most milk toast thing humanly possible whenever he... Right. Nice try, Dan, but Ludo Narrative doesn't dissonance doesn't exist until 2013. Thank you, Mick Gordon. Um Is that true? I thought it was a little bit earlier. I thought it was 2012. It felt like it started right around here. Right, it really does feel that way. God, I tell the story a few times. I'm telling it again. Amy Hennig was interviewed by Ted Price, you know, founder of Insomniac Games. And she tries to explain the reason they do things in a game is it's sort of to prevent a Ludo narrative dissonance. Like she's explaining a very specific thing. I don't... Ted Price then goes, Ludo narrative dissonance. What is that? I've never heard of that. And you can hear in Amy Hennig's voice that he does not know of the stalker murderer that has been following her for years. Like, you can hear it in her voice that she's just like, how do, that's every day for me. Right. For a decade. And, uh, man. I felt bad for her. <laughs> I genuinely felt bad for her. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll fucking do that for I man. Let me just get a second. <laughs> I'm hurt bad. <laughs> My God, what? We got a gigantic set of these to go up. All right. The question is, how much do you need to fight these guys versus just do this jumpy thing repeatedly all the way up? Yeah. I wonder. I wonder how much they like prepare for that from the player. Right. Cause oh, they're... that's too big. You got to go to the left, then you can go up slightly. They had it I'm for trying. a second. Is that it? Okay. No, that no. was like no. letting go. I'm dead now. Did you hit A or? No, but I, I thought he'd grab anything else. So what did you hit? Oh, I hit X, which is the last oh, one, but that oh, made okay. him like, oh. oh. Because if he was, okay. in his mind, he was jumping the one behind him, but then he didn't do that either, so he just killed himself. I feel like letting go and jumping up should have two very different buttons you used to do. Yes, them. absolutely. I, I don't feel like this is a radical thing. Also, you know... I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> what, what a realistic portrayal of having a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, that should be a new sound clip. Someone clip that and put it in the Giga Clips channel on the Discord. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I'm in trouble. This is iconic catchphrase. Oh, yeah, you got this. Oh, yeah. See, this is what we need to master. Right. 
Speed runs of this must be wild. <laughs> now checkpoint me, you little bitch. Oh, you gotta escape from the core generator. Oh man. But I, I guess probably... upward. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that's also the uh that's, that's oh the no they didn't check with me there that's also the sound i'm gonna make the next time you're like okay podcast day's done you want to go to cookout and i'll oh, no. be like i'm in trouble <laughs> i'm in trouble <laughs> You have a break button, right? This is right? the break. That's this is the, me holding the break. This is slow. This is slow. You know what? It is a jetpack. I feel like this is realistic, if anything. <laughs> okay, I want to try sure. this. Looks way too funny. Okay, to break out of the flying fast, I tap A. Yes. And then I can hover. Yes, and you and hover downward. Yes. Of no course. other direction. You don't like gravity's down. If I'm hovering. Well. The, Ow. In my mind, hover would be, I'm going to try and maintain the place. No, of course not. No, hover is, you are going you down. You just spend the rest of the game <laughs> A-posing your way. What's the break? Uh, X. Okay, great. We got this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in I'm trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm... Uh... Wow, I'm fine. Oh, this is... Uh, I'm gonna need you to not fly up into that and kill us both, man. Right. Is there a way to descend faster? Uh, you can hit B to fully, so or fully turn off the jetpack and fall. That's yeah, faster. I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> fact. <laughs> Dark fact. <laughs> oh. They're like, no, you're supposed to use the platform, right? You're supposed to engage in our combat. Oh, no, I'm in trouble! <laughs> and this game's great, actually. I, <laughs> I hope every gameplay segment can be solved like that. Right? Because I have a jetpack, and that's how it should work. Exactly. I was really worried we'd have to do cover shooting upward like a bunch of those things. What was the boost again? Uh, why? Yeah, it was, it was why again. Okay. Oh, you're really strong. Wait, what was the B about? Oh! Oh my god, what? I hit that so... Oh, hold, hold B? Oh, he's just shooting you in the face, though. Press B trouble. when you're an near an enemy to die! <laughs> Why would I do that? I don't know, it would be pretty funny, though, wouldn't it? Nah, he didn't say, I'm in trouble! Good. I was going to turn on this game entirely if it was just like... <laughs> oh man, that's so rough. Oh, I was the... Okay. Not a hold. <laughs> it is a mash grip. Oh. Hit B that long ago. Oh, left... Oh, okay. That was a B prompt. Uh-huh. Oh, I know, you, I'm dodging yeah, around you're it. trying to... This, yeah. Get him to shoot this in different This is a really directions. neat idea. Oh, now grip is why. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna, he's gonna blow you Not up. Not today, motherfucker. <laughs> this game. Okay. Now what? Man, they sure made this really cool animation. Oh, you're controlling Oh, it? my wow. God. Now it's Nabu Starfighter. Right? Oh, shit. They have, like, a button to just lock on to the nearest enemy. Huh. Man, this game's full of surprises. <laughs> Any of the mechanics, mechanics come back for Murdered Soul Suspect? Yeah, we're going to leap on an enemy and tear their panel off as we crawl all over them. Yeah, Whoa, the, the gyrospokeness of the, the ship is real cool. Oh, yeah, sure. no, this design's sick. Just so you know, boosting, still why? Ugh. 
It's great to find out where they are. It's terrible to try to pursue like that. Yeah, it's no. literally impossible, it feels like. Yeah, what button lets you do that? Uh, LB. Huh. I'm going to fly this plane into it. What? what? Where'd your plane go? The plane was never real. The plane was inside us all along. So is that door open behind them? I think so. Cool. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> Is there a run? Okay. Yeah. yeah okay, we're running. <gasps> oh, yeah? Well, take my melee animation. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Stupid robot. Oh, my God. Typical robots. Sorry, you can you can also get a melee. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, some of you got to do the shoot him a little bit first, then melee him like in Uncharted. You don't have to do that in Uncharted. It helps, though. Like, I mean, it helps you do the one-hit kill. Right, exactly. You need to do that. But that dude literally wouldn't let me melee him, period. Right. But... In Uncharted, if you hit the melee button, you will melee. Hey, I mean, a lot... Right, but a lot of times, the, there'll be, like, a big guy who's like, no, you meleeing me hurts you. Right. That dude just ignored that I was hitting the button. That's a very different <laughs> thing. Uh, you know, I feel like I have a jetpack. I, just... <laughs> I, I need this. Don't take this from me. Ow! Fuck! Oh, we're in trouble! <laughs> <laughs> it's tragic that he died on the way out in a, in a place where he could have just walked. <laughs> Do I get to take it from the control pa Uh, no. no. I'm going into the control. If only they had a sound like, you know, Earthworm Jim 3D did for the camera not wanting to obey for the melee. So no. it just went, <laughs> but really quiet and bassy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that worked. This time, you're going to go into the top. Oh, oh, that was one of the alien things. Uh huh. He clipped to the wall the way I thought he was the literal de debris. What would make you think that? The debris said she'd run! We're gonna have shit for tech points. Yeah, but I, I honestly, like, so few upgrades for the guns and they don't seem- Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh my god! I was holding up as in down, uh, Yeah, you know, it's inverted. Hey, checkpoint. Okay. It did actually show my corpse and say checkpoint, so... The important thing is that I jetpacked over the finish line and killed myself. You said checkpoint, you fucker! I lied. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, there's so few upgrades for the guns, and they seem so... not that important. Like, there was one damage upgrade for this one, yeah. and then the other one was... Uh, like a slightly bigger ammo, like cash. Really? Yeah, so it's like, okay, that's kind of neat, but I feel like just getting through the game faster is probably better. <laughs> Especially when the way we're getting through the game faster is a unique and fun way to get through the game faster that is specific to this game. Right. Get out of my fucking way. God, I'll kick you, bitch. You can't get me in your fucking attack animation if I'm hovering three feet off the ground like a fucking genius. <laughs> Sir. Yeah, you seem to have to hit it twice when you're on the ground. It's weird. Yeah, isn't that weird? He said you were going to shoot a top this time. Yeah. Now, does that mean they put the thing at the bottom? Yes. Of course it does. Ship oh, was you actually... by a game designer. Yeah. yeah, why would these be set up differently at all? <laughs> That's just <it's> confusing. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's his ungroovy. <laughs> What is happening? These people? Yeah, it's the, that's why I like said it became Warhawk, because this acts like Warhawk. This isn't anything like what we just did. No, he's now whelping some random dudes with a prison ship. Holy shit. 
That thing's fucking huge and wicked. <laughs> and it looks like it was made out of a Millennium Falcon at parts of it. <laughs> that part. I'm in trouble. <laughs> We're in trouble! I'm shaking with terror. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your arm, your, your elbows are being burnt off at the moment, so I could understand. Oh, cool. It's called an Archon. Are you going to allow me to do damage? Yes, says math. But yeah, ow, no, ow, a lot ow, of ow, these ow, enemy ow. designs remind me of stuff I've seen in, in Mass Effect. Watch you get a touch of it, you just die. I was thinking that might happen. I'm surprised I don't have like a scripted hit this button to start meleeing it. Right? There you go. Keep up. This is what it wants, I guess. I don't think this is what it expected. They're like, you're gonna fly around and be cool. No, I'm gonna land on his back and shoot him. And shoot him point blank because that's that's easier than aiming from the sky. Right? And you can't shoot me as easily. <laughs> Vampire rain death animation. <laughs> yeah, if this had PS3 tier load times, I don't. I don't yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, no, it's a lot. Whoa. Wow, the grenade did a lot. I'm surprised it's still alive. There's like only one of those that's not smoking and on mm -hmm. fire. Somehow we just out of grenade range, I guess. We good. Excuse me, now I can do a cool melee. Oh my melee. god, what is it gonna do? Man, I really need a ground charge. Yeah, it's weird that you can't move faster on the ground. You you showed B for one frame and then did this. Sure did. Oh, I was holding. Oh, oh no. my God. Ah I thought it was a swing the stick to both sides thing, which is most of what the stick does. But no, right. that was like when I was on top of that ship and, and I needed dodging. to hit it to the side to dodge. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. It, it, it started the quick QTE. That'd be way too nice. That's truly defeating it, though. He's in trouble. <laughs> Why is it like this? It's a 7th gen video game? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That won't have any heat. <laughs> no, no, it's a concussive blast like uh, like Cyclops. <laughs> Good night. Down, yeah, that was literally the same. Good night, he says to the chart. It like, was. A good good night. <laughs> you guys are traveling at half the speed of smell. <laughs> I think you earned your clearance. I don't know Thanks, but I'm looking for a friend, a woman. Her name's Ava. Is she on board? Uh, uh not on this transport. They took the others to the tunnel before we got here. I'm gonna see if I can catch up. Alright. What is going on? Does he think she's been captured? <laughs> yeah, I feel like we need to have a stop. Stop the tape and discuss the story so far moment on this stream. Because <laughs> it's like, okay, they took Tesla. I, did, that happened off screen, but it did happen. They took Tesla, allegedly. I stress. <laughs> She chased after. These random soldier dudes started having a war with the prison ships. Uh-huh. And we helped them. Yes. All of this happened in, uh, I guess, a the course. minute. Yeah, <laughs> a minute. But I think it was supposed to be a whole week. Because he's like, oh, man, we've been working on this plane for so long. It, what's that? <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. 
fine, I'll hover. Are you happy? Now it's not cool anymore. Okay, now it's cool again. <laughs> If there's one thing, playing Shadows of the Empire's last level via using a level select has taught me, it is that I'm very good at this exact thing. <laughs> no one go check Star Wars Month. Mm -hmm. No one go check Star Wars Month where I also had to do it in that weird FMV flying shooter game. I'm worried at some point the game's gonna be like, hey, if you have 30,000 tech points, you can upgrade your health. And we'll be like, ah. Oh. I feel like it would have surfaced that by now. And you currently have the 7th Gen health bar, which is uh, nothing. That's true. So maybe it'll be a damage like reduction thing, like armor. Maybe it'll be I, like, you take less damage from I, bullets. I guess it's possible he'll get the helmet, because he still doesn't have that. Yeah, I mean, I have a picture of him over here with the helmet for the viewer icon, and right? he we haven't seen that yet. And he even made a comment about how he got a fly in his mouse because he's not wearing a helmet. So, oh. obviously, they're just added, building up to it. I'm of the opinion the LB should just lock onto people even outside of that ship. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, he is one of the big guys. You probably have the other gun, too. You're right. How do I switch uh, Left and right. On the D-pad? Yeah. Wow. Very gears. Yes. Is it a charge shot? No. There's got to be a way to get that door open. Do, do, do. To take less damage from good jetpack collisions would be the ideal upgrade. It would. Maybe that helmet will do it. <laughs> Maybe. We need to be less in trouble. I'm just going to take a moment to appreciate the soundtrack. Yeah, no, it's really going for it. it is, this is genuinely, I would listen to this. Just not even, not even while playing the game. I would listen to this. Mm -hmm. He Good. looks like an old version of Iron Man with that helmet. Huh? Weird. Oh, that's Where weird. Why? Like that? Huh? Huh? What does it? What does it mean? This could mean anything. How does this hold up against Inversion? No one else has even played Inversion. Not even us. Not even us. I bet it's terrible. I bet that game is awful compared even to Dark Void. So we suspect this is better than that. Right. I guess is the ultimate. Oh. You're going to have to make like an exploding sound or I'm a dying robot sound or anything. No. How was the PS3 Iron Man game? It, Probably I, garbage. Yeah, I, and I heard nothing but bad stuff. Especially about Iron Man 2. That's the one that seemed like people got actually upset at. Yeah. I also haven't heard much of anything good about the, the PS3 uh, That Captain dude was America just, game. like, disassociating. I don't even know why he took him down. Oh, right. They're robots. And I'm roboticist. Oh, this sucks. There's so many of them. Wow, and yeah. there's this guy again. Oh, it's me again. Man. I'm like, like, is there supposed to be some panel we're looking for or something? Um, I think I'm just fighting off waves and then it will give me a way to open the hand. Yeah, probably. Because I too had that thought at first. Then I remembered I'm playing a 7th gen game. <laughs> Yeah, this soundtrack's fucking good. What the fuck? PS3 Iron Man game had some good switch. ideas in right, in right design choices buried under awful execution, so I played 30 hours of it since the sick wheelchair's combo. Oh, Jesus. 
did you get really into Anthem as well? Because I know that's basically an Iron Man simulator. <laughs> I'm running out of bullets. That's crazy. Did you have picked up more ammo for the other gun? No. Oh my god, you might have to switch out for one of their their guns. Game, game, game. <laughs> I can't shoot him. Cover doesn't matter. Pick up the gun. <laughs> oh, they seem to hate that. He's certainly on fire. Is this made in Unreal Engine? Yes, I believe that was uh, shown on the beginning. Okay, because it has all the artifacts. Right. It definitely does look like an Unreal Engine game. It really does. Yeah. In some ways, it makes me feel more like an Unreal 2 engine game, but I know that it can't be. I'm surprised. Because I, I, I don't think that at all. No? No, I, I'm not seeing that. This doesn't look anything like Bioshock 1. This looks like every other, you know, UE3 late-gen game. Mm -hmm. Its art style is a bit... A smidge, like, moved away from hyper-typical Unreal Engine 3. Oh, we're done. <laughs> Thank you! I thought the waterfalls weren't animating. Because <laughs> it's so slow. Fair. What the hell? My god, I found the lost city of El Dorado. What was that doing in the tunnel? So, that ship went through this tunnel? Where the hell are you going? So that's what he fucking said. Right? I guess. How the fuck did that prisoner ship fit through this tunnel? I don't... Well, it's about to do it again. Okay, I'll watch. What is this place? God, his face. They should have worked a little bit harder on his face. They should have. They, they look. They could look interesting. He thought he was gonna win a point blank DPS race with three knights. Yeah. <gasps> the void. We did it. We were episode two. The prophesied one. Or prophesied one. I doubt John Protag knows what El Dorado even is. Come on now. <laughs> hey, he's in the North. How, why would, how he, would he not know? <laughs> he's like, I almost got cast in that movie. Sir, are you thinking of the road to El Dorado? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that isn't, that isn't the same thing? Wait, oh. I thought it said decreases. <laughs> Why would I want that? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this if that's... Sure. Wait. Yeah, you already did it. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be a second screen. <laughs> I thought I had to hold A for an hour. Okay, no, that's ex explosive dead rounds and increased clip size. Okay, okay, I was like, I thought the third upgrade was good. I got excited about it, but oh well. That sounds dumb. It could work out in like a fringe possibility of like, oh, chain reaction, <laughs> everybody dead, but chances are it won't. So we need 9,200, was it? For the, okay, cool. Explosive bullets sound important. They do. You know how bullets love to go around people in this game. Even the people watching on the stream can see that. Mm hmm. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. This game. There's more has happened in this game story already than in all of Bionic Commando reboot. Who are you? A humble guide. Is My that... name is Aten. Uh, okay. Uh, where am I? You are in the void. Come, 
We need to get moving. It's not safe. They must have seen the fire. Wait, you called this place the Void? It was once the path between two worlds. <sighs> I don't get it. Too much is made of understanding. If you make it through this, you will know. There's a difference between understanding know. and knowing. <laughs> no. No, I won't. Oh no, he, Adam has the health bar. Oh boy. That's not good. No, it's not. What if I walk slowly? Because no one can hit each other because we're all 10 miles apart using jetpacks. <laughs> This game just start, plays like tribes. <laughs> I start fucking skateboarding at them, and I'm like, Shazbot! <laughs> you cannot oppose us. Oh man, that was actually a good throw. Right? I managed one good throw. I managed one and a half good throws. No. Wow, the upgrade seems to have made this shoot in a direct straight line at all. <laughs> Pretty cool. Because before that, it's really was like, it goes everywhere. Hey. 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 There's you have a, the Halo gun? There's no gun in Halo that's boring. It looks like half of a Halo gun based on the silhouette in the upper left. Mm. There are more interesting design elements of that specific gun in Halo, but it does remind me also. <laughs> of that um there's there is in freakazoid there's a joke where they go what will cause grove do what will cause grove do and they just keep doing that and slowly zooms on him yeah and then he goes hey cut it out i need to get that hey cut it out and clip it from that that's, yes that's a good sound it is what are these things the villagers call them gods what are these things? The villagers call them. Ah, no, no, no. Oh wow, was that <laughs> a gets rifle? riddled with bullets. I... Watchers? Huh. Yeah. Whoa! I thought sniper rifles were for taking out grandmas. What's <laughs> No, those that's magnums. Oh true. <laughs> Headshot. Not that it matters. Headshot. Shazbot. I'm really glad Adam isn't just out there dying. You know, it's a 7th gen game. This yeah, is an he, escort mission. That really could have happened. <laughs> you look at him, he's just shooting himself in the head. <laughs> no, that's, that's usually how that goes, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, so they want me to flank that. Remember, but you need to whip attempt, let him jump over these <laughs> the obstacles. Can we not talk about the escort mission in Earthworm Jim 3D? I wish. Uh, he's going for the shot. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Really? You can't punch him? That's really? hilarious. Really? Yeah, I hate the melee in this game. Yeah, the melee is terrible. Got him. Do do another turret segment. Do 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 another turret segment. Do 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 do. That's not where my reticle is. Do 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 another turret segment. Do 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 do. Every enemy can fly. It's an excuse for a turret segment. Do 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 do. Did this game get any Xbox back compat enhancements? Uh, yeah, it's, it's 16 times in its drop of filtering, and it runs, like, at a lock 30. The load times are also better. So it's definitely recommended this way or on PC. You're going to do it. Right. But it didn't get any, like, the frame rates enhancements or anything like that. I mean, the frame rate is boosted. It's not doubled. It right. didn't uncap it. It is definitely a higher frame rate than it would have been. Right. You get him, Adam. What a dumbass. <laughs> if he'd stayed up here, they would have come up here and then died to the turret. Right. Adam, people like you in online games are why why I get so angry. No, nah, it's cool. Running down there is way cooler. Yeah, but we're perfectly safe up here, Adam. <laughs> Adam, they literally have to crawl through a wall of bullets to get to you if you're up here. Adam, you're literally dying now. I'm starting to get so mad. <laughs> you see that shit they added to Helldivers? 
I heard it was like a hundred levels and a bunch of weapons and, and, and blizzards. <laughs> blizzards? Isn't there? Did the, they add the whole new race too? I think that was awesome on that uh, list. I can't remember if they added the new race. They did add like. Oh, or, or maybe they just gave the robots a bunch of they stuff. They gave the robots really fucked up shit. <laughs> that game is insane. Yeah, no, I can't believe how fast they're rolling stuff out for it. Yeah, it feels like kind of crazy. And like well pulled off. So not like any of Sony's multiplayer offerings in ever, maybe. Right. Shit. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, it's not like. Like Warhawk had one expansion, right? I yeah. guess it also had patches. Yeah, it had patches. And I the patches added a bunch of stuff. I cannot believe they didn't design this AI to react to me going 10 feet back and getting in the turret. It's like you're going to use our mechanic to like climb scale up the ball. Right? No, you let me fly and gave me a turret now. Why would I ever use that mechanic again? <laughs> Crimson Hell says Meg was peak. I don't mag. Okay. Like, who's Meg? Isn't that the shark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you just watched the movie Mag. Mag. But, uh... Uh, no. Mag was not peak. I think everyone confirmed that together as a society. Right. I'm not sure. Maybe you missed the meeting. Where are you? We need to stay together. I got hurt and bumped my head, and now I'm lost. So if you could fucking chill for... Oh, uh, Red Skittle. One moment. I'm in a tight spot. <laughs> Damn, we're in tight spots. <laughs> Why is it our character to him? I don't know. Oh, that would be so much better than him being Nathan Drake that we forgot to write. <laughs> like, ain't no video game can afford George Clooney. <laughs> That'd be pretty great, though. You could have knockoff George Clooney. You might be able to find a knockoff George Clooney, but I don't know if I've ever even... I'm trying to think if I've seen even films that have had knockoff George Clooney. Chad, somewhat, some actor somewhere has to have be the equivalent of knockoff George Clooney. Man, I flew really far away you really did. fast, didn't I? Yeah. Oh my god. I was like a hundred feet backwards in ten seconds. They're like, well, that will teach you to not fly during these parts that are clearly on ground segments. And I'm like, literally nothing you can do will teach me to give up on the notion of flying. That's your game's entire point. Also, you keep giving me these fucking turrets. This is beautiful. They definitely designed the encounters around what they put in them. Right. Because for anyone who's unaware, they would have stayed put and not have left their position of safety if Adam wasn't right there at the corner <laughs> activating their AI. <laughs> But specifically, he's being ordered. So, thank you, Shoe Breaker. Whoa! Full year. Oh my god, go, go, go. Boy. Nice. Got it. I'm just a little on fire. Yeah, I was like, the turret's still on fire. Is this safe? I, I don't know. Where are these enemies shooting from? I don't know. I can't believe they're flying. Would Matt Mercer be George Clooney coded? I don't think so. You're not quite. I feel like we never got a George Clooney coded voice actor. Right? Because the they game industry no, never made the games we needed for that to be in demand. Okay, we're we're going to the we're going to the left. It's the one that's on fire. <laughs> I mean that's not even the thing. I just need to get a slightly different position to shoot him from. Cause I ain't getting out. <laughs> Slowly walks. All right. Oh, this is terrible, but probably true. Bob. Yeah, what's up? I think Troy Baker's the closest the game industry has to a George Clooney type. Will, there isn't much I don't like it, but I see where you're coming me. from. Follow the ruins around the corner. Hurry. Got okay. it. Do, 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 Hey, these, uh, runes got any turrets? Just asking for a friend. 
Nobody's brave enough to make the Thief game, but the main characters George Clooney from Ocean's Eleven. No, they aren't. <laughs> oh my god, there are so many lines. Please calm down. Why are they so fucking low on health already? <laughs> This game is weird. <laughs> At least it's really cool and different, right? Like, like I, this is not like other third-person shooters. No, that I'm, yet. I'm just so surprised that the beginning was so normal compared to this. Yeah, it feels like they were almost like embarrassed that this wasn't flashy enough. Mm -hmm. So then they made really bad hyper-linear levels. Right, where you have a goofy jump. <laughs> Yippee. What? I couldn't hear you over these banging drums. Transport! Watchers incoming! I love that being in hover mode makes me safe. <laughs> oh. Is that, like, something I should shoot? I feel like I'm not going to do much maybe, to it, really. Maybe you have to... Oh, wait, that's... They're shooting it, so it must be bad. Can you land in it somewhere? It's like Halo 2 where you run yeah. inside and blow it up. Yeah, I was like, well, that's a... Well, yeah, Halo 2 also does that. I was thinking of Landwalker from 3. Right. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, but I can't. Uh oh Man, we need more under. games. I, I'm i upset there aren't games that try and make that their whole thing. Like that one mission from Halo 3 where you go into giant walkers and blow them up. Like, no, that, that should be expanded out into a whole video game. Yeah, as it turns out, it's hard to do that as your video game concept when the scope of video games is either an entire city mm -hmm. or a hyper scripted sequence right there's no in between of what if large battlefield with cool shit going on we good <laughs> i said are we good oh my god that's a good explosion that's effect that's beautiful we are not good. This has strong prequels energy. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Which I guess is where you end up when you combine Halo and Mass Effect. I guess. <laughs> yeah! you. Way to go. <laughs> He's going to vomit. What's their multiplayer in this game? I don't know. I think so. Wait, I didn't see it on that screen. Oh, my God. Is that why it bombed? <laughs> Where they gave the other the girl the jetpack too, I saw she was gonna be our co-op partner, but then she just immediately. I'm gonna fly off. under this plane and disappear from the plot because I was retroactively shoved into the intro to this game in order to make it more heteronormative, typical love interest sort of fucking action game. Bye. <laughs> so about how that intro really had end of a movie vibes. Yeah. Oh my god. Another one. Another burn ward. I, I wonder. We should add the other burn ward da -da sound. We should. I, I... Every game in this week will be a game that's actually three hours long that they have made at least seven hours long. That was quick. Yeah, it was. What even I, happened? I assume one of the many big guns on the ship saw me for one second went, oh yeah, just fire at him, Tom. He'll, he'll be eviscerated on sight. <laughs> this thing's designed to take down buildings. <laughs> Nolan North doesn't stand a chance. You ready? I've got another transport coming in. Okay, good. He said another. Right. Come on. Hold your position. Yippee. How come Nolan North does not say yippee when he dies? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. This game's sick. Yeah. I feel like we would have our, our friends that played Warhawk would have enjoyed this, right? If any of us had bought it. Yeah, but it was scary. I mean, they had just done Bionic Commando. Capcom was outsourcing a lot of games. Mm hmm This was made on Unreal Engine 3. It probably ran terribly, especially on the PS3. Yeah, it probably ran like total shit on the PS3. God bless games that give you a fucking mechanic like this that they then don't design the levels to remotely cope with. Right? The greatest video game of Demon Pit Week. The one where I can fly up to a cliff and just snipe everyone slowly. This 
would be a pretty different sequence if I didn't keep the sniper rifle, huh? Yeah? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Almost out. Finish it off. I'm... Okay, I have six more shots. We good? No? Yeah. Tony uh -huh. probably would never will touch Warhawk, even though that... That would make sense it's trying to make a service game out of. Uh-huh. Okay, we'll spray and pray. <laughs> Why would you float up in front of the... <laughs> like, it's a giant gun, my man. <laughs> no, they got bits. Oh, that's our guy. Well, thank you for... Oh, wait, I'm also out of ammo. Maybe this will work better. I feel like that's something else he said exactly in, in Uncharted. Yeah. Oh. Serpents. Of course. Please, bullets, hit the thing. I couldn't possibly do that. I would not deny your new destiny of missing. <laughs> I mean, shit, I might as well wildfire. The accuracy's as bad. <laughs> I do have a grenade. I could just use the grenade. That would solve this guy pretty fast. I see. Oh, he's hiding behind a fucking bush. Yeah. I was like, Whoa. man, what in the world? Why Chat, is Chat, are we seeing this? Okay. okay. We're, it's working now. All right, we're clear. Is that everything? I see. All right, nice work, man. Adam, we recovered the last of the tablets. We're why right why is the snake still the alive and we're just pretending <laughs> it isn't? He's not important. I feel like it didn't give me all those skill points. Let's go! See, that's why the hover saving you is the best shit in the world. Mm -hmm. Flying would not be nearly as fun if I could have just hit the A button at the last fucking second to save myself. So, hey. Damn it. Still not there. God damn it. Well, let's go inside. I have something to show you. It's going to blow your mind. I've already seen lizard people. What do you What do you Operating robots. Right. What is it? It is the history of the Watchers. This tells the story of their migration. What about the Tremblers? And here, <laughs> they came down on fiery chariots when man was animal. They ruled as gods. They brought him light and the fruit of knowledge. They led him from ignorance and in the great experiment civilization was born and over here it says that man forgot his place and set aside his labors he multiplied grew unruly famine and then made the illuminati and would not control oh. his numbers uh, all right the wars of gods and men began in the end those who were great among men banded together and cast the watchers into this place between places, sealing their path of return. So they're stuck here, just like us. Yes, only we think they have found a way back. You mean that tunnel I flew through? No, something else. <laughs> something you don't know about yet, and I will inform you of. I mean, I just... No. They could walk through the... Mm -mm. It's kind of like an airport terminal. You just go through there and get transported. I don't, I don't think that total actually is it. I think we got warped in here at the very beginning of the game. So, we, we, there was so you're saying tunnel. the mountain is even... Yeah, everything that we played on has been in the void. And we only found out that we were in the void recently. No. That's it. 
No. That's totally what we're doing. The mountain we took a plane to get to with the lady. Mm-hmm. The void was through that tiny tunnel we went through. That is absolutely what it's going with, because the art style what shift was place? in that moment. <laughs> and I went unconscious, well, so I couldn't just go place? back through the tunnel. Uh-huh. Like you. Yeah, every year, more and more cross over. Those lucky enough to escape the Watchers wind up here. Welcome to the Resistance. Oh, man. We're going to load these eventually. There we go. God. I don't miss that. No. I don't miss everything being goo. And the funny thing is that loaded way faster than it would on real hard. Yeah, no, we'd still be loading. Yeah. Uh, you would, in fact, spend the whole game loading. Bringing you in. Go ahead and report to the barracks. They got a room for you. It's kind of funny how this doesn't have the problem on real engine. Or, uh... The, ra the rage engine... Mm. Doesn't have the problems this does with loading textures, but then it ruined game development for the game. Yeah. Sick. So does everyone have a jetpack or? Okay. Yes. The new guy. You must have someone pulling the strings after me. I know she's supposed to be coded as like hotel, just dirty person part of a resistance, go but ahead. part of her just makes me go Take Tony Hawk off. background. A Tim will be by later. I love I wish my loved one was not dead, but a lot. <laughs> Oh? Oh? One moment. So I guess this is it. Shouldn't you be in Warsaw by now? I thought you were supposed to report back a week ago. Mad they won't miss me. Will, listen to it out there. The world is dividing. Isn't it time to do something? To get involved? And what difference would it make, Ava? What is with the face behind her? Is that a painting we can't see because it's due to... Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> just the other guy watching. That's well, you, Chad. <laughs> have you heard of the adepts? Who? We're making an initiative, okay? Take I'll just have Sam Jackson tell you about it. Hello, Digi. How is it going? Give us just one moment to get out of this cutscene. We're having an incredibly important backstory told to us. We're playing the game Dark Void, which is a void of knowledge for all of gaming. Capcom shipped it during 7th gen. How are you doing? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Mm, she has giant <laughs> What do you got? She's, she was going to tell us about, like, X-Men style mutants, wasn't she? She was. What is this game's world? <laughs> hey, Bob, I'm going to hand this to you for a moment. Sure. It's obscure Capcom game night, huh? Um, well, only for the first game. The next game's Alien Colonial Marines, which is Sega and Gearbox, and the company Gearbox hired to make the game for them on the cheap so they could pocket the change and put that money into Borderlands 2, apparently. Oh, you were playing Maximo! Nice! That is nice, Digi. Did we get that shout-out? The first or second one? Chris Wolfhart says, Randy said that was a seven. It'll be the best game of the month. Oh no, right now it's gotta be Dark Void and that seems impossible. Did you says Maximo the first game. Okay. Never, never played the second one. Or never played Maximo the first game. Yeah, the fun thing is, uh, what was it? Chris Wolfhart was telling us afterwards and it's really apparent once you hear it. That was an N64 game when it started development, then went to Dreamcast, then went to PS2. And it's like, oh yeah, that is an N64 game hub, isn't it? <laughs> right, yeah, it does not feel at all like a PS2 game. This looks too much like a real game. I think we should go back to Earthworm Jim 3D says Blegapy. Oh, can we no. not ever? No, in fact, I don't even mentally want to go back to Earthworm Jim 3D. And then you and then you push B when you get close. Right. And then you get to be a Nabu Starfighter. So really shooting it's not even a good idea. See how crazy that is? You wow, hit it yeah. way in advance. Right? 
Did they make a demake of this? Yes. They pretended this was based on an NES game that they made at the same time called Dark Void Zero in order to sort of make it like Bionic Commando, which they had recently done exactly that for. But was a real game. You got to stop long enough for him to look at you. On right, and actually start shooting. Yeah. Um, there we go. <laughs> you holding your arms where it's supposed to be, then it's like, oh shit, line. <laughs> I don't remember. I think in the grand scheme of things, Dark Void wasn't that well received. Like, oh, we yeah. Brought up no. the Metacritic earlier, wasn't it? It, it wasn't really received at all, and then it, the, nobody seemed to talk about it. Like Yeah, the Metacritic's 59. And that's for the 360 version. The PS3, oh, identical, weirdly enough. All right. Different number of reviews, even. Huh. But yeah, uh, a, a lot of those late 7th gen slash mid 7th gen uh, Capcom games to outsource studios were really not well received. Currently, I like this more than a Bionic Commando, but... Yeah, this does seem to be the most put-together one of those. Kind of. I feel like Dead Rising 2 still takes it by being a carbon copy of the first. Right, yeah. It's hard to even it, count that one because it's such just a carbon copy. Yeah. It's a really good carbon copy, though. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> when is Bomberman Act Zero? Fun fact. Never. Guys, we've already played the worst games of so many genres, please. We don't need the worst game in genre that is literally just Bomberman. <laughs> I think folks were real burnt out on third person games at this point, shooters specifically. It felt like there's insatiable lust for that in seventh gen. Right. So I don't think that would ever affect reception. Um, I, I just don't think that the, the Rocketeer sort of look to it grab people. Yeah, for some reason, like, I feel like game journalists don't fire a single neuron for Rocketeer shit. Right. And this really is a fusion of, like, Mass Effect, Rocketeer, and the beginning was Uncharted. <laughs> I don't get any Uncharted vibes anymore. Right, it feels Other like than our dynamic between us and our love interest. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so bright. Can not see my cursor? Is that bright? Capcom is just bad at third-person shooters. I mean, they didn't make this. This is made at a, at a third party. They they funded it and probably produced it, but this was made by Airtight Games. The creators of Murdered Soul Suspect, apparently. I did not know that before this. This has the stink of KG and Afune on it. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. all those did. All yeah. those we're yeah. outsourcing he, to a Western studio things. Absolutely. He is the one who basically killed that company for uh, over a gen. Sure would be important to build your skills at getting these higher technology games working and being enjoyed by people during 7th gen and not just outsource the whole gen and then go, uh, at the end of it. Hey, at least they did make Resident Evil 6 and 5. Yeah. Admittedly, like, 1,200 people made Resident Evil 6, so clearly they outsourced a huge chunk, but mm -hmm. still. But anyways, for anyone who's left, who's new here, uh, I'm Dan, this is Bob. Uh, we play video games every Friday. We beat a different game on a death stream. This week, however, is the Demon Pit Week, where we play... What has been up until this moment, the absolute, unbelievably, undeniably worst game in every genre. How did you... I guess this is one of my allies' chips. Oh, he's out of missing stuff. Those might be bad. The hubris it takes to hijack a ship run by an ally and go, I can do it better. Right? <laughs> Immediately runs into a wall. <laughs> Even their fighting games that gen were outsourced is true. That was uh, Street Fighter 4's Dimps. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 was aiding, if I remember correctly. Yep, yep, pretty sure that's right. God, what were other fighters from them that gen? One moment. Um, Capcom vs. S. No. Tatsunoko vs. Ta ta Capcom. Uh, yeah, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom was just aiding again, I think. Yeah, that was um, also aiding. And then um, Tekken vs. Street Fighter. Street Fighter Cross Tekken is the title. Right. Because it's Capcom's. We never got the game. No, you we never got saying. the other one. 
which I, I think that would be the more interesting game. It would sell even worse, but... Right. Um, yeah, I don't think they outsourced Street Fighter Cross Tekken. I don't remember that happening. I feel like it reused so much assets from 4. I just assumed that this 4... They're saying people even 4. Oh, not. yeah. Somebody in chat saying it's aiding. Oh. Huh. I assumed it was dimps, but no idea, to be honest. I didn't play that one. Yeah. But yeah, Capcom really had an interesting 7th gen. They they opened the fortune cookie, right? And they got the may you live through interesting times. <laughs> it's like interesting, horrifying. <laughs> but you know, at least they got the MT framework going. You know, Lost Planet's them. Yeah. Um, well, Dead do. Rising is mostly them because in case you didn't know even the first one was largely developed by a ghost studio in japan right um uh lost planet 2 was also them three wasn't yeah okay that uh wikipedia says street fighter cross second was dims okay that makes sense because yeah it's made for right and, and some of the stuff characters they made for Street Fighter Cross Second were just put in for directly afterward. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was fucking obvious. It yeah. was like, okay. Cool. You should just give me this character in this game if I bought that other game. <laughs> <laughs> this is like Rock Band, right? <laughs> oh, man. Someone's goal should be to make the Rock Band of fighting games. There. I honestly think that's brilliant. It's Mugen, but licensed. <laughs> this is balanced. No, it isn't. Now, do you have anything important to say, or do we all need to listen to you drool out loud? Oh my God, how many more you guys are you gonna spawn? Best part is, do exactly like Mugen. Don't, don't sit there and worry, you know, about like, oh, we need to talk to these other fighting games. No. What's Tom Hanks doing? <laughs> Hi. Blues. Like cross tag battle? No, because so much cross tag battle is just one vector. You know? It feels like they didn't get outside of things people would call anime fighters and Ruby. Mm hmm. We need, we need to go bigger. <laughs> Tom Hanks in Mortal Kombat would be amazing. That, I mean, that's true. That's yeah. just a fact. His entrance, where he just, no matter what he says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hearing it and thinking of Woody. Just because smarmy Tom Hanks, my largest exposure to that is him as Woody. Because a lot of Tom Hanks films I've seen, he's not smarmy. He's not smug. Right. I think the guns on my jetpack are better than the ones on this ship. Which that is funny. wouldn't surprise me. Oh, yeah, Nitro Plus. Nitro Plus has uh, Supersonico and Saber. Yes, I does have Nitro a weird Plus got collection funny of crossovers. Come in. <laughs> I think mostly visual novel games other than that. Oh, the helmet. He's got the helmet. It's one of theirs. Never discount what your adversary has to offer. Just going to install this in your it spine. It's outfitted with an advanced radar. And will aid you in the days to come. Yeah, you just look huh. like. Always remember who you are, and it will not consume you. You just look like if I don't know a Mass Effect alien. Yeah, it's like it's weird. We got a confirmed visual on a group of strays. Heads up, 8K northwest of camp. They have found more villagers. We must hurry. Another mission is happening. We must hurry. <laughs> it, it's really funny since we got here. This just seems like. How do I cut this? Ever since our love interest flew onto that plane, Bob. Uh huh. This game has become. You've already fought with the Tem. Yeah. Was that one of the other guys and not us? I guess. Okay. Um. 
the story mode has become we have made these missions level designers made these missions uh-huh we will now show a cutscene to stitch each of them together right it feels way more like we've just started playing rogue squadron whereas all the intro is rogue squadron like a flowing thing because rogue squadron 2 is select missions on a menu yeah but it's our all in okay. order okay because um yeah, I was going to say, like, the opening of this, for people who missed it, was just Uncharted. It was like a seamless, flowing, hallway-ish thing. Right. Whereas this is, we just made a bunch of missions. And honestly, I, thank you. <laughs> I'd rather just do this than play bad Uncharted. Fair. Because, you know, you have the real opportunity here to fly up to a really high cliff and shoot them to death while they can't notice you. Mm -hmm. And that's fun gameplay. That's the best emergent gameplay. <laughs> I'm going to emerge above them and shoot them to death. <laughs> Don't forget grenades. Oh, yeah, I've been using them. Okay. Oh, my God. Somebody right next to me did the explosion. They're blowing themselves up. There. Oh, yeah. That's a sick ability. We should teach our guys how to do that. Right? They should explode so maybe, my, maybe my helmet gives me that power. They should. <laughs> they should explode into a, explode into a blood tornado. <laughs> Pre-2021 anime fighting games are rough nowadays. Oh, talking about the net code. Uh, I get that some people can't deal with delay-based net code. I honestly had a lot of great times playing Blue, Blaze Blue online. So, you know. The trick is get someone who doesn't, who isn't on fucking Wi-Fi. Because if they're on Wi-Fi, it's fucking scorched earth. You can't do anything about that. There's no amount of, like... Like... Delay-based netcode literally can't fix remotely and make stable a Wi-Fi connection. Because you're dropping packets is the thing. Right. Um, we get the mission where we have to go underground. That's... That should... That should be a crime. We made a game about flying. Well, at least it's still pretty open okay. air. I was worried we were going to be under a plate of earth. Right. My Wi-Fi is very good. It's obviously the other guy. And the Whiskey T Foxtrot says, a very pat core statement. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, like I understand a lot of living situations can end up where you can't get a wired connection to a thing, but people who complain about netcode who are on Wi-Fi literally just... That, the the core essence of what's happening there is somebody complaining that software can't count, counteract the fact that their local hardware situation is dropping half of the information. It's the equivalent of, I'm using these bare copper wires to send a video signal. Why is my video signal dropping? Like, well, half of the information is flying out into space. And so that's why that's always frustrated me. Like, obviously, everything should have rollback Neko. Obviously. Right. It's just a better experience for everyone. Oh, no, I'm vaporizing. Except and yet, my helmet. you didn't do the blood NATO. So no. clearly the helmet hasn't given us that power yet, <laughs> at minimum. I'll try to find out who's responsible. <laughs> Pat playing an online fighting game in the hot dog outfit. <laughs> what the hell do you mean this is eight hours long? Okay, so here's what we've learned. Earthworm Jim is not nine hours long. <laughs> so, anything is possible. This game could be six hours long or five hours long. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you, get, did you look up long plays? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to have even a moment of what this becomes spoiled for me. Because, <laughs> you know, if you stay blind on a game for 13, 14 years, right. why spoil it at the last second to estimate? How long was Earth the Worm Jim? 13 and a half hours, because they made a 3D platformer collectathon game where you need to get 95% of one collectible and 100% of the other. What's going Criminals. 
afford the upgrade? No, I don't think so, but... 9,200. So close. So close. I'm I'm just glad you didn't have to take get the true 100 because that takes almost 20 hours. We were three marbles short. Yeah, we're three marbles we short. We literally did everything but getting three marbles. Is 20 hours how long? Lo Unless you count for that another whole playthrough or something. Oh my god, someone's doing that. Someone's, yeah, someone's literally going. Well, it took me nine hours the first time. It would be slightly harder. I will add one hour. No, okay. It it says. How can you account for this logically? Main story, nine and a half hours. Completion is 12 hours. Yeah, the, Beating it is a completionist run, basically. Right. You have to almost 100% the game to beat it. You have to 195% of the game. So if you really want to do it, if you really want to boil it down to one number, you have to 97.5% the game. <laughs> Oh, okay. Masami saying Mr. Radon uh, took 19 and a half hours, but he would never look anything up. Yeah, we ended up in the spooky house. Chat had to explain. Yeah, they had to explain that we had to walk slowly in front of a painting, in front of a painting that was clearly looking where we were walking, even though our footsteps made no sounds. And walking slowly made it not look at us, which made the door, the room on site on the inside of a room room on the inside of a door the other side of a door a different room then they had to explain by the way the hit detection was broken that thing you did seven times it just didn't work so go back and whip it again yeah what is this guy's deal look at this he's taking a whole clip yeah this specific type of dude takes an absurd amount of ammo he looks so close to the others too because yeah you you think that's the average dude, right? Yeah. That's one step up, and he takes absurd damage. I don't get it. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Um, when's the 3D platformer cleans palette cleanser stream? Um, I have been just sitting here going, man, I would like to play a ratchet. Oh my god, you didn't check once during all of that. I'm kind of hungry. I'm going to grab a protein bar and an energy drink. I will be right back. The soundtrack's still good. Yeah, the soundtrack's still good. Crazy. <laughs> Power cleanser like Mario Sunshine. No. The one... The one thing that made Earthworm Jim tolerable at all is, was a new experience. Playing Mario Sunshine again, 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 there's nothing. My brain just would turn off. That guy looks identical to the one I just shot like 300 times and did no damage to. You flew right through that. You should be dead. But I don't know if that actually hit you. Alright. My Tem's cleaning up. Looking pretty close. What's going on? Tem's cleaning up. You see him shaving. Oh man, a Tem cleans up real well. He's now wearing it like a tuxedo. Uh, Thank you, Yokai or Die, for the sub. Uh, it was Yokai or Die. Oh my God! God, these grenades are that. I wonder if headshots even mean anything in this game. It feels like they should. It, it feels like headshots should mean something. But I'm not. Right, because our guns are so inaccurate, it's hard to tell. One of these two. There we go. 
little punch that just kills the entire robot. It's good. You just... In another. In another. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get the sniper rifle this time. That's not as important as having this, this explosive gun that can actually kill those weirdos. Oh, are you one of them? Yeah, you totally are. Nice. Hey, why aren't you on the map? Okay, now you're on the map. I know. Oh, no. Oh, oh, we had a shield, though. Will I get a cool shield like that? So did, did that kill him? I guess. Uh, do I now fly up there? What do you want? Yeah, I guess so. I guess they need to land on top of the ship. But you were just down on the ground with me. Why are you walking out of the ship as if you were there? Oh, he was getting a water from inside the ship. Just All right. A humble guide, huh? Apparently, you've been holding out on me. They called you an adept. Will, we are all born with something extraordinary inside us. But few are ready to put it to use. <laughs> Is there a course you can take? Tell me something. Have you asked yourself how it is you are able to do the things you do? <laughs> Looking at his shirt, well, I'm like, is that a weird tie or is that his shirt open? I think it's oh, shirt open. Oh, that's his shirt open, yeah. Okay. He's doing one of those low-cut shirts. You know? He's got to show off the goods. <laughs> Keep looking at Tem's arm and thinking, is that a dual disc? It does look dual disc-esque. Shining, some call it. <laughs> yeah, that's the special power they have inside. Pretty platformers. How has Penny gone now that they fixed it? Oh, you Penny's big breakaway. Yeah, I haven't played it again since they put out patches. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I did see someone in the Discord who, who basically felt like a clown because they bought it at launch. Mm -hmm. I was like, man, if only someone on some podcast had literally said the sentence, this shit ain't ready. Right? <laughs> Bob, why didn't you do that? <laughs> <laughs> they they might have bought it even before. They probably did. Yeah, they, they probably... probably did. But I know people who didn't. So. Right. But they probably, they probably did, so... Seven weeks okay. later? Whoa! Party, close. Seven weeks? So about, it's a bunch of missions. Yeah. With the weirdest yeah. connections. You know, it literally turned into like a, a Rogue Squadron style game. Take out that AA gun. Oh, It's a real great genre, isn't it, Loki Call? Loki Call says, nice white guy getting in touch with the spiritualism media. It's okay. It's the ascended forms of consciousness. He gets more in touch with, with himself. Then he gets more in touch with nature. Then he realizes he's bisexual. <laughs> We're gonna see the whole journey. <laughs> We're gonna see it all! Okay, there's the other AA gun. Good for him. I mean, honestly, it would be nice if we could have something to counter Earthward Jim. <laughs> People are like, what an insane thing to say. What does Earthworm Jim have to do with being a bisexual? To which I say, do not ask me about the ending of Earthworm Jim 3D. <laughs> I just would like some positivity in my life right now. <laughs> I feel like I should have some sort of ability to like roll back and forth, like, like to dodge. 
kind of like in Star Fox or um, something? If you push the stick and hit left or right, does that do... Because you remember you have... I, yeah. yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That, That's it. That's horrible, That's it. though. Why'd they, why'd they do that? Oof. I swear Jim had a fifth boss. Don't look it up. Don't, yeah, don't, don't. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? How's it going thinking about things other than the Earthworm Jim final boss? Uh, I'm just baffled. I seem to have blow up these knight enemies to take a ton of hits just using my tur back turrets. They like die real Your easily. Your back turrets do seem weirdly overpowered in right? this game. It's always like, maybe I should just act like a gun tank when I'm on the ground, even. <laughs> just lock down and fire. Like, gun tank is kind of like carcinization, <laughs> you know? Yeah. All things return to gun tank. There are more AA guns. There, there's a highlighter. Ultimate okay. Totoro says, I kind of can't believe how normal this game looks. I made the mistake of buying Dark Sector years ago when I saw this. <laughs> That's rough. That bad, huh? I've never played Dark Sector, so I don't know. Based on how this game is so far, I'm pretty sure I'd rather play this than Dark Sector, but who knows? Yeah, I'd have I to won't play Dark Sector again. Straight. I remember thinking Dark Sector was real neat, but very unpolished, and I'm sure that this is, feels way less polished if it's running on a real 360 or PS3. Uh-huh. But I'm sure on PC it's probably fine. Maybe. Because Unreal Engine 3 plays well with PCs. Right. Um, Chris Wolfhart, of course, asking for the Dark Void versus Dark Sector versus The Darkness. It does feel wrong that we didn't do Dark Void slash Dark Sector swap swap. That feels like the thing that should have happened. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the seventh gen game called, just called Dark. That is a real game. I don't, it, it's even less respectable than any of these though. Like that's, Right, which is why that's the darkness versus the dark flop swap death stream. Right, like that, that game is like sub wet tier. Like it's, it looks so low budget just looking at the box. You're like, this can't be real. You can't I, have released this. I hope Spiff is listening to this. He's going to be fucking <laughs> losing his mind over. You know, I have to say Dark is a sub-wet tier game. <laughs> so that Scrunt could be a real video game. Yeah, right? I mean, when we have games called Wet and Dark. <laughs> All right. Scrunt. Fucking Scrunt. You could also throw in Eternal Darkness. Uh, we are gonna check out the no, that's too Darkness much of a real game. Sorry. Stone Corbel says, then you can play a game of Magic the Gathering with cards from the set The Scar. Dark. What the hell? What what edition is that? How deep into... When did that come out? Right. They used to name them well. Right? At this point, I assume every edgy noun, verb, or adjective is a 7th gen game. Maybe some prepositions. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> prepositions are hard to really come up with. Yeah. Don't, don't add those. Take those out. <laughs> the Dark came out in the 90s? How did I never hear about that edition then? What? Okay, so worth noting when I was playing Tempest was, well, at one point when I was playing Tempest was new. So I'm floored that no one ever mentioned The Dark. Was this just that bad of a run maybe? I just that old of a run, 94. Yeah, that we would have been yeah. like children. Yeah, no, we would not have, like, I would never have been, they were so far from when I started playing Magic. Yeah, I mostly got into Magic late high school, or late middle school, early high school. And then by halfway through high school, I realized I don't have fucking money. So I stopped buying cards as often. Mm hmm. But then, Gamma Chris, over in Gamma Chris Discord, posts a picture of cool owl sorcerer. <laughs> and I'm just like, fuck. 
That's so cool. Shit. <laughs> It's really funny for them to have snuck this kind of game in by it being like there's like an hour of Uncharted first. Yeah. We basically had, basically had a feature length film length. Or as some humans might say in English, feature film length intro that was Uncharted. Right? Because it was like 90 minutes. Oh God, no, 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 wrong button, wrong button. I can't believe they actually say that. All right. Okay, Bob. What's up? I am now finally glad we have not streamed wet. Okay. And I'm fine with this not being paired up with dark. Because, Bob. Are we going to have the wet slash creepy? You need to fucking see this. Let me sort this real quick so I can pop up with these images closely one after another. Okay, Bob, you ready? Uh-huh. Here's wet, which you're familiar with. Right, of course. Wet. And here's here's dark. Yeah. Tell me these two box arts were not made for each other. This is like a fucking red version, blue version thing. Dark looks so much more fake in my head. <laughs> like, it, like I, I looked at that at GameStop all the time. I was like, that can't be real. Let me look at the back. I don't believe these are screenshots. <laughs> this is too fucking funny. Pokemon wet and Pokemon, Pokemon dark. dark. <laughs> this is so good. You could buy dark on Steam. What? The ultimate buff. I don't even think you could do that with wet. I, yeah, I don't know if you can do that with wet. I, I feel like that game should absolutely have a PC port. I want them to get divorced. Says <laughs> totally not to. Me. I mean, you know they're not good for each other. No, absolutely not. They're both looking at each other going, I could make them worse. <laughs> I'm looking up to how long to beat on these games right now. Neither can be that long. I bet Dark is four hours. I bet Dark goes down a really, really bad place, right? It just ends up being way too long. I have no idea what kind of game Dark it is. I should, I probably shouldn't make bets on it, right? <laughs> but I, I, there's just something about it that makes me think, yeah, four hours long. So both of the games tonight, I believe, are seven hours. Bob, both of these games are also seven hours. Seven Gen really had a feature like film sort of vibe, didn't it? Right, it's like we made it exactly long enough. 75 minutes, go see it in a theater, you fucking animals. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Destroy the night. Where is he? Oh God, they spawned him behind me. I should, hear me out. I should prep two stream layouts and depending on which game is in play, it is either wet or dark. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty funny. And then even change the lighting because I, I have an ability to save presets, I think. Let me check. Is the stream wet or dark? <laughs> You know what really helped this game? What's that? If game feel was good. Yeah. Because, like, a lot of things... Like, the flying feels better than the shooting. It does. Like, it feels like that was definitely the part of the game that they had intended to make first. I made it. I actually don't know if anyone wants to check, you know, if this game had multiplayer. Oh, this game had some of the Crimson Skies devs on it. That explains that it. That explains everything. Yeah, I was thinking Crimson Sky as, especially with the way those manu missions. mid air maneuvers work. And also the missions, mm -hmm. because it's like that's all that game was. Nice. Just a bunch of missions with a loose cutscene. Right. That makes perfect fucking sense. Also, yeah, that did have the click the right analog stick and hit it direction. Right. 
Man, it's too bad we can't just get someone to make a game as like Crimson Skies now. Like that's too outlandish it's, for a publisher to greenlight. It seems insane that we just don't get uh, shooters like they're like flying shooters like that. Like it's too outlandish. No one would enjoy that. Like no, people would want love love that. Like that that's a whole kind of person. And it feels like we did stop getting those even as early as seventh gen. Mm -hmm. Like I can think of a few like World War II ones we got during that gen, but nobody wants a World War II one. They want like something modern or something sci-fi. I think they want all three. I think people want the military like history version, but they also want the others. You're just supposed to shoot all of them. Gain access to the prison. Oh, okay. So it's behind Gaining us. access means go down that hallway to the side or something. Right, and it's, it's just showing me a waypoint that's behind it. Oh, it's my gate access that we block around. What you want to find is the central containment area that's... in the core of the prison. Did the lair kill dogfighting games? They I mean, were dead killed... by the time it came out. <laughs> it, it killed... I mean, it came out really early. It was 07, Bob. Okay. So exactly. we didn't confirm the corpse until after that, basically. True. Because they were, they were shipping in like 05 and 06 even. Like, Rogue Squadron 3 is a really late game. I think that's a uh, 04. I'm trying to remember. It just feels like we got none during 7th gen, basically. Right, but that's the very beginning of the gen. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Um, the problem is they killed that studio, and Factor Five was like a huge. Yeah, they were like the guys doing it. <laughs> right, they were a regular contributor, and then Fasa became airtight, and they made this, and even it's like a fusion, not that sort of thing. Mm hmm. We had Project Silphid. Project Silphid's like a normal. I thought Project Silphid was a shmup. Like a shmup, yeah. That's what normal Silphid is. And then that chat goes, what's normal Silphid? And I'm like, never mind. And yet I need to go eat my applesauce. I'm old. For my Sega CD. Uh, yes, Factor 5 were the people who pitched a Kid Icarus reboot. And Nintendo gave various notes and they ignored all of them, apparently. Uh-huh. Yeah, it it always felt like it was kind of a smaller genre to begin with. Right. But then when it reduced to Yeah, we just have one of the with the only studios that makes them is it's right. visual buyer. Right. Because that's a third of the people who made them basically. Right. Both the second generation. When you hit the objective button, does anything highlight? No. Maybe it's way above you. Maybe, maybe I dropped too far down. This, this looks like a job for flying way too fast. <laughs> um, I guess it could be the whatever is are those dots on my map. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Funny how many Western devs in fifth and sixth gen wanted to work on Nintendo IPs and just quote did not get it. Yeah. Well, I mean that was seventh gen. The Kid Icarus thing was. I think. It, I th I'm trying to think of how many studios I know who got the opportunity and absolutely missed it. You? Oh. No? That doesn't make any sense with your map. Weirdly, it's not even something that's moving, is it? Like, if you stop aiming and turning and moving and shit. Yeah, those aren't moving, so I think those are the enemies that are spawned in the area. Okay. moving power cores to expose the second generator. I think on that thing is rotating, but I don't see any power cores on it. Are those pillars that are... I mean, there are too many of the pillars on the outside that are lit up, so it can't be those. Yeah. Well, let's drop down to that floor and look around on that exact floor. Maybe there's something on a wall or... Whoops, what's on that mode? They're like, do you want to cool, do the cool thing? No, I, I just want to jump and use a jetpack. Oh, oh hey, wait, wait, wait. Our wall. You're left. Oh, that's a door. Yeah, let's yeah. just leave. Yeah. Maybe it's under this? Because it looks like there's something else even farther down. 
Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. There was just so much of a large thing that I couldn't see it. Man, this thing looks like straight from Star Wars. Yeah. A lot of this game ends up there. Where it's like prequels, original, prequels, mm -hmm. original, Mass Effect, or prequels. There was someone on Twitch who uh, was playing Final Fantasy XII, and I'm like, oh, cool, this person likes Final Fantasy XII. It, it'll be interesting to see someone who likes Final Fantasy XII play Final Fantasy XII and talk about Final Fantasy XII. And they immediately said, the newer edition's bad. Everyone's wrong. Also, I hate it when people compare this to the prequel Star Wars films. They have no idea what they're talking about. I'm like, these are some takes. <laughs> I came here for spicy takes. You did not let down. Oh, sir. Which light is this? Oh, it's mine. Man, look at that chat. Isn't that cool? Now imagine we hooked that up to some sort of thing. Oh, there, there's more. Jesus. What could you even object to about Zodiac Age? I mean, he was saying the stuff they changed about the jobs and how people could, like, change what their deal was mm -hmm. was fundamentally not a system the game was designed around and that it was better when they were individuals and wholly unique. I, I thought that was, like... Like, that, I have no opinions on that take, but that sounds outrageous in a way that's funny to me. It's That's really funny oh because God. it's like... But they weren't individual in their own in the they all had the exact same set of ability before. Someday I'll find a color. And decide upon it. What a continue on it down, Will. Only one left. Copy that. Yeah, there's another whole set of these. Okay. But yeah, honestly, the thing that I found funnier was the uh you know. Clearly being irritated by comparisons to the Star Wars prequels. Right. They probably did not like the Star Wars prequels, I'm willing to wager. Which is a not you know, something I begrudge them, obviously. Right, like that's an incredibly normal thing to feel. Despite what people are trying to do now, it's like, no, those were films weren't hated. It's like what are you talking about? Those films weren't what? Weren't hated. Completely ignoring what I'm telling you to do, bro. 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 Oh, you guys can't fly. Okay, good. You all came down to eat the grenade. Good. I would be so upset if you flew away from my grenade. That's what I do. So, uh... As I described the struggle on yesterday's stream. Uh -huh. God, the thought of those inflicting more damage? Right? Well, so that's the thing to get. Yeah, it is. Hey, um, listen, I've been trying to get these cells open. Let me see what I can do. I'm I'm smart. I I I I science it by punching it and ripping out wires and that makes it open. And it worked. So I can't even blame him. Oh no, it's the dark void. <laughs> My legs. It hurts to walk. That is Roger Craig Smith. <laughs> it hurts to walk. Is standing just fine. Okay. I hope they're all him for some reason. Fair. This is weird. Yeah, what part? It's just like... They have a hundred people stored individually like this? Yeah. It's, it's, it's extremely inefficient. <laughs> right? Don't be afraid. You're okay now. 
There's a shaft over there that leads to the hangar. I'll bring the prisoners down the back stairs. Got it. Keep them safe. Surround him. Uh, Dante Namikaze says, It's gotten so much worse. People are re rehabilitating other movies as well, like the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and saying those were never bad, too. I don't... How do I put this? I don't think they're bad, but they're not as good as the Sam Raimi films. I think the first Amazing Spider-Man movie is bad. <laughs> How do I put this? My God, what's happening? Okay, that was intentional. Maybe. Jury's still out. I don't know. I'll have to watch it again because I was so in shock of what it was the first time I saw it. Mm -hmm. By the second film, I had my shit remotely together. You bet I don't own it. It'd be yeah. nice to be able to watch it for free and not have to spend money to watch it again. Right, for sure. Okay, so this gun just causes a weird giant explosion of everyone T-poses. That's bizarre. Why is that your gun? <laughs> you your oh, those are my guys. Whoops. Sorry. I got all sad. What's happening? I don't know. I also don't know why this light isn't working. <laughs> it, well, is it technology? It is technology. There you go. Should have known. Never rely on technology. Yeah, look at this. I have a T-pose gun. I don't... I mean, that's sick. It is neat. It's very strange that that's what it is. Are you going to look out for Morbius foreshadowing? In The Amazing Spider-Man? Did they really do that in The Amazing Spider-Man? Yeah, it feels like something they would have done in Morbius to be like, you know, totally, was we were thinking about this back then. And then you go, no, you weren't. And they go, I know. Because if, if I remember from Amazing Spider-Man, foreshadowing was, look at this hallway of all the villains suits. Yeah, they all come from this one lab. <laughs> it's smart, actually. Oh my god, I finally got control of Bob's side. <laughs> I don't know what exactly caused it to not be controllable, but <laughs> it is solved now. Yeah, that's true. They teased the Sinister Six at the very end of two. Mm -hmm. And then... Funny, because I got to spend so much of the staring at the camera to see how it looks, even though I have a color here and the color behind me, and they look the same. Uh-huh. I need to look at what you all see <laughs> to see how it really pans out. Also, let me pull up the menu so I can see who that was. Thank you, Sakio, for the 44 month sub. Oh. What's up? The cover of this game always made me want to get it, but I was too poor. How is it? On the Series X, running it at a perfectly locked 30 frames per second and with short load times and with any anisotropic filtering. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. Don't worry. We'll get you out of here. Meaning it's a great time this week. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, oh, you're uh, too powerful. <laughs> that was his flash stuff. You weren't supposed to see that. Protect the prisoners. Great. Yeah, also it's on PC. So that, that version's probably fine. Right. Uh, given that it's an Unreal Engine 3 game. God, how much do you want? How much do you think they spent on this game? Yeah, I wonder. You, you wonder if it was like $60 million? Could be higher. It could be. 
I mean, there's definitely a reason Capcom got out of doing this. Like, oh, this outsource who takes too much money and we usually get a product no one likes. One of Harry's workers, co-workers in The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is supposed to be Black Cat. Ah. Huh. Ah. Wang says it's going to be funny to drop in quality when you get to Alien Colonial Marines. Nah, I don't think you'll notice. Yeah, it's, it's, the AI just not working won't be noticeable at all. Oh, there are. Oh, the prisoners are all going up there. You probably should have highlighted where my prisoners I was trying to protect were, even. Instead of being like, protect them. PC version seems fine, excluding the fact some cutscenes crash the game at above 60 frames per second. You have to force anti-aliasing through NVIDIA Inspector. Huh. Yeah, that that sounds par for the course. Right. But, you know. Still 60. Yeah, that would be nice. Right? Oh, yeah, I remember... I remember that. They reveal her name and expect the audience to pop. It's sad. I do remember a moment like that where I was like, what? You know, I got a caffeine-free Mountain Dew. Okay. I swung from energy drink to the opposite end. Right. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I clearly need caffeine. Right. I need water and caffeine. Why did my personal rescue bar stop filling up? Oh, because it's over. <laughs> it's like a Borderlands mountain. Yeah, kind of. I bet on PC those textures might load in ever. No. <laughs> okay. Be like a 2010 PC might have more than 500 megs of RAM. Maybe. For video. Shit, when did the 1080 Ti come out? I, I Wouldn't that have been two years later or something? Breaking camp. I wonder if Maybe like, not. No. these would have done better if they got more of their like Capcom artists to go over and like make things look interesting. <laughs> but then that would have ruined it and made it Japan. I guess. Flying too fast, use the brake. Use the brake to slow down. Damn, we're nowhere near that. Excuse me, what? That's what the gun's called? Yeah. The magnetar? Magnetar? What? All right. Gravitational nullifier. Okay, I thought that was another L. It was like nullifier. <laughs> Projectiles ricochet off nearby surfaces. Okay. Dense multiplier that causes projectiles to bounce towards the enemies and inflict more damage. What was the final upgrade for this? Okay, we got it. I'm literally having a stroke as I look at Evil Lucario say, The 1080 Ti came out only seven years ago. I'm like, but I had that thing forever. <laughs> what? I'm fine. I'm fine. Really? Wait. Is that the, the girl from oh. Crowd David clapping and cheering off. sound is so funny. Yeah, what what is happening? Where did we find them? Were they part of the survivors? Were we rescued? Yes. yes. Good to see you, my friend. The camp's position is compromised. They're gathering an attack force. We are not safe here. Everyone, prepare yourselves. The ark sails at dawn. Ava? What's happening? Will, Tam was just telling me about you. <laughs> Wait, you're just gonna smile, say hello like nothing happened? Ava, where the hell were you? You're never gonna believe. Ava, it's Nicola. I need your assistance on the bridge. Copy that. I'm on my way. I flashed up there and I'm ready to talk to you now. It's great to see you, Will. It really is. We'll talk soon. 
Women always be saying, we'll talk soon to me. So tired of it. Six hours later, at least it's not six weeks. <laughs> you stood on that clip and disassociated for six hours. <laughs> yeah, what of it? You're like, why is everyone so mean to me? So has she has a chance to talk to us yet? Oh my God, why is the gameplay so much louder? Defeat the invasion force? What's happening? <laughs> Who's invading? <laughs> <laughs> 300 years later. <laughs> I would laugh. Yeah, it's so like hard. an Aqua Team bit at this point. <laughs> Atom's like, Will, two millennia go. <laughs> and Fog Machine kicks in. <laughs> and oh, if I man. knew this was done by the. Uh, by the guys who did um, Crimson Skies. Crimson Skies, yeah, I would probably have bought it. Or yeah, me it too, chance. because that game was great. Right? Like, that was the coolest Xbox original game. One of them. One of the coolest Xbox studio games. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what is the list of... Xbox Game Studio games on the Xbox original that were bangers. I'm going to go ahead and nominate a Project Gotham Racing on the behalf of people who enjoy that. Sure, okay. Is... Okay, that, that was them. That was them studio, their studios. Yeah. It's just I don't I don't really like those games. Right. There's the Mech Assault games. They did two of those. Yeah, there's Mech Assaults. I'm sorry, I'm mortified as I'm scrolling th through this to see where we are. Uh-huh. The hell long to be? Maybe, maybe this is timing out. One moment. No, this is... Man, it's really weird seeing this game, like, hyper crisp <laughs> and, like, 60 frames per second. Oh, yeah, I bet. Real weird. And just watch that cutscene where your helmet went on. Okay. One... We're very much on track to beat this under the seven hour how long to be. Okay. Two. No, that was it. That, that's it. That's it. That's <laughs> just the one. <laughs> oh, whoops, no, whoops, whoops, whoops. The Castle Crashers and Super Meat Boy are Xbox 360, guys. We're talking Xbox original. Brute Force, says Shoebreaker. I never played that. I game. never played it. It always looked really worrying in the guy. Now all I think when I see the guy from the cover is like an ad for a GPU. No, not even a GPU for uh, one of those gaming colleges. Westwood College. Yeah, like Westwood College. Or like, Full Sail. Yeah, Full Sail. Full Sail. Exactly that one. My God. My God. Like that's how bad he looks in my head. Uh, Steel Battalion's Capcom. Yeah. So I don't even know if I would count that. No. We're just talking about Xbox Game Studios. They didn't have a whole lot. Before or after. Whoa, check out the graphics. Yeah, which which uh, era. I mean, that was kind of the beginning of that, right? Right. Yeah. But you're talking about like magazine ads, right? Yeah, magazine ads for full sale. Like yeah, I know what you're saying. That exact lizard. <laughs> Bob and I actually took a tour of Full Sail to see if we wanted to go to college there. I don't fucking know why I did that. Right. I did not have the financial backing for that. That would have been a nightmare. My life would be destroyed right now had I done that. Or I'd be a famous game developer and still have my life destroyed right now. Wait, right. Shit. Um, anyways, did you know sometimes the winning strategy is to remain motionless? <laughs> <laughs> I could be tuning up the graphics on level three right now. Exactly. Imagine levels in video games. No. You're dead. You know, because uh, your hands went from this to this. Come on. Dan, can you really put a price on a successful career? Yeah. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I feel like you can really I easily get for a price on that when uh, you don't have one of those two either. <laughs> Command, this is Scout Team Alpha. They're here. 
I honestly don't know that I'd financially be better off if I was in the game industry, which is sad. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not exactly... Like, I'm by no means affluent right now or rich. Um, I certainly wouldn't be if I was a game developer. If only we just... Saved up all of our pennies the whole game to upgrade these cannons. Yeah. Um. We would have been laid off by now. Well, I mean, if I went into game development in like 2008, I'd be out by now. I would have. I would have burned out. What right, a, who am I already... fucking kidding? I, I would be dead. An ancient 37-year-old man. <laughs> I'm not 37 yet. That was just a number. <laughs> just like ages, chat. It's just a number. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was so sad when he slammed into a rock while <laughs> liquefied his pose. <laughs> Cuts to Adam saluting your, like, flesh bag that fell right. the ground. I had considered going to full sale until a friend of mine from Florida told me all the people they know who've gone there completely struggle to get jobs in the industry. Yeah, yeah, if I had actually gotten a job in the industry, it would have been from connections I made working for... Uh, a, oh my god, I couldn't even read the prompt because it was under because the Because blue light. on blue with the bloom. God, there, some really bad decisions UI-wise in this game. Uh-huh. But yeah, it would have been because of the connections I had just already in the industry, as few as they were because of uh, just working on a PlayStation coverage site. Yeah, I do that all the time, Fresh Barack. Woo! Slide whistle sound. Funny that my only real knowledge of full sale aside from the horrible ratio of getting jobs from it is that WWE uses it to host one of their weekly shows. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, they actually started transitioning into being like for audio engineers. Huh. Like if you recall, that was yeah, one that of the was degrees a they offered. Thing. But now they really lean into the podcast angle of that. Oh, so that imagine makes sense. you're going to fucking full sale for a hojillion dollars a year. Uh huh. Crunching insanely hard so you can try to pay off that debt, being an audio engineer for the oversaturated podcast market. Right. I believe the phrase is nightmare, 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 nightmare. Right. Yeah, one second. Got to go to podcast college. None of the people, tons of people who worked in the industry through the late '90s, early aughts, most, who mostly ended up in MMO development. Not a single one went to like DigiPen Full Sail or studied game development at all. Really? Yeah, no. You get a computer science. Degree. Right. Exactly. You just get a computer science degree. Because did you know most of you making a game is going to be you solving problems, which is going to be you programming. Which is going to be you knowing how to program and understand the computers well enough to fix the thing that you created. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, I've told the stories a few times, but a friend of mine from back in the day, who uh, currently works at NVIDIA, at least last time I checked in, um, he used to work at a game developer who that was being run by like a a literal crime company in New York that would steal manholes and other things from the city and sell it back to the city. <laughs> anyway, so that's where their funding came from, but they were a game development studio. Of course. Um, and he talked about every single person he ever interviewed for a job that came from one of those colleges. He would be like, he would ask, okay, this is the problem. How do you solve it? And they go, blank. Mm -hmm. And then you go, okay, explain why that is. And they couldn't any time. Like one of them, I believe, was talking about lighting stuff. And it's like, okay, if you do this, 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 
it should be this color, but the but the room is rendering green. Why? Uh, how do you fix that? And they go, oh, well, it's an albedo thing or something like that. And then they would be like, so you do this. And then he goes, okay, why is that? And they would not know. And since the game industry has been technologically moving so fast, especially back then. Right. Um, that person's worthless. Yeah. They don't understand what they're currently doing. How are they going to... Like, you're better off getting someone who's Googling the answers. Because at least in Googling the answers, they might have learned something. <laughs> uh, Chas Stardust says, Out of all my friends who went to DigiPen, only one is doing all right in the industry. The others burned out super hard after school. Yeah. You coach with Burnout College and then you go into Burnout Industry? No, no way. So, I didn't want to get into it on the podcast. I think it was the podcast. It may have been just one of these streams. Uh-huh. But the episode of Daria where that character who I cannot remember the name of because I literally can only remember Daria's name. We had to say Jane the other day for me to remember Jane's name. That's right. how bad it is. I don't know Daria's sisters, dad, mother, anyone's name. But anyways, the black girl they were going to get as a spinoff to. Right, right. Um, she goes to the same prestigious co like high school. She takes a tour of the same gifted school that Daria does. And one of the final things in that episode, mild spoilers for one episode of Daria, but you should watch Daria. It's all on Twitter. Um, is they, they go, what percentage of your students go on to uh, colleges like, and then they list some prestigious colleges. And they're like, well, it's actually an astonishingly high 92%. They're like, oh, where do the other 8% go? And he's like, well, you know, they kind of like, they get a little t tired of high pressure situations with uh, grades and being judged and feeding themselves and holding jobs. And, and then the entire room of parents are like, whoa. Uh. And I was like, that's awesome. You you don't really get that sort of realistic portrayal of that mm -hmm. in media of yeah this college is gonna this high school high school even right is going to burn out your child so hard they just drop out of trying yeah um so that was awesome i really wish i had watched all of daria back in the day i wish i could have caught it you know uh, this is gonna make me sound enormously old, but I stopped watching cable television when I left high school, basically. DVRs were not a thing I had on my TV or maybe even in my house before I graduated high school. So I didn't get to watch whatever. You know, you had to watch it when it was on. Right. And, and I, honestly, I couldn't afford DVDs. I didn't even understand that MTV aired shows like that. Oh, yeah. No, I had actually seen a few. There's one in my head that I never knew the name of where they were secret agents or some shit. Cause isn't, then there's uh, undergrads. Yeah, like undergrads and all that. I found out way after the fact. I didn't see those until they like hit DVD and you showed me them. Yeah. It was like I, did, I didn't know MTV did that. Yeah, I got to catch... A couple of those episodes occasionally. Like, I'm not a person who can manage a time schedule, even back then. So I'm definitely not doing it for a fucking TV show. <laughs> I wish I had a health bar so I could tell when I was dying. What if you had a health, a health saturation? <laughs> right? <laughs> High school teacher bring me a bunch of D Daria episodes to a DVD for his class. That's awesome. Units on their way. Scramble all available fighters. Defend the arc at all costs. But yeah, uh, that sort of Daria in every episode I've watched so far has such a soulful understanding of the experience that it is crazy, um, and a deep consideration. For what it's actually like it feels realistic it feels real and that's very nice given uh how media generally goes <laughs> well i mean if it's at all costs why don't we use the blood nato yeah <laughs> oh blood nato is legend we can't use the blood nato um 
Yeah, I actually know at least, at least three people. Either through one degree of separation or two. Four people who went to either Full Sail or one other game development college. I don't remember which one that was. Mm -hmm. None of them. Not one. Not one in the industry? Not one. Not one even made it in. And some of these people, like, are... These aren't dumb people. They're not lazy people either. It's not a, you know, sure, they're people Dan knows, but, you know, they're probably like deadbeats. Like, no, these people were academically way, way trying harder than they. Um, and they had financial support out the ass. If they were going to... If there was a chance they could have made it in, I feel like they would have. <laughs> um, it just didn't happen. It's so hard to aim like it that. It is so hard to aim like that. It feels like that mode's not quite done. That's how it feels for that. Because I've seen that exact mode work better in other flying shooters like this. Yes. In fact, uh... Maybe if... one's made by the same developer. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like Naboo Starfighter also has a feature like that, and it works better. Mm-hmm. It makes me extremely glad if a little upset for the other college kids that my college just went belly up and I wasn't stuck with that much debt. Holy shit. That's convenient. Can't owe someone money if they don't exist, right? Oh, shit. I'm fine. I'm not fine. Someone shot me to death. <laughs> Can I try? Yeah, sure. This, this mission weird. Yeah, I'm seeing it. It's kind of like... It feels like a near end game mission. It does. There's so much shit going on. And there's like no cover to get to. Like, uh huh. I don't understand. Okay, so the good thing I just discovered, uh huh, is that if you just hold the stick the way you want it to go and just click the right stick, it does it. They did a terrible job of explaining Oh, really? Uh-huh. Which is how it works in Crimson Skies. Right. The last two times I tried to do this minigame, it's like, you died. They killed you. I saw. Guys. I was like... And not even the, the dude I, I was fighting, just someone else shot me from afar. It's like, yeah. that shouldn't be able to happen. <laughs> Is it full scale a scam? Yeah, that's basically what we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's what we've been saying. Like, it's it's a first off, it's a crunch college, which we haven't really talked about too much. Yeah. You're supposed to get a four year degree in like nine months or some shit. Yeah, it's something it's ludicrous. Insane. So, but you still get charged for the four year degree, basically, and you still do that many hours, but do that many hours in nine months or so. It's, right. It's a nightmare. They literally propose to you going to hell. <laughs> They're like, hey, what if? Oh my god, I told him to do a sick flip, uh -huh. and so he just crashed into the wall. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and just let that one go. If anything, that may be the winning move. Well, that's interesting. Kyver says going to full tail worked out for me, mostly because one, I got a big scholarship, and two. I got me a, it got me a visa to the U.S. Hell yeah! Right, like that's. that's I'm happy you for you, Jesus. Yeah, the scholarships I got wouldn't apply to something like full sail. Yeah, and I never could have ended up with a scholarship. That is simply not what I did. <laughs> That's crazy. They, they would send you an introduction email, and then 20 minutes later, they're like, oh, never mind. They're shut this, this, this college down. That's, that's crazy. That is nuts. <laughs> so the world. Get out, get out, get out! <laughs> 
Yes, the worm men made these ships to pilot with their robot bodies instead of just making the ships that were piloted by the worm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. They didn't. Look, we can't have the twist that they're worms, the thing that happened almost immediately. Wait a minute. Okay, good. It does fly to me. Worried I was missing out on some tech points there. Have I mentioned that I really like flying shooters, like this style? Uh-huh. And it makes me sad we don't have a word for this genre. They're, they're flight sims, but they're more arcadey flight sims. I don't uh -huh. know what we can do. What, 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 what can we do about this? Once again, a YouTuber this should be out there. Yeah, no, it's it's one of those things. Like, it feels like someone should have done it. Come um, on, just barely. Come on, just barely. I feel like I should be able to shoot at him with my gun during these sequences to really distract him. Right, or something. Flying combat genre, all range mode. I mean, flying combat genre at that point, that's just the ending of Devil May Cry 1, right? <laughs> you are not blowing me up inside of an enemy ship. That would be too embarrassing. My ego would not survive. Sales crunch is simply preparing you for doing 10 years of game crunch in, in, to make two years of dev, a dev cycle. I mean, 10, you can't do that. You will get a, doing crunch for two years will get you a less effective two years than just doing regular work for two years. Right. You're doing two years of crunch to get two years and one week of development time. Yeah, you're getting you do two years of crunch to get one and a half years of break like that time. <laughs> right. It's not, it's not how the equation works. That's how the executives hope the equation will work. <laughs> I hope you're all not tired of this yet. Shmup is going up. Schmideways is going horizontal. True. Games like Panzer Dragoon are smordways. Smorwords. Sh so I guess this is a yeah. small sh around. Schmall around. Okay, sure. And I have said out. all of those things of shmup, schmideways, and schmore words. <laughs> right. Classic Dan video games bit. But uh, schmall around never would have occurred to me. Schmall and schmall around. Schmall around. Oh, hey, you're almost dead. Whoa! Oh, I was not observing the 3D geometry correctly in my brain. <laughs> Which is pretty easy to do when it's not lit well. Right? How did we figure out how to drive their ships so easily? I mean, I, we might be using their technology with the jetpack. We're that's, using their technology depressing. with the helmets already. That's so. depressing. That is truly depressing. It's a fucking jetpack. <laughs> I feel like with Tesla here, our stuff, like the human stuff, could be way crazier. It's, it feels too normal. Yeah, someone's talking about they're tired of Tesla showing up in completely fictional settings, and I'm like, I don't think you understand what the 2010s were about <laughs> when it came to Tesla. <laughs> we love that motherfucking dude. We just acted like he did way better than he did. Right. You're like, yeah, and then everything was perfect, and... You know, nothing, nothing fucked up on any of Tesla's stuff. Well, I mean, Edison was the cock, so obviously Tesla was the Chad. <laughs> you can only be one or the other. <laughs> right. Where's our cool one-liner? I don't know. Yeah, if they... Whoa, what happened? Uh, it doesn't know, and I don't either. <laughs> If he had just explained, like, oh, hit the directional left stick you want to do a trick in, and then click the right stick, and we're like, oh, I know that. That's Crimson Skies. Instead, they made it look like, shove both sticks in the direction you want to after holding the right stick. Yeah. Okay. Just crash into them. Sometimes that's the answer. Hell yeah. Right 
Yeah, it does feel like with the Order 1886, but the last thing is like, oh man, look how cool Tesla is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the uh, gaming industry's final hurrah. Mm-hmm. Did it. Ow, ow, stop firing on me. You're my friends. That one, they actually gave you the electric gun, which, you know, feel like you need to do if you have him. Yeah. It is kind of his thing. Whoa. Why would I get out of the plane? Yeah, that's why I'm confused as to why I want to be on the ground. You... At least they aren't tremblers. I assume the Sarasu couldn't handle me getting a boner right now. <laughs> that, that might cause problems. Man, it's going to spawn a bunch of dudes on top of them. Love these robots doing fucking humanoid dive yeah. evasions. Are you fucking game every one of those really man yeah so about the, the shooting it doesn't feel up to far with the flying <laughs> there we go now it's hitting him yeah and this is one of the stronger guys that's why he exploded off some armor before he started actually getting on oh you're it's the other one whoops oh shit Falcon punch! Falcon punch! Oh shit, yes. This motherfucker had that on him? Oh, that's the Magnetar. Yeah. What if I don't want to? Did that ever fucking occur to you? Okay. Sure. Does the Magnetar need to hit them directly, or is it like a little explosion? It, it kind of needs to hit them to do the explosion. Okay. It'll bounce okay. off anything else. Okay. Glad I got this clar clarification. You were saying something about bouncing off everything else? Yep. Why is he just standing there? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I feel like a few different games did that animation with a gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a few different things that they're like, the, our gun is everyone floats in the air. And, and like, basically disintegrates immediately. Right. So Destiny had it, this has it. Uh, there's oh, also- man. The Destiny one is real good too. The Destiny one's like actually cool, yeah. The Taken version does it as well. Half-Life 2 orb, that's true. Oh, that's true, isn't it? It's yeah. such a distant memory because I've never beaten that game. And that's that a, an end game thing, yeah. Right, yeah. I think it shows up in multiplayer, though. It might. Or I may have just booted to the end of Half-Life 2 using cheat codes. <laughs> oh. So about why I love the uh, jetpack in this game and just getting on a high platform. Uh-huh. Wonder why. Have I'm you... just rinsing these enemies. <laughs> have you played Armed and Dangerous? No. You're not familiar with that, no. That sounds like a subtitle for like a Ratchet game or something. It does. Bob, we were so close to accidentally playing Earthworm Jim 3D on Transvisibility Day. Yeah. At least it was the time when the clock ticked over for us by the time we got there. <laughs> yes, Buzzmati, this game is sober. This is the only game that's been respectable at all this week. It's probably like a six or so. Crazy. That is pretty crazy. Instead of literally worst games in their genres we've been playing. Right, it's been back to back to back. Yeah, they didn't design the enemy AI to even be aware I'm doing this. Hey, what's that pogging chicken next to the Rocketeer? Don't worry about it. It's just a, a pogging uh, chicken. In the movie, the Rocketeer, there's a chicken joint, and it totally has that as a mascot. <laughs> now then, what's the next lie you want me to tell you? <laughs> hey, check this out. This motherfucker takes too much damage. Yeah, he does. It's time. No! 
<laughs> what, um... What? <laughs> There's a hundred noises happening. What did you say? <laughs> Hurry to where? What do you want? Oh no! That was pretty good watching him flip over, trying to stabilize. Wait. Are you looking for secret? No, I'm not. We need to get more more clips of people saying that. Is this uh? No one's gonna say as good as that guy, though. I mean, obviously, but it's just funny to have a whole set. Now, target the propulsion generators on the sides of the Oh, arc. he wanted me to use that, so I definitely should pick it back up. <laughs> okay, I guess. Hell yeah, listen to that soundtrack go. Can't believe you lied about the contents of the Rocketeer like this. It's okay, we can do that, because no one on Earth has seen it. That game had, or that movie had a negative box office. What the heck is this guy? Yes. It's not supposed to be a weapon. It's supposed okay. to be a thing to charge things, but it will absolutely vaporize enemies in a minute. Right. There's no way it won't. It's okay to lie because no one will catch me, says Bob Video Games. <laughs> I'm getting real sick of this dude slowly shooting me from behind as I do this. Okay, it looks like he didn't follow over here because there's too much geometry and he'd be scared. Oh, yeah, show it off the jetpack and Anthem when this does it better. I don't know, Anthem's jetpack is pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I would prefer to be able to do the two different modes though. They right. limit your uh, your stuff in that a lot so they can design a, a, a typical game around it. Right, you know? yeah, you don't have giant environments like this to go around. Right. So, by break this, you mean just fire on it, right? Because it's really dark and I don't... <laughs> right, what, what exact part do you need? Guys? Maybe you need to use a different kind of gun. Well, they made me get rid of... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know then. I don't want to use this gun. I'm taking fire over here! Whose fault is that? <laughs> How about some responsibility, huh? Didn't we have a talk about responsibility? Okay, this gun is spent okay, and shitty, so. What? Nail it. <laughs> this isn't the same thing. Oh no. I lost the place where I. Uh. Weapon uh. We're almost out of the triple digit hours. The demon fit is truly powerful. Shh. <laughs> But he's not going to notice. They're just going to be fine with that. Cover me! Yeah, I'm... Engaging target. I'm fucking concerned here, man. Yeah, no, you, I, I don't know what... I'm oh. stealing this. Oh, maybe you can or use the, your Or I'm jetpack. locking my controls up because I hit B, and this moron's going to crash into a thing and kill me. Wow. A lot of things happened there really quick. I should have hijacked a smarter ship. <laughs> Tesla, we need an update on the arc. Yeah, I guess I could have tried to do jetpack guns. My what? Jetpack guns. Yeah, but it only works in that mode. I know, so it'd be really scary It'd be to do. a total pain in the ass to do on these inner ones for certain. We don't have much choice. Excuse me. Enter AA gun, where? You motherfuckers right here. Wait, can I not do it in hover mode? I... Oh my god, why not? I don't know. 
But hey, here's a good question. Why didn't they tell us about this? You probably could have passed this mission on your first try if that didn't happen. Right? Oh, wait. This is a different map, I think. I think it loaded a different map for the second segment. But maybe it didn't. I don't know. I didn't look for this thing. And those pillars of rock certainly look like the ones we were flying around in. Did you see the new fan art posted in Discord? No. No. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I will see it. Currently, I'm shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> you start shooting your own ship even a little bit and the whole thing explodes, like, dramatically. You might be able to trick Aggro into thinking this is Warhawk. Maybe. This was his view of Warhawk most of the time. Exactly. He'll be like, man, that game does look great still. That's good. I was worried it looked like fucking shit. We're like, oh, yeah, no, it looks incredible. It looks great. Definitely looks 7th gen. Doesn't look like a PS2 game that started melting. <laughs> People are saying that the fan art's good. Cool. I will definitely check it out when I'm done shooting fish in a barrel. Man, this is getting us a, an absolute shitload of tech points. Even if it infinitely spawns enemies, I might just keep doing it just so we can get the really good uh, jetpack gun. Yeah. Because we're close. Right? And then our jetpack gun will be so good, we can instantly break those locks on the side. Where'd the insistence on for turret segments come from, anyway? Uh, it's cheap. You make a single area, and then you can have enemies flow into it. And turrets are strong, but you can't move. So it's like this sort of power dynamic thing. Mm -hmm. But you get to show a pretty cutscene or sequence happening a lot of the time. Yeah, that's And too. the player can't break it by viewing it for the wrong angle. Right. Or and, just walking away from it. And they can't. Yeah, they can't ignore it most of the time. So they have to look at it. You get to control where they are. You get to make all the art design from that angle. Uh, it was like 9,200, right? I think so. They're about. Then we've we've hit it. Nice. I'm taking fire over here. Well then, fly closer to <laughs> where I'm killing everyone. <laughs> oh, you can actually switch turrets yeah. using L and B. Fuck off. What? Also, we got an achievement for me doing this. It is funny that the mission will just keep infinitely spawning these guys from off screen where I can't see them. Right. Did the, the tech point was before you charged up the this thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've got one on my tail. I did not know Kotor had turret segments. That's funny. That's funny as hell. That doesn't make any fucking sense no. if you ask me. No, that's like like technically they have a turn sequence in Star Wars. You're right. But that doesn't it feels like that game shouldn't be tapping into that part of Star Wars at all. Like anything with the spaceship, I figured wouldn't be in that game. Yeah. Can I go to the underside? I can. <laughs> wow, now I can really light these motherfuckers up. The upper side was slowing me down. Sometimes when you leave planets, you use a Millennium Falcon turret to fight some TIE fighters. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird, Chris. Man, it'd be really good if there was like a, a weapon cache on the ground so I could upgrade now. Oh yeah, Chris, I know that I know that the Old Republic is just the exact same thing as the original trilogy, just, just a little more rounded and I, that always upset me greatly. This is like, this is a thousand years ago. It shouldn't look this similar. Sorry, bud. Actually, you know what? Okay, damn. Just remember where this is relative <laughs> to... He visualized the Empire. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you got him. Kotor also had drag racing segments. What? Oh, 
It'd be so funny if the rest of this game took place in space and we were like, I knew it! <laughs> you can't trick me, I knew it was gonna go to space. You go to space and you find the aliens, colonial marines guys, and, and it's, it's really confusing. It's great, one of them says game over, man, game over. You laugh, he laughs, it's all a great time, you kiss. They're absolutely gonna say that in that game, aren't they? Oh, and colonial marines, 100%. Yeah. There's yeah. Just like no way they wouldn't. You have to try to progress from the story in one and win a woman. What? What's up? They talk about the Dragway's races in Mass Effect where you apparently get win a woman. <laughs> and, mm. All right. That's uh, not Mass Effect. Sorry, a Kotor. Oh, still weird. Yeah, still weird. Might be weirder. Why? Why are you shooting? Okay. They put a red up a little bit. <laughs> It's just like they must all die. <laughs> Billions. <laughs> Let's go. Open fire. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, manned an AA turret in order to, you know. Oh, that sounds sick. Why is that not what the Old Republic actually was? Better talk about the original Old Republic comics had techno He-Man energy to them with dinosaurs and lightsabers that ran on backpacks. That sounds incredible. That does sound incredible. Hey, Bob, remember how we were... Okay, in the plane, hitting the stick in the direction and then clicking right stick works? Yeah. In the jetpack, you do have to hit both. That makes no sense. There we go. Yeah, I'm really glad I grinded a shitload of points on that AA turret, because yeah. making that more powerful sounds uh, broken. Yes. Based on how much stronger it is than every weapon. Oh, this this enemy again. He's back. Yeah, but don't we have an AA turret? No. I can still I can still man it, right? Yeah, I guess so. Oh wow, there are a lot of them. For long. Um, they disabled the AA from harming it. Come on. You, you motherfuckers are insane. Why would you do that? What did I do to you? We've got company. Okay. Well, the same way we did last time. Right, just grenade him. kind of took away all my medicated guns when you made me swap them out for specific purposes throughout the mission. Mm-hmm. So we're doing a Resistance 2 <sighs> problem now? <laughs> I don't remember too many Resistance 2 bosses that were like, really, the ideal oh, weapon is your basic fucking carbine, but oh, that's we tricked you. you. <laughs> oh, hi, Riona. How's it going? <laughs> we're playing the legendary... No one knows this game. Game Dark Void made by Capcom during 7th Gen. How are you doing? What were you playing? Give me one second. I'm going to get give you the shout out. <laughs> Gigantic 7th Gen game. I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. Everybody's heard of Dark Void. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely didn't have to explain to multiple people. 7th <laughs> Gen isn't real. You wish. We all wish, but that's not what we're getting. The, the reality is far different. <laughs> yeah, that... Whoa! That... <laughs> What were you playing tonight, Riona? For people who haven't followed Riona, Riona is a really great streamer. One of my top streamers that I watched during 2023. I hit the jetpack button and slammed into it. That, that's on me. What isn't on me is my shitty weapon loadout, which it did to me. This game scammed me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Played Subnautica for the first time. Oh, cool. cool. Magnetic rockets installed as a secondary weapon is the top upgrade of Whoa! Because our jetpack like isn't strong enough. But here, we're gonna we're gonna check out 
how strong our jetpack is by flying really, really far up <laughs> to give us enough time. Well, our actions to the big fish was unusual. Huh. Is there a specific big fish? Jesus. <laughs> Are you okay? They're really good at blowing me the fuck up. Uh, were you aroused? What was your reaction? One moment. I would say that was a pretty unusual reaction to a fish for you. Archon! Copy that. I see them. What's that cannon? Yeah, I can't believe they made the AI a anti-air not work on this thing. Right. That is absurd. It's like they're not in the air. Why would it work? <laughs> is it a fucking flak pattern and it's taking damage? What do you want from it? I overheated. Okay, apparently she tried to chase it down. <laughs> no, that that's science. You're, You're doing the right thing. Man, my kingdom for a normal fucking gun. Yeah, Jesus. can you go back to your little I'm cave with the, gu the guns you dropped? That was only a sniper rifle. Like, that's not even... Like, it's better than my current situation, right. but what I really want is a normal medicated machine gun. So we're just going to scour this area we did the battle in. Right, there might at least be some of the uh, enemy g guns. Or something. Right. Anything. This game was pretty good, and then Riona showed up. <laughs> so if Are you're sitting here thinking, this looks like a real piece of shit, maybe give it 10 minutes. It'll it'll improve, most likely, in your Steam. The, this We are currently in what we call the Demon Pit, which is we've made a list of some of the worst games ever made and are playing them all through in one week. Yeah, we, so this game's pretty all right. It's like a six or a seven. Right? And uh, we, we just came from stuff like Earthworm Jim 3D uh. and... Vampire rain altered species. Mm-hmm. And one moment. One moment. X blades! Yes, X blades. Can, can this gun. Well. Oh. Oh now it's working. It's just really finicky and misses because the bullets in this love missing. Superman 64, yes. There we go. What a game Superman 64 was. What's happening? Are you That's dead? That's my I'm dead animation. Do you uh -huh. like it? Oh my god. Man, they really shouldn't have made me swap out every practical gun for a hyper-specific cool oh thing. And then take away all the enemies that could die to my super gun I'm holding. The yeah, this came out after Bionic Commando, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, everyone was scared by then. Now, no one wanted to even try it. Yeah, especially since they, like, impersonated Bionic Commando with the marketing mm -hmm. by pretending it was an NES game that it was a sequel to. Which... Like, that is clearly modeled on the Bionic Commando notion of 7th Gen remake of. Right. Man, I wonder how that. Which is, NES also game feels is. like a, a, a smear when it's like, but your Capcom, you have a bunch of. The IPs you aren't haven't touched since like Super Nintendo and PS1. So well, I guess the good news here is that they gave me more ammo for this gun. The bad news is they gave me more ammo for this gun. <laughs> uh, which Colonial Marines are you going to play? The 360 version. Yeah. Oh man, I didn't think about this. One second. See, isn't this cool, Chat? See, he spins, and then I have to hold on. And then he tries to shoot at me, uh -huh. and I dodge it, and then I try to rip this thing off, and then I jump over here, and then... I pulled it off! You're dead! Stop it! No. No. Why are, why are you going to queue up two of these, man? <laughs> well, sometimes the CQT needs to make take twice as long as it should. I argue no, it doesn't. <laughs> man, the stakes feel really, really low right now because I can take however long I want doing this mission. But your arc health is going down. You're right. I guess there is... There's no time to waste. I'm 
the right thought. They should have done a 7th Gen Street Fighter 2010, the final fight. Yeah, of course. Uh, yes. Yeah, that would actually, be way more no, interesting I would, than... I would love that. <laughs> now I'm like, did they are... Did Capcom have a pre-existing IP that could have become this exact game? Probably not. Yeah, yeah you I'm like... to do it on both sticks now. What the... This looks like a job for Superman. You're right. Then there's no time to waste. This is the mission. Your arc is almost dead. Yeah, it is. Have you seen how this has been going? Yeah. Of course it is. Man, that's not even able to break one side or one arm of it. Not well. Oop. I don't even know. Did a stray bullet catch me there? Or did tail being near me do it? <laughs> Is this make this a 1942 game? <laughs> so wait, what does this have to do with World War II? Uh, the fascists? <laughs> Man, yeah, this is genuinely rancid. Like, they went way out of their way. They keep spawning me next to this like it's gonna be able to take them down. I guess it's close enough to this one to take it. Uh, okay. Okay. I sure I'm getting lit up though. Does Capcom doesn't own Raiden, does it? Own what? Raiden the uh, or Raiden the Raiden the, the okay yes, shooter that. series. Uh no. Okay. Oh, apparently when you're flying like that, the D-pad will whip the camera. Weird. Yeah. Cool frame right. Okay, we're almost there. Master of R. His tail hit me. Yeah, it did. Or he was dead. He His was... tail hit me and I died. Yep. This is going real well. Give it up for hour 99! Woo, hour Two 99! Two digits! Got it under the 100 hour mark. Look Yippee. at that. That means you don't need to play uh, Yakuza like a dragon anymore, right? I don't know. That's not. <laughs> oh, oh well. I tried. That's not how that works. But thank you for trying. <laughs> Man, how are they shooting you from that angle? Yeah, it's really unclear where any of this fire is coming from. Right. I think they're shooting through their own legs, Wins honestly, because the uh, turrets are in between the front and back leg on both sides. Right, probably. So I think they're just somehow per perfectly shooting out their ass through both of their legs on both sides. Manos is asking when we're going to do the next flop flop so they can get the hour back to 200 again. Uh, never again. That's dead forever. <laughs> Sorry. Not even the one we already talked about. No, nope. it's not. Um, it's just I hate them now. Uh, they're never happening again. They're the worst. So this is what they want. They want me to fly around, uh -huh. do sweeping runs like that, have an annoying ship get in my fucking face, activate each of the AIs long enough for them to look at me and then, and then fly away before they whip my ass. What a weirdly specific solution that you require, basically. Because, you know, now they're somewhat distracted from the arc. Um, and they mostly don't get enough time to whip my ass. Right. Yeah. It's just like, we could have solved this with the AA gun if you didn't make it do nothing for some reason. Okay, motherfucker. You have won. Fuck off and die. I was going to blow up close enough to it. I'm fine. God, man. It went so well for the first one I fought in the entire game. <laughs> oh, I need this room to be dark and wet. <laughs> oh, the... oh, no. God, it's aiming at me. Hey, uh, real quick. Is anyone other than me fighting this war? 
No. I feel what? like we're like we're supposed to be doing a whole thing as a as a group here, but I literally see no one other than me helping. Fucking unreal the amount of not landing hits this game can do. Yeah, right? You can just shoot something directly and it's like, yeah, I missed. Or what, are we playing Secret of Mana? Ouch. <laughs> Sing. It's about to die. Yeah. And so am I. And that guy saw Ooh. me instantly. You know, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just like, Dan, just approach it from behind. I can't, because the front... Things you have to destroy are angled forward, mm -hmm. oh, and the hit detection of this is rotten. Copy that. I see them. What's the cannon? They're targeting the arc. Yeah, they're targeting the arc. What if? Okay, hear me out. Nice. Have you tried Where destroying the archons? <laughs> yes. I'm trying. Can't, can't you? I, don't, I don't think that's actually possible. I think the game's lying. <laughs> What's up, Bob? Uh, could you cook the grenades so that they, they explode on top of I don't think the grenades cook, do they? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, is that thing still alive somehow? It might, yeah, you might oh still do the my finisher God. on it. Yeah. Do you think some of them recovered because I didn't do that? Possible. I like the one frame of showing me <laughs> B before it shows me that. Oh, you're, that's, you're fine, though. I'm just that good. Yeah. I would simply not feel the laser hit my dick. Right? It's only a little vaporized. Not good. Fishers of Vada better have the sometimes attacks just don't work system. No, no, I don't think that it needs that. I think they could leave that one out. Oh, you lost your leg. I'm losing my mind is what I'm losing. This whole game was smooth up until this one moment. Do you want to try? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Archons! Archons! <laughs> Bees! I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get an energy drink. I'll... So the grenades being cooked and exploding right on top of him didn't do much. I'm going back to the turrets. Or the guns, rather. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Um. I'm this far. He can hit me from this length? Or this distance? Yeah, this length. You know, I'm going to get the guy who's farthest back because maybe he's the one shooting me more. It's just hard to tell. Again, a health bar would really help me understand when I'm dying and why. Instead of the saturation just changing up. Oh, jeez. Who is... Okay, somebody else is hitting me. Okay. Oh. There is a fighter. Let's try and take him out. He's far enough from the rest of the pack. Maybe it'll work. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What happened? I just instantly die when I grab that. Oh yeah, no, this is not, this, at least it's not an Earthworm Jim 2, or Earthworm Jim 3D boss. Those are the worst, some of the worst ever made. They're, they're real dire. Hard to tell what I'm being hit by frequently, and that's, that's a real problem here. Like, are the bolts coming from these guys? I don't even sure. I think they're coming from random other dudes flying around like this dude. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Oop. How have you tried to, to inform people about 
I haven't. I haven't. I should do that. Here. Knock one joint out on each of these guys. That's enough, right? Yeah, that's good. I, uh, you know, look a very talented man. Uh huh. Very talented man. My own pissing. Okay. I checked the long way to see what he does. Uh, you know that goofy shit where I was just flying at it in this mode slowly? Uh huh. And she, that's literally what he's doing, and he's still getting lit up. So even long play man doesn't seem to have a concrete objectively what the fuck is this? Hit why? Hit why? Oh god. I hate that it's at the very top of the screen in blue. It's so hard to see. What is going on? How did you do this? I went to his tail because I noticed there was also a thing on the back of his tail when he's fully uh, down. You're supposed to hold in those moments. Oh. Why? Oh my god. Yeah, I can't ever see it. That's really weird. They made two different animations to finish him. Yeah. Oh, he's back and up and he's fine. And he's full health. Man, if I had remembered to finish them off that other time, that might have been a right. We might have done it, but I forgot that you had to finish them off. So why are you fighting robot aliens in this wasteland? Uh, this is the void. It is the world between worlds. Uh, our gods as we knew them were in fact ancient worm people who could wear robot suits. Yeah, that's all I'm telling you. I'm done. I'm done. This game doesn't have hit detection. It has missed detection. Accurate. Yeah, they're like, they're like gigantic leeches or snakes. They can slip into robot suits. So that way there was a moment of, oh, they're worms or leeches or whatever. And that only came an hour into the game. So that right. felt weird. Yeah, it was like, um, I... we find out this early. It's not really that bitch of a surprise. <laughs> right? Yeah. Shit, I think we only saw the robots for maybe 20 minutes before that happened. Right? Maybe. Okay, I'm gonna give this one more shot because this is obviously a bad run. Okay. Well, fly into the booster. Right. You should be able to fly into the rockets on the bottom of the arc and literally just burn like tissue paper. You should. Just <laughs> or it should act like a really old video game and like Sega CD style. Just cut to a video of your character holding a chain link fence and a nuke goes off and then you're a, you're a skeleton. You're a skull. <laughs> I've become one giant skull. You turn to the enemies from Castlevania. You am skull. Worms and robot suits does describe Earthworm Jim accurately. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. This definitely, weirdly enough, ended up with the same. <laughs> the Archon's like, what the fuck was that about? <laughs> It was my chin. Were you not impressed? <laughs> Have at you again, demon! <laughs> you smash your fucking face up. Uh, I think you got all four. I did, but I didn't need to heal. So I got shot by this little dude next to him. Okay. Knocked down a lot of my health. I'm just worried about the beast, the bee window, the window for bees ending. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you... worry about it. Oh, it's X this time. Man, this is gaming. If there's one thing I don't miss, remember it's hold B. Okay. Um, there's one thing I don't miss from this era of games. It's literally this shit. Right? Yeah, QTs. This is exact style too. Mm -hmm. Wait. Turn all those. And then he starts dying. Why? The, I don't know. I turned these things. This is so much longer than the other it animation. It really is. I thought it might be faster or something, but no, nah, this is... Maybe it's safer? Oh, what? Maybe I get the hijack at using this one? Oh, that would be nuts. That would. All right, let's line them up. 
Yeah, break the leech's neck. Nope. Okay. Well, you got an achievement. That's something. All right. The arc lost half its health while I did that. Cool. Earthworm. Is Earthworm Jim a mecha? I mean, I guess so. And right. Earthworm Jim 3D is a completely upfront trans allegory <laughs> mecha series. I'm sure that's some pre existing mecha series by now, right? <laughs> Probably. It'd be weird if it wasn't. Open fire. You know what's terrible, Bob? What's that? No one believes me when I say shit like that. Why would Earthworm Jim 3D be a very upfront trans allegory message? That's clearly just some video yeah. essayist bullshit. Yeah, that's just something you said. So people are going to hear it and they're going to think that, even though it's just literally the text. Oh, right. Fan art. Sorry, we were stuck in that a long time. Right? See what Bob's I solving this problem. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, and to the side. Old B again. Oh. Tap that Y button. I don't know. This seems this seems pretty good. Maybe I should... Maybe I should look into getting setting up a business. What do you think, Bob? Do you think, uh... Do you think we should set up Podcast U? You're not swimming in debt. You're an audio engineer. <laughs> That's uh, how that works, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely. No, 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 no. Here, that's just me now. That is really good. Thank you, Mayhem Electric. <laughs> Go! Light him up, boys! Why do I not keep napkins on my desk? Yeah, you have a lot of stuff on there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not even talking about it from that angle. I just consistently eat and drink things over here. You think I would keep it, right? Yeah. Well, whatever you do, hold B. Oh, silly me. We don't do that first. We do this, then we hold B. Yeah, then we hold B. You may yeah, have not done it fast enough, yeah. But Dan, can I transfer my credits from Crazy go, crazy go nuts university to podcast you. No, not a single credit. My college is transferable. <laughs> this is somehow consumer friendly. I'll figure it out eventually. Good job, Bob. We're going to go to the broken land. Man, I sure would have gotten that if I stopped relying on clever solutions and just done the jetpack shit at first and remembered to finish them. Right. Defending the arc. Most video games would not stick a completely transparent blue button or B button prompt in R front of them and be like, that's enough. They know. Yeah, they know. They did this once three hours ago. They remember. Like, guys, I'm literally a mile in the air. I do not notice a transparent B button over a brown mountain, like, rock scape. Mm-hmm. Put a saturated button there, motherfucker! This is so weird. This is weird. Oh, extend. Oh my god. There are actually lizard people in the country the world government. I was wondering if that's literally what we were going. begun. France will be the first to fall. For centuries we have So is he going to see that when he meditates? Struggling against the watchers and their will to enslave mankind. <sighs> now from this forsaken place they push the world towards its darkest hour and pave the way for their return. Do you know 
why you are here, Will. Do you remember Tavi? Hey, listen, with all due respect, I'm just yeah. looking to find a way home. You bear the mark, Will. They do not see it. But you I are do. right to do it, Bob. We are here, each of us, as part of a larger plan. Make each France with fall? A <laughs> when we reach the broken land, you will discover yours. Whoa! What the? They have found us. We must defend the Ark. Again. Fight uh, off these yeah, three what? robots again. What the f <laughs> now, Bob, you are entitled to play the game. Uh huh. As much and as long as you Okay. Yeah, of course. You, you, I'll give it back whenever you're back. Yeah, yeah sure. Maybe I'll I'll take the defend the arc with hey, this. I did great at defending the arc. It was the Archon thing that didn't work out. Everything else, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an ace. All right. I'm an expert pilot. I, 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 I said, I, it's okay, I said, I know I'm going to be playing most of it when he's calling me a Marine. What, I'm just what a gives pro. you that idea? What? <laughs> How dare you allege that I would let you, my good friend? What the fuck just happened? Anyway, how dare you allege that I would let you, my good friend, have to take that alone? Why did it spawn us in a ship this time? It feels like that's worse than me being out on the rocket. I know, right? Is it because they're going to light me up with gunfire insanely fast? Yes, they really were lizard fascists. Oh, yeah. No, I I spent most of this going, are they going to have the balls to pull it off? Because it's obvious what this plot's setting up for. Right. That the world governments are owned, run by, like, lizard people. But they're also leaning into, and that is why France would fall to Germany in World War II. <laughs> because we replaced the prime minister with a lizard person. That's why the Nazis win. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, they're doing it. So that's that's fucking hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> you uh... annoyed this game became Jack the Lost Frontier. What are you talking about? That's great. <laughs> yeah. What? Wait. What's wrong with? I'm I'm annoyed that we aren't playing Jack the Lost Frontier on the PS5 right now. Right. Why? See, that's the reason to do Jack Month again. They need to have a new Jack game like they do. that. They like, do. The Last Frontier was a cool direction. That's a cool universe. If they had a studio that was, like, good at making games and stuff... Right? ...make one of those and it was, like, done, that would be pretty sick. Okay, I see what you're gonna do. You're gonna live in my colon until I go all the way... Man, that is such a mech assault anime... Or a fucking Crimson Skies animation. Mm-hmm. Defending the Ark... It's my favorite thing. Our transport's incoming. Yeah, they sure do just spawn in one foot away from the Ark. And now we need to play through Crimson Skies. We do. I, I've never beaten that game. I have to wonder if it holds up all the way through, because I know a lot of those games in this exact genre have a ludicrous difficulty spike. Yeah. Um, um, you mean kind of like the thing that, thing that just happened? Yeah, it's kind of like the thing that just happened. Kind of like that. Um, yeah, and that's that's really typical. And I remember getting through a few of them, but some of them I got to near the final level, like some of those Star Wars games just stopped. Yeah, that's uh, normal. Which was sad, because I, I thought that those uh, Jedi Starfighter games and stuff were pretty cool. I think, yeah, Jedi Starfighter's sick as shit. How did we not have one? They didn't make a single one of those. I need to for... blow it up? That's yeah, kind of crazy. I haven't blown one of these up before. Oh, yeah, what? that oh you have rockets now too oh yeah that's just been on left trigger i found out in the last mission okay yeah right. i when i hijacked one of these it literally had no missiles because i think they wanted me not to have that or the pilot used it before you got it <laughs> possible yeah oh. squadrons is the only one that um, took them forever and so here's what's up okay what's up they need to make one of those type games all right one of those star wars type games where it's a a sh what was it? Small Shmeverywhere around. Everywhere or something? Small, small, small around. around. Yeah. Yeah. Shm everywhere is like better. Um, <laughs> so we should just stick with Shm everywhere. Yeah, anyway. Someone else said that afterwards. I can't remember who. Um, they need to make one of those, but it's like a 3D platformer collectathon. So you don't have to beat every mission. You choose the missions you want to do. Yeah. And then you get some like. You can even take contracts for different groups. 
and uh -huh. there'd be different endings based on like shoguns. Yes. Yeah. Now, now you're talking. Now you're cooking with gas. Why did I get pack rat? What could that possibly mean? Oh God! Please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, because you're gonna fail this QT, right? No, because he's gonna crash into a wall and it will kill me. <laughs> Want a Star Wars collectathon now? Let me collect a hundred holocrons. Hell yeah! I mean, that would be pretty funny. Just think of that bunny girl they made in uh for the Star Wars Visions. Yeah, the kill the kill people thing. No, the other one. That was the God. Who was that? I don't remember. What studio was that? Was that? That I might have been IG. But yes, obviously we'd play as her. Right. Or them. But no. We can't have anything but the most mainstream. I'm really glad I'm stuck in this QT while the Ark dies. Yes! I just wanted it, it, to not die because I was at jack ship for help. <laughs> God damn, sometimes this thing blows shit up fast. hundred cranky dead people tell you about the true nature of the impossibly large thing. That's the thing, though. We want to collect holograms. We don't want to read the holograms. The holocrons. <laughs> that never goes well. Reading? Yeah. There. Thank you. Thank you. Doing the talent trot? Yes. No, that wasn't the Science Sorrow one, because the Science Sorrow one was the one with the weird... The kid. Uh, it was basically uh, whatever Mega Man's based on. Yeah, I was going to say. Astro Boy. Astro Boy. I never watched that second season of Visions, even though I liked that first season. Wow, God, the camera, where am I? Get out of the ship just so we don't crash. Right? Everything's pitch black. I'm going to now game off of this monitor where the colors look a little fucked up, but at least I can see. Yeah, New Republic Commando would also be pretty cool. God, Amy Hennig is still working on that that Star Wars game, right? Even yeah. though she's also working on the Yeah, Marvel she's game? doing both. Her studio's God, doing both a, at the same time. I'm pretty what sure. a nightmare. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Well, it is a game industry. Yeah. Yeah, New Vision Season 2 is less anime because they got a lot of uh, more European and sub-studios. But I did really want to see the one done by the uh, Walls and Grummet people. Oh, shit. Yeah. I didn't know about that. That's in there. That's like the most hype of any of those were for the shit, second set. I should have just fucking done a podcast. I'm <laughs> looking for the, sec the David Cage Star Wars game. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, that thing's totally shipping. Absolutely. And it's going to be so peckin' poggers. I don't know what you are, but I'm going to blow you up from 10 feet away. Your lack of motion implies you're a mine. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Game Button posted the nightmare clip into the Discord for you. Oh, thank you. Do you think that might be especially relevant this week? <laughs> Maybe. I still don't know how I didn't have that sound like on my computer. Right. It's weird. I thought I got it. Man, I'm man. This music's going for it. It is. Like how we saw one trailer for the David Cage Star Wars thing, and then nothing. It's been like four years. Yep. Yep. So, Ava, I'm very how curious how the summer game event will go this year, where it sounds like nothing's happening. Go away for the rest of the year. <laughs> I blew it up on a jet. Wow! It just despawned the whole thing too. Is it too late to say I'm sorry? It's never too late. Nolan North is V in V for Vendetta 2. <laughs> it should have made a video game. That would be for Vendetta. That would have been fucking hilarious. That would have been very funny to see what they do. The trailers all focus on him and the fight at the end with all the shitload of people in the subway underground or whatever. Uh huh. Absolutely hilarious. Weapons free. 
it would just it it would be like a knockoff Batman game with the Arkham style combat, and they'd have them go through like hallways of random British people for no reason. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they, there would be almost nothing connecting. It was like, oh, he needs to assassinate this person to do that. You had to fight through 12 waves of guys uh, leading up to the place she was sleeping. So it's basically Enter the Matrix, but... <laughs> yes! Oh, that's that's pretty good. I really like that notion. Thank you for the follow. Um, ah! It's funny, because they're all showing me where the enemy is by shooting at it, and I'm like, where is he? <laughs> hey guys, where's the party at? Dun, 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 dun. Uh, but here's the cool part, Bob. You get to play as Natalie Portman stuck in the prison. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? <laughs> that doesn't oh, wait. sound very cool. Wait a minute. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. Can I get out? You can jump off with the jump button. I hit B recently. and I thought it would get off, but apparently someone clipped me in the head with one bullet and it was like the JFK sniper shot. Yeah, it was rough. Dark Void now with 10 more hours of gameplay. Back. And to the left. <laughs> Back. And to the left. Do you think I can man these AA guns? Maybe. Oh, not this mission. Uh, maybe. I don't think. Oh. Oh, oh, there. Too late. Too oh, late. No. Too late. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. We are in. What's happening? Oh, my God. We're in the dormant nexus. <laughs> I think we have the larger problem of we have a giant enemy ship inside our ship. <laughs> what the fuck is going on out there? Look at yeah, everything you, you on screen. You might want to get off of this. I, I, I don't know, man. This I'm worried bad. I'll be stuck in a wall if I do. Fair. We're going to have to get in under 100 hours again. Thank you. Hooray. It's been 30 minutes. No one's changed it. Oh, my God. Please don't crash me into the wall immediately. <laughs> right? That's... That's just rude at this point. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I had something to do with that. And that dude didn't just dodge my fire to run into a fucking wall. Man, there should be a Panzer Dragoon game that plays like this. That'd be so sick. It would. I mean, it's worth doing it at least once. Right. I don't know how they ended up at RPG before that. Oh, right. They never made a Panzer Dragoon past the Saturn. Mm-hmm. They were making a game like this on the fucking Saturn. But yeah, the only Dragon game like this we have is Layer. And how depressing is that? Right. Very depressing. Because Dan likes dragons and hates Lair. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Orta is real, so there is the Xbox. Hazard. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That was very much in the same cloth. But yeah. Yeah, that's true. They could have made that that, but... Nah. That's Star Fox's thing. They have their own thing. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, it's your friend. Everybody loves him. Hey, my fucking friend. Your friend? Yeah, but I got a <laughs> <laughs> What if damaging it damaged it, huh? Huh? Did he just fully explode this time? That's sick. Anyways, let's get out of this. I don't want to die in a ship that's not even of my people. Okay. I really do got to reference this monitor over here so that way I can... ...better make out what the fuck's happening sometimes. Guys, I forgot I have an LB to lock onto the enemies. Does it only work in the, uh... It doesn't only work in the... F it only works in this flying mode, not the hover, and that's why my brain kind of forgot. Oh, 
You fucking asshole. Now he's lighting me up and I gotta go! Yeah, it feels like the second I kill one of them, they spawn another instantly. I see those red dots. You can't fucking trick me. Interesting that the AA gun had a completely different... What the fuck? You just spawned them on top. Hey, bro. Not much. Everything going okay? Did you kill your buddy? Uh, yeah, I did. Cool, sort of. I killed one of them. How about that? Is okay. that good enough? Yeah, that's good enough. The singularity of the last seven is dead mid FPS that you've yet to stream. There's I mean, more. we haven't even done inversion. Yeah, we haven't done or inversion. Or wet. Or time shift. Or the club. It's almost like they made an unbelievable quantity of that gen. Right? Watch Planet 3. Yeah, that too. There's a lot of seven gen shooters we've not touched. That are super mid. And that's like their main feature. Quantum theory, that's true as well. I really wanted to play that one. I don't know about Dead Space 3, though. <laughs> I feel like we'd do Dead Space 3 if we did a Dead Space month. Like, if we did all three yeah, in a row. Yeah, we need to just do all the Dead Space. Oh Rip. God, yeah, that ship just flew straight into it and phased through it. I guess it's been dead for a while now, huh? <sighs> That was a ghost. That was. <laughs> Derek Farrell has a friend who loves wet. Like they, they, it's their favorite game. That's Hell crazy. Yeah. That game must be really good then. Even the Wii one, of course. We might do the PS3 version though, because that had right, move support. Right, because they had move support and it runs better. Right. Man, that was that was a cool era where it's like, hey, would you like this Wii light gun game on the PS3 so it runs better and has the move, which is more accurate. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, I, I would. Thank you. Oh, yeah, and the conduit. Fracture. The conduit's, but, like, so much more important than any of them we just listed. Yeah, but only, it's, only it's the, technically. <laughs> it's, it, it was important because it's the Wii saving grace, right? <laughs> This'll save them. So now I get to enter this gameplay segment with way more health. That's good. Yeah. Any second now, it's going to spawn a shitload of enemies right on top of me. Just wait. Remember Extraction get, getting far worse reviews on the PS3 compared to the Wii? I mean, that's different standards. Yeah. And there they are. There's the enemies that it literally spawns right on top of my ass right when I hit this segment. <laughs> they are yeah, it is kind of really ridiculous. We haven't played Fuse. Oh, yeah. Absurd. We will have ended up playing every non-VR Insomniac made game. Right. Except for that. I literally don't know if there are any we're missing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we do oh, Resistance okay. 2 and 3, I think all of Left is used. Yeah. And there is that Golden Eye remake as well. That, uh... That is something else that's a seventh gen shooter that we we should probably play. And is important. Mm -hmm. They pretended it was at a They did. Direct. They're like, it's Goldeneye. You love Goldeneye. Bite, you fucking animals. And I'm like, man, Reggie's a little different today. <laughs> you okay, man? He usually doesn't say that part out loud. just, you know, obviously thinks it. I know, because he doesn't look me in the eye when we make love. Stay on target. Okay. It's really funny. <laughs> it's 
really funny to see the, the little tech point upgrade fly 10 miles. Yeah. At the end of its journey, upstream, the tech point cache, which is not a cache, but in fact one tech point, finally makes its way to the boost. Man, that last segment was a fucking nightmare compared to this. This is like... I could probably train a COD cheating device to figure this game out. Oh, hello! Remember when this game was Uncharted? Thank God it's not that anymore. <laughs> I bet that would have been fucking dog shit if they made it an eight-hour long that. Right. That does explain all of our confusion over it being that. Because mm -hmm. it's not what they advertised. And it's like, well, good. Because it was only that for 90 minutes. Right? It is real we weird, though, that they're like... They clearly emphasize, like, oh, you can... You can do all this cool cover shooting on the walls and fly up walls with your jetpack. And then we're like, okay, cool. And, and then they go, or it's just... Fucking Crimson Skies. Have you played Crimson Skies? It's that. Yeah, it's like as soon as we get the jetpack, though, it's like, but I can just fly there and not use the cover mechanic up the wall. Sorry, what? You could what? You let me fly. Yeah, that's because <laughs> otherwise it wouldn't make any sense that you could go up the walls. So why are you... I mean, you should be on the ground. Like, I don't... <laughs> It's pretty fucking rude of you to just fly 30 feet in the air and throw grenades down on my dumbass AI enemies. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, that's not the one that's next to me. That's the one that's distant. Okay, it's probably more important to take that out now. Uh -huh. I did not know Crimson Kai has got a tabletop game at some point. Yep, I knew that. I know nothing about it other than it exists. Inversion might be the better vertical cover shooter. Oh my god. It can't also be a vertical cover shooter, can it, Rijenberg? It can. Ooh. Pretty sure that's why it's called inversion. I thought that it was like you flipped environments like you, you were on the ceiling of an environment. That's why it's called inversion. You're not Probably. traversing something vertically. Probably. I bet it ultimately doesn't matter and it comes off the fucking same. Yeah, probably. Oh, you just haven't faded in the reticle to let me know that is a valid enemy. It looked like it. Oh my god, I'm gonna end your life. Where are you, motherfucker? Because of people like you, this mission won't end. Man, yeah, this mission sure has been going forever with just protect the art. Well, the good thing is I haven't, like, failed and had to redo a like, large chunk ever. Okay. Um, so we're making progress this whole time. And since it can only take a set amount of time, we must be sailing one-to-one -one with the long play, basically. Long play, by the way, I didn't say. Four hours. Oh. Yeah. So, like, if I didn't get stuck on the fucking Archons, and they didn't get weird with the you-need-a-gun type that you swapped out entirely... Uh-huh. Then, you know, I think we would have been fine. Probably would have got it done in six hours. <laughs> Does anyone remember Bloodwake? Bloodwake looked pretty cool. I remember playing a bit of it. I wanted, I want to go back and play more. That has been a thought that I've been living with for a bit. You say that, but I can't see it. Up. Oh. Here they come. Is it down? Is it up? Oh, good. It's cutscene. Can we get a checkpoint? This? Hopefully. My yeah. God. Oh my god. We have a battleship closing in. Repeat, a battleship is heading for the Ark. Was that in water or clouds, Yeah, I think or? it was in the haze beneath us. Like, it's literally a fog miasma thing. Okay. And that's where the enemies keep coming from nonstop. You can't really explain to me, though, what even just happened in this mission and how it was our goal and how it's going and... Yeah. Why we would drive all the way down this thing to then reverse direction and come back. All units, that battleship's our top priority. Will, take out the cannon. 
Okay. Okay, I thought our arc would already be dead because uh, that cutscene had it. She shot with a giant laser. Yeah, and then an explosion and a fade to white. Yeah. I also thought that. But our our arc is held. I couldn't it's see better that. than ever. Yeah. I couldn't see that. No, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I'm like gray on gray on gray on gray. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Winds of Blood Wake versus Blood Rain versus Bloodborne flop swap. Oh my god. Versus Bloodborne? So much Are you blood. insane? Okay. Yeah, the bat. <laughs> the battleship's a laser just welded it. Yes, yeah, it fixed it completely. They just spot welded the fucking arc on accident. They're like, damn it, what are we doing? Wait, now my health is worse on the arc than it was on my last. Yeah, what? What the fuck? Man, you know how much of an impact it would have been if we had gotten the missile? Right? Like, if we'd known ASAP. that this, this game would uh, just stop having any on foot segments at all. Remember when I said that thing about, like, oh, games like this, they, they let you upgrade a thing and then just take it away? Yeah. I didn't think that taking it away was any gun. Right. Period. Yeah. That the game would just become, yeah, you're using your jetpack stuff nonstop, always, forever. This is actually a really fucking neat idea. This is a really neat idea. So the ship is moving slowly, right? Uh-huh. And I am tracking with it by flying through the air. Right. That's so cool. <laughs> it's hard to explain why that's so cool because the ship is moving. Right. The moment I detach from it with my jetpack. See, so hitting the brakes, I'm basically going ever so slightly faster. That's sick. Mm -hmm. This whips. Okay, we got to slow down though. See? Yeah. You see? Yeah, no, that gun does nothing. It, and they suck you with that. That's the last gun they gave you before they just put you in the Right, segments. and that was a different mission. Right, and they don't let you switch guns between missions for some reason. That's so crazy. It's so crazy that our, like, completely free infinite ammo gun on our jetpack is stronger than everything else in the game. Mm-hmm. And if we had known, we could have upgraded it and even gotten fucking rockets. Yeah. So yeah, I bet I too could long play this in about four or five hours. <laughs> now that I know this important knowledge. Right. The, the, the regular on-foot guns mean nothing. You okay, fool. Yeah. Oh man, that was scary. Nice. Is that opening? Okay, the shield's down. Land inside. Okay, so you still need to do some of the on Land stuff. inside? Let's see what I can do. The, this is just a fucking opening on it? I guess so. I can't. I, I mean, I guess it would launch ships out of here. But. What is it? Oh, yeah, there's little things to shoot. Oh, wait, maybe. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I bet I walk up to it and get a B prompt. They're too stupid to realize they need to put a giant icon on it. Yeah. Because the player's not going to always assume that, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to shoot it. Especially when it's pitch fucking dark like this. It's barely brighter over there. Right. Okay, it's just a big thing to shoot. Gotcha. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Right. That makes way more sense. Um, Did that work? Is it done? Yeah. It's acting like it's done. It blackened. It did blacken, but it didn't blow up. Yeah, it's done. Okay. It's died. But they opened one side. I needed to open the other now. Right. I'm good. I don't know how I'm good. A mind designed to harm ships should definitely just shred my body. <laughs> you got the helmet, though. You're right. Never mind. I mean, a big deal of this helmet. I feel like it has not done that much for us. Uh, I don't get bugs in my mouth anymore, so that's, that's neat. That's a thing. I guess that's neat. Now, I was gonna go over, but instead I'm going under. And that's the sort of exciting gameplay you too could experience in Dark Void. <laughs> Player choices matter. I thought that was a gut bullet, but it's like, oh no, that was the, uh, the collectible. Tech one cash. Whoa! Oh my god! What was that? I have no fucking idea. I guess something opened up behind me, Bob. Jesus. What is going what? on? Why am I just dying? Is a wizard attacking me? 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. I figured one of these opened up behind me. Two of these? Blues. Is this the work of an enemy stand? Maybe. <laughs> it could be. Let him have it. Okay. And now the other one opens up. Man, it's so weird that they also did one an Ace Combat game like a few years back, and it feels like we don't have a new one like announced, and even though we showed it by now. I'll just be happy that the next genre is doing all right. Right. Is you know we. The take what you can get. Also, we had it worse faster. Yeah, for sure. Are you fucking serious? You can't catch up. You're not fast enough. This sounds like a StarCraft song. I finally remembered. Oh, okay. Except for with epic drums. I can't remember which race it is. Okay. Time to get moving. Were you, how close to that were you? <laughs> nice work, Will. Let's get back to the arc. We have a cool explosion off screen. Well, at least we made it. This arc thing is making me feel like. Uh, Whoa. Oh, no. We got some sort of. Oh, we're going to get Panzer Dragoon boss. Right? Yeah, I like this game. The only thing I don't like in this game, which I may have dis really disliked the intro Uncharted bit. Uh -huh. I don't know that I would have hated it, but right. it clearly wasn't that great. No. Um, is the fucking stupid Archons because they have the stupid QTE fight. Yeah. I'm still going to save for it. Yeah, for, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> freaking missiles. I had a feeling I'd find you here. Then your intuition serves you well. Grab a seat. Ten years later. <laughs> I am. Um, I have a confession to make. She you makes funny this faces. Was gonna happen before we took off, right? That we'd end up here. Yes, but I am. Um, didn't know that you'd be the pilot. Xbox but might have the most latent, sorry. shitty version That's of that. Right. right. Truth but is, things, things are weren't going so great. No, okay. I haven't been holding it for a while. Careful what you wish for. Did you right? submit to getting your friend killed? They told me was, and we're not to mention that? that? I would cross into the void to help someone important. And when I met Nicola and realized who he was, I knew he was the one I was supposed to help. There's someone they call the Imperator waiting in the broken land with a message. Everything. Our lives, our freedom depends on Nicola hearing that message. He's the key, Will. He has to be. He has to be. I heard her, her eyes like rolled up into the top of her head when she said that. Yeah, well, she was busting. Bunga. <laughs> 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 I wonder Anyone if that like, guy's a lizard. <laughs> nah, he looked perfectly normal. Just kind of a buff generic bottle. It's fine. Uh huh. It's fine. I hope Nikola Tesla is somehow also a lizard. Oh so no! This, it'll have to wait. Cut a lizard knife. That's hilarious. Please, I ask you to wait. <laughs> I know, like, some people have portrayed Nikola Tesla as a pussy. Uh-huh. I would like to think he would try a little bit harder when confronted with the knife. You'd, you'd think he'd at least yell. Or struggle. Oh yeah, He sort of just went, oh, no, he's going to stab me, and I have to watch that happen. Whoa. You see that? Oh, no. Whoa. What? That was the thing that was in the water? I guess. The thing with, what? The, with the what? With the, what? The, and now I we're doing a boss fight like I, this? What? The, oh my god. <laughs> stop snap zooming like it's the office. <laughs> and we're over here? <laughs> Thank god we're in here and they're out there and this has to be the end of the game. Oh my god. 
it's so abrupt that oh oh this is just like my commando it's just going to be it's just gonna be a teaser for the next game oh yeah and it's not gonna feel satisfying at all and capcom's gonna be like great we made you make a great ending and they're gonna be like why does this keep happening man the rumble in this game is terrible i don't often say that about video games so that uh -huh. should tell you everything you need to know I like that even these things are exploding to the fire, fiery explosions like they're ships. They're just full of explosions. So uh, this game's just an unbelievable chat compared to Lair, right? Yeah. Man, why, why is it? Why are you the final fight a uh, Sarlacc -like pit that you're inside? Uh, what a weird thing. Who knows, maybe now that the layer has new control scheme, it'll be great. Yeah? Yeah. Is that one work? That, that, you know what? Sony should be working on remaking layer, remastering it. Everybody needs to play I mean, it. I think Sony, this sounds insane. This is theory crafting, okay? okay? So please allow me this moment. I genuinely believe Sony probably is trying to figure out PS3 on PS5. They really should So be. that way they can do very crudely up like enhanced versions <laughs> of games and sell them for like 30 bucks i mean they probably they should have seen the the sales they got for demon demon souls and been like we need to find an easier way to do this to make a profit faster like we don't need a 70 dollar one of these but no. we do need a bunch of like 30 40. don't give me hope dance is hollow man that's fair i i get it Can't believe this is going so well for you guys. I got destroyed during this boss fight. <laughs> this is sick real turn combos. I'm I'm good at this game. I'm just terrible at our cards. Yeah, our cards <laughs> show up and dance like, uh, what if I shove my fingers in my eyes? <laughs> <laughs> That'll trick him. <laughs> he'll be like, wait, is this guy on my side? <laughs> and then he'll stop shooting us all. Um, I think I think I popped everything, so now I just shoot it. I guess. Collector's health, yeah, that's... I guess, is that going down? No. It's not going down anymore, but here, we're gonna go hard to the side. Because I think I saw an opening. Okay. Wait, why am I... Yeah, yeah, you can just hover. Even though you're still stuck with this dumb guy. Yeah, our number one problem right now is... not Oh, what? Ah. God damn it. Yeah, if you took the Archons out of this game, I'd just be like, man, that game's really great, aside from the bizarre Uncharted intro. <laughs> Someone was asking if the game had a piss filter. Um, right now, kind of. Right. A little bit. Yeah, is there something on the other side of it you can shoot, maybe? Wait, why would I even do that? That does no damage compared to... The reticle's just in the middle of it. Okay, yeah. There's nothing even down. Oh, wait, that's pulsing. You fuckers. Yeah! Well, there we go. We got a tell. Man, that sure uh, would have been an instant boss fight if I knew if there was one polyp all the way on the bottom. <laughs> that would have taken less than a minute if I had seen that last polyp. Right? Holy shit. I'm sorry you had so much trouble with that. Did you not know about how strong and broken the fucking jetpack mode is? Man, I bet those are perfectly normal humans. Somebody get hurt? Tesla's dead. What? That's not possible. Killed in cold blood by someone on board. Man, isn't it amazing that you have to take the form of someone to stab them to death? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> how did they know? Like, that guy clearly got away with it. How could that have been his plan? Welcome to the family, son. The Collector. The Collector. Yeah, it was Edison. <laughs> that treacherous bitch, I should have known. Yeah, they impersonated Tesla and didn't replace him. Yeah, they just, that's they, the part that's blowing my fucking right. mind. It doesn't make any sense. They just take on the form of a person to stab them to death. 
Uh, that's every mission, bro. Why are you, why are you acting like this is new? I don't know. Maybe because it's the final mission. Maybe. It might be. I don't know. Oh my God! They have. Ow! The camera bumped into that plane. Right. I'm going to be honest. I just went to the long play to just skim to see how much we had just beaten of the game yeah. via the long play. And when I landed on this, I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that before. I'll just, that's about where we got to. I thought the thumbnail was showing me some weird, like, co motion comic thing. Oh. Because it was so tiny, this preview. I didn't realize it's us inside of a stupid box having a Half-Life 2 moment. Mm-hmm. So, Bob, we really need to just do a month that's all the games are the most transparently Half-Life 2 was cool. We should just do that. So it's Half-Life 2, obviously. Quake 4, obviously. What else is on that list, Bob? What else is just blatantly fucking Half-Life 2? There's so many, but it's hard to pin down, like, what, what the strongest are. Right, because a lot of them are just like, then it becomes Half-Life 2, and that sucks. And that's, like, something that happens halfway through a normal video game. We're not doing Duke Nukem Forever again. Resistance 3? Doom 3? Resistance 3 There's cannot. no way Resistance 3 is that. The original Prey. Yeah. And a lot of launched 360 games then. Cause original Prey, Quake 4. Chronicles of Riddick, Chris says. Shooting. They took away my jetpack. They did. They're they're sick, and they just gave you this gun. That's good. At least you're not stuck with some other useless gun. But I also don't have a gun that vaporizes, you know, pedestrians. Which True. Is one of the guns I had. Pedestrians. Yeah. I don't know what else to call the. <laughs> The ones walking as opposed to airborne, you know? Mm -hmm. Was there a scene missing? No, no, definitely not. There definitely wasn't more game there. Why would we not just cut to inside the main enemy's base? You guys don't play enough video games. That seemed like a really finished game to me. Especially this month. <laughs> Man, our stream on Friday is going to be fucking hilarious after a week of this shit. Right? You're going to be like, that was the single best video game I've ever fucking played. <laughs> because we won't remember before Demon Pit Week. No. It all got fucking erased. Man, that guy's got a lot of what words is this in his place? mouth. An arms factory. Oh, fuck me. To build weapons for the war on Earth. Uh, you know, when he said the war on Earth had begun. Yeah. I thought he was talking about World War II. Okay, Tanks, fair. Boats, but it's, like but it's a war, war on it's Earth, like, like against Earth. Exactly. Yeah. It was the Watchers who brought them to power. But I thought they're trapped here. They direct our planet's affairs more than you could imagine. But yeah, they're causing a war like World War II on Earth, yeah. But that's why they were building. Here they're manufacturing weapons for but, the war on Earth. But you saw that they were making, like, Nazi planes. Like, they showed that they had that is true. human weapons. That's fucking absurd. Why would we need the Dark Void technology and race to make Nazi planes? Well, they're obviously Nazis are just all them. God, that's fucking absurd. <laughs> Chris says this looks so much like Mass Effect 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's isn't weird. that weird? It is weird. I mean, let me look at my fucking monitor over here to see through the darkness. Mm -hmm. This void. Th 
avoid seas darkly. I can't believe you don't get a flashlight in this game. They keep doing environments like this. Yeah, that is weird. The fucking Dooms 3 wouldn't even make that mistake. Right. It'd make us put away our gun, though. It would. It's really smart. At least we get to see eventually. Oh my god, you actually let dudes cover mechanics? <laughs> Fuck this. You are too strong! Yeah. Stop bouncing. Rude. It's, it's crude. I didn't raise you to gyrate your body like that. This sucks. Yeah. Da, da, da. All right. Well. All right. I wonder how far back I am. Yeah. Man, if I had a jetpack, I would have just jetpacked over that guy so I could get closer so I could shoot him. But then that would like be something distinct and unique to this game instead of cover shooter without jetpack. Right. God damn it. Now I got to look at the monitor again. Bob, every day, the argument for two insane things becomes clearer and clearer. Okay. I need a chair that is not fat covered in fabric, so I stop frying all of our electronics. Yes. And we need a new OLED. <laughs> so that way we can have a fucking screen bright enough where this shit doesn't happen all the goddamn time. Our new stuff is dead. <laughs> I know, right? They designed all of their fucking shit around LCDs being like really milky blacks. Right. And then that killed me in one hit. That was that was rough, guys. That was rough. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't contend with Dark Doom Three. I will never see eye to eye with people who like Doom Three. That is not Doom at all. And I swear I know people who like Doom and Doom Three, but not any of the like 2018. Uh huh. Like Doom Eternal Dooms. That seems insane. I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, Doom, Doom 3, it feels like you only like it if you are just insanely into graphics fidelity on at PC. that point at, in time. Right. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -oh. Which I feel like should have been me because I, I got a computer right around then. Right. So I could actually play Doom 3. And then Doom 3 sucked. Hey, my grenade killed a guy. This is a great day. Plant Slime says Doom 3 was the first Doom game, but or was my first sort of Doom game, but then I went back and played like, the others. Uh, it's, Stay down. It, it's so disappointing. So the you, did, did the make, others are Doom 3. Did that make Doom 3 disappointing after playing them? Or was, Yeah, were, that were, sentence is a little unclear. Because I get either, because those games aren't Doom 3-like. No. As it turns out, Doom 3 is just Half-Life 2 again. <laughs> okay, Doom 3 is disappointing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is to me, because I liked, you know, Duke Nukem and Doom and... Oh, fuck, Jesus. Yeah, the red ones do that. Yeah, Fear was really cool. Oh, God, Fear is so cool. I heard from Grunt Guru, though, like, playing through the whole game is exhausting. Probably. I only ever played the demo. I kept replaying it. He, that uh, was fun. He streamed the entire, the entire game, and apparently at some point it just becomes so much of the same thing. But like, we're us. We're fucking like this isn't a brag thing. We're built different. We're a stream team. We get to hand off. Right. Right. God, I hate you. You actively make the game worse. Yes. Go to hell. Yeah, no, I can't believe they made an enemy that takes that many hits. In a game where hit detection sucks. Uh-huh. So you just sit there. Well, oh, my God, there was a grenade. You just sit there wondering, did it hit? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. And now I'm out of ammo. They only gave me one gun. There we go. But, yeah, so I feel like we'll be fine. 
And we have the laptop. Like, the laptop can just be our dedicated gaming PC for uh, streams. Hmm. You know, we did it for uh, Alone in the Dark. Right. It's good enough to run Fear for fucking certain. <laughs> what I'm saying is Fear's on the menu. We could do a Fear playthrough. I think people would think it would be interested. Yeah, I, I'm very curious about the whole Fear, ser fear series. Fear series. People are saying Fear 3 is hilarious. You mean good, right? I don't think they're being good. <laughs> Where's Fear, you're wary? Mm. Is that the best we can do? I guess. A lot of people want a Fear 3 co-op stream. Isn't that the game where Fucking one co the co-op is one of you plays the little little girl with psychic powers? Or am I crazy? And you, it's just two, two gun dudes. It has to be two gun dudes. What if they hopped up and down? It's very funny. Fear 1's good. Fear 2 kind of bad. Fear 3 really bad, but maybe funny. Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> that's, that's a good mix, right? right? He plays the second dude with psychic powers, and the ghost man has a gun in co-op. What are you... Oh, right, because you're playing as a regular dude and his ghost buddy. Fucking what? Fear 3 is weird. It was, a, you know, like Dead Space 3, a game that really shouldn't have been made co-op, but they needed to have multiplayer because it was 7th Gen and everyone lost their minds. And yet, I still don't know that this game has multiplayer. Right? Weirdly enough. Thank God. Because I'm completely out of ammo for anyone who didn't notice. I, I had jack shit for options, and I'm worried about storming off the other direction. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, sniper rifle. That would have been nice. Because <laughs> there's, there's still a red dot over there, and I couldn't spot it through this turret at all. Hmm. So I was a little afraid to even move out here until I could solve that with no ammo, you know? Right. Okay, but we're good now. Still don't know. Did he... Is he stuck in the... Fu yes, he is. He's doing the ceiling platforming. Or, you know... Yeah, yeah, the wall Ledge grabbing, uh, cover shooting stuff. Jesus. El Dorado. You found it. No, no. Nolan North, we're not talking about El Dorado in this game. Uh, Sully. Not exactly. Sully, where are you? Wow. Looks great. And why is the last level we took away everything that made the game unique? Just the cover shooter now. Couldn't even give you the bad jetpack. Yes. I'm such a good sniper. Nolan North, thank you for saying yes in such a tone. I would have done the same. <laughs> da -da 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 -ba -ba. This game's ending any second now, and it feels like the gas just fucking fell out of it because it wants to go back to being uncharted. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, like, this door actually open. Wow. Look at this. I could cover shoot on this. <laughs> Stop, El Dorado. No. <laughs> Thank you, Nocturne. No, no, no. no. You know, maybe I just sit in here and we move through the entire chamber and I don't have to fight them all. Oh, that's weird. This seems like it lines up with that, but certainly it won't stop there. Oh, and there's a walking line that ends here, but certainly, certainly we won't. Uh, El Gordo Supreme says Tomb Raider Month would be fun because uh, the dark times would be the PS2 and not 7th Gen. Yeah, probably. Yeah. yeah I, um, I assume as much. Of course, I'm also just scared of the original trilogy. Like, those games look rough. It'll probably be like playing a game far worse and more obtuse than Soul Reaver 1 three times in a row. I don't know about that obtuse. I mean, that has plane shifting. It does. That adds a whole dimension of 
where am I going? When am I going? Isn't that immoral? <laughs> You should play Tomb Raider Legend and put in the code that lets you use the Soul Reaver. Yeah, that sounds what? pretty cool. Oh my god. Wait, did you get the, the 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 Soul Reaver weapon or did you play as um Raziel. 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 Stop hitting me with grenades. I can't see them because I'm scoped. Because you're a mile away. The grenades don't even glow. They're just tiny black boxes <laughs> that you throw. And you act like I'm supposed to see that in this environment. Man, yeah, this game was really sick when it was not this. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps doing this. It's just like an opener and closer. Like, yeah. hey, man, don't you like Uncharted? And I'm like, uh, yeah, when it's Uncharted, you aren't just going to be bad Uncharted, are you? When I come over, you better not be bad Uncharted. I just read something, and I'm like, that can't be right. Soul Reaver is a Sokoban game. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Get out of here. Can we trick Vox into playing it? <laughs> I'll, I'll hear out Earthworm Jim is a mecha before I hear out. Soul Reaver is a Sokoban game. Oh. 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 Okay. okay. Are, are you an enemy? Why? I guess. I mean, good, yeah, he's just hanging. good job hanging on a fucking wall like a mountain goat. <laughs> what the fuck does it want? You want me to drop straight down? You don't have a... Oh, you got... Oh, you my got, fucking Oh, my God. God. We haven't used this in, like... Five Forever. hours? Yeah. Oh, you should have stayed up there and used his cover. You're but they now. didn't come to the correct side. Like, if they were all lined up on the edge where I could shoot. <laughs> he becomes toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, if they all came to that side, but they were over here. I couldn't even see them. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Look at this. Cover shooter segment. I always wanted that. Here's what we're gonna do. Second try, best try. You know why? Okay. We're why running that? for it. Yeah, man. Why not? What do you think my fall damage looks like in this game? Not much. I bet. I bet you can take it. I'm built. <laughs> uh, it, it's a little fall. It's a little steep of a fall, but I can take it. Oh, he's one of the super ones. Yeah, but he also does, like, really good sniper shots, so he was important to take down. Okay. Because I'm going to spend enough time within his vision. Uh-huh. MCU fans be like, vision mentioned. <laughs> ah, oh, no! I was so close! If I just got them off of that thing, that would have been enough. I wonder if I could snipe them from up there before I even get down there. Because, you know, I got a sniper rifle. True. That's how I want. I'll go ahead and pull that out and start working that out. Look at huh? this. Ow, Jesus, you guys have good vision. I mean, they are robots. Or lizards. Yeah, that, that is true. They aren't robots. <laughs> <laughs> With advanced robot suits. <laughs> Jesus, game. Jesus. Could you have him, like... <laughs> you know, I think me and this game have a disagreement on whether or not I should be able to take cover and shoot a sniper rifle. Right. At certain angles. really weird it's pretty cool i wish the mood would fit it right it's like we should it's... be seeing human organs being harvested but uh yeah it's a creepy like sci-fi aliens of do in their horrible things they're doing it's like but we're just on a generic looking spaceship like yeah, the most plain looks you like make. your average mass effect level yeah what do we what do we have to blame for this exact look is it is it the new track movies 
Or was, I can't remember if Mass Effect uh, happened before that or not. I feel like this came out at about the same time as the first of the Trek movies, right? Or maybe it was shortly after the first. This is 2010. Mm -hmm. I can't see you because it's so fucking dark, but I know you're there. That's the Mass Effect of 2007. It's yeah. true. It's three years before this. But we're trying to figure out when that when that Trek reboot happened. It's, it totally sounds like you're saying Shrek. <laughs> Trek. <laughs> Star Trek. 2009. Okay. Yeah, I was like, that's definitely after that. I right. remember it as a 2010s problem. Right. It was cool that they made one good of one of those. The first one, right? No. <laughs> It's not the second one either, before you ask. I, I sure watched the first one and then went, yeah, I ain't doing that again. <laughs> That's fair. That's a completely fair reaction. That Bob's like, second one's good. I'm like, good to know. Still not doing that again. No, I never said that. Oh, sorry. Third one's good. Yeah. But I'm not doing that again. Yeah, that second one's the worst. Yeah, so look at this. I can't fucking see them from up here. No. This one guy lines himself up to get shot. But then, now, oh. yeah, now they oh, all pop now out. Now they have all popped up to do this sequence. Yeah, you just I should have known that these enemies down here that I couldn't see before, if I drop down, they will just instantly murder my ass. I needed to stand in the correct position so they could prepare the shooting gallery. Right. I'd be the most absurd case of that in a third-person shooter, that gen. Because, you know, you don't normally have a literal completely flat line that they pop up over for you to shoot them in a... No, like... Traditionally, you move into a new one of these areas with a shooting gallery by walking forward, not... And also, the shooting gallery is multiple different objects <laughs> with not completely flat height between them all, right? Right. It's a small thing here, a small thing there. It's not, we all lined up behind the counter to pop up. You need to do your best. I'm out of ammo. Oh my God. Yeah, this game. I don't, I don't know if they know what they made. Those guys literally spawned in when you got down here. Cool. And now since they're everywhere and all I have is grenades. Yeah. Get his gun. Cool. Yeah, I thought so too. Thermal detonator. See ya. See ya. <laughs> Big fan of comics, though, Nor wow. Nolan North. Come on! Uh, that's apparently not coverable. No, there's some things that just aren't because these guys aren't good at making cover shooters. Weird. Certainly didn't have the time to make one. <laughs> God, that thing even looks like a thermal detonator in your inventory. Yeah. That's yeah, insane. that's why I made that joke. Um,. good are we good is that i know there's one more dude i can see him on my map the two back and behind on the right those those dudes are several floors up they don't matter right you and there's just the panel we can hit a switch on be like the level's over we're done yes i mean my i have the jawline they should have done it. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. But also, yes. I thought somebody was banging on that door. That's the sound of me putting down a gun. How yeah. fucking nutty. Yes. Checkpoint me. Oh, this thing moves. Yeah. This oh. is the third time I've done this. If it called it the sequence is me fighting my way across generic platforms to make it to elevators mind. put in certain spots uh -huh. by God. Oh, hey, the next one, all the way down there. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Other guys' moment. Just right. No uh -oh. wonder they took your jetpack. God. Yeah, it's vile. It's yes. vile that they took my jetpack. My jetpack. Oh. I was like, there's nothing over here. Why do you want me to come here? So we could do this cool mechanic. How did that not kill you? I only get like eight shots with this. 
Yeah, regular one takes like two. Lights. I don't know why that didn't kill him. <sighs> hey, what's your strength as a game? I don't know. Cover shooting. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> False. Hey, at least the uh, cover shooting sniper rifling works when I'm at a ledge. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, sometimes he just forgets to do it. It's really annoying. But it's okay. They'll figure this out and get it working really well for Dark Void 2. Hell yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Capcom. Capcom, where's the money for Dark Void 2? You promised. <laughs> More dots. Oh, there you are. God, this is miserable. This is like what they thought the core idea of the game was. Yeah. Fucking nutty. <laughs> this is the worst part. <laughs> Aside from the archons. Is this a charge shotgun? I don't think so. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out why I didn't kill those guys. Yeah, I think because hit detection's bad. Yeah. Uh, That's usually the case. Yeah, I killed the beefy one in two shots. What the? F Not good. I'm empty. Now you're empty. <laughs> you're exaggerating how bad things are. <laughs> oh no, he found out where I was eventually. Oh, fuck oh, you. No? No? We're oh my god! I don't take a checkpoint at once. The entire four floors. That's insane. This Why is a. Like this? this is going to be a problem. Because I'm running out of ammo, and they're giving me like not very practical. Oh, thank God. Right. This I don't is... even know where this is, but I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. This is this no is way. pretty far, at least. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Now this is seventh gen. Yes, absolutely. Now it belongs to the demon pit. Okay, so we come to this, and then we slide down that, and then we look for the next thing they didn't intend me to platform to because I'm sick of this game shit. Okay, cool, this, great. This is the reviewers won't get this far part of the game. <laughs> this too bad, yeah. When in doubt, always entertain the Halo 5 solution can be employed. Right? It can! We're there! We're doing it! Nice! Fighting guys is super overrated. It fucking is. I chose the pacifist route. Eat a dick. <laughs> Ow. How, how did he? I don't know. Where's these snipers are from from everywhere. The lasers literally go through everything, right? What the fuck am I supposed to <laughs> gather from this situation? Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're at the bottom of this thing now. It's gotta just end soon. Game? Bob? And where's the where's the directing you? Anywhere? Nowhere. Nowhere but does nothing. Oh no. Bob, I'm worried they wanted me to kill everything in here in order for the next segment to work. Oh my god. That seems insane. Especially with all the nun ammo. Yeah. Is there a door on the wall behind you? Not that I saw, but give me one second to make it safe. Oh, oh, there oh it you opened go. up after I killed the guys on the ground floor. None of the rest mattered. Nice. Great. Oh, oh my God, humans. Do you have my jetpack? Please. please Could you really use a jetpack right now? God. Oh, now there's a marker even? Oh. Of course, there's a tiny hallway. <laughs> Very dark, tiny hallway. You know how much I love those. What are the glowing orbs getting? That's our experience point that we get to use to upgrade our guns. That kind of suck. Yes. And run out of ammo. What if I got hurt by walking down the, the pathway the way it was? Whoa! That was a hole in the ground. 
Oh. I sure need to figure out some sort of solution here. <laughs> so do you think it's going to respawn me in front of that hallway, or am I going to have to redo the final part of that again? Oh, oh thank God. God. It was like, they really should have. You did all sorts of things that would be like, this is a perfect part of the checkpoint. Right, because there were two hallways worth of uh, walk through here and get hurt. God, Jesus. <laughs> So that in my head, uh -huh, it's with so stairs. dark. I'm like stairs, right? Because you know, it did, also the the ground is apparently paper thin, which makes it really hard to yeah tell what's happening. Hey Adam, yay checkpoint, yay. Hey Adam, good. Adam, you're so cool. You made it. The ark is secure and the imperator is aboard. This way, hurry. Red, any word on Ava? Yeah, we got her. We're en route to the rendezvous point. Boing, 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 boing. Like, who's red? Oh, the lady with the red hair. Right. That checks out. Will, you made it. Oh, these faces. The revolt's <laughs> begun, and it is my fate to see it through. Is your gun okay? The Imperator. <laughs> the Imperator. Did you see it? No. Oh, it was incredible. Why will? Perhaps you have not having that problem anymore. Companion. Quickly. It's not on that end of the gun. Ah, oh, Bob will never know. <laughs> Rats off you. Oh, wow. He looks perfectly normal and everything's fine. Wanna hear a secret? I'm here to see the Imperator. <laughs> Man, his model looks PSP tier compared to mine. Tim was right to believe in you. Are you looking for secrets? You are the key. Do you know they have wow, opened a door? Wow, I'm the chosen one. It's <laughs> <Just like, laughs> pretty cool. Why is this just messing with the Matrix? Hunger. <laughs> Events put in place must be stopped. Their doorway must be closed. Wow. You will climb their tower, face the dweller, and seal the path of return. This is like baby Chloe from Be Uncharted. Lost. Come on, we better get going. Yeah, that's also how that scene in the Matrix ended. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We recovered these just after they brought you in. Figured you'd want them. I get to play good games! <laughs> Thank God. Hooray! Gives you one level more of the real I'll game. I'll take it. Right? I don't want hey, it to end in bad Uncharted. Right? Not just yet. We're going to have a little fun first. Target the air support and AA guns. Target the It is weird how many games we've played that just have the weird gameplay mode it shifts to, like Earthworm Jim in this. Yeah. That's, that's strange. Uh, sorry. Oh man, I'm getting lit up. You are. I wonder if I can man any of these AA things, because I was so exposed, I may have had time to kill like one enemy, but that wouldn't stop me from getting lit up like that, so. And there are guns. Okay. I, I will I will do that just as soon as I recover from this concussion, <laughs> right? Oh my god, who concussed you? A sad and desperate man put in a situation he wishes to not be. They're not coming with us? If we close the portal without them, they're stuck. Beat the final boss in Dark Void Man says win 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 ding ding ding. No. You know what? Maybe that sound is funny. Maybe we should have that sound. No. Don't bother, it's funny. Yeah, I guess I just chose uh, like the, yeah, yeah, the, the correct direction way. to go to find the enemies, but that also means all 20 of them were firing on me. I need to stop saying that. Why is that, Bob? Does it remind you of anything? Because it's directly quoting a Star Wars thing, a really famous one. <laughs> it could be anything you don't know. It's okay if you have that once in a while. Like that's in your game, sure. What's funny, funny little reference? That's what we you're saying. Every dog, dog fights, fight. Bob. Every dog fight. If you fight. watch Top Gun more, you would realize 
but you didn't watch Top Gun more. You watched Top Gun once. <laughs> Should have been an ROTC, Bob. <laughs> You'd have watched Top Gun at least three times. My brother got to see it at least 15. That's hilarious. Fucking RTC, what a scam. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Come on, man. Oh, nice. Maybe I'm just making this up, but for some reason I was just like, the main character Dark Sector is played by, like, the main character Smallville, right? Dark Sector? Yeah. Did you just say Dark Vector or am I losing it? I don't know. I, I feel like I said Dark Sector, but I might have said Vector. Um, I don't know. Chad, do you know? <laughs> Either the answer to this question or he said Dark Vector. <laughs> dark Vector, the crocodile. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, a lot of people heard Sector. Okay, I was thinking about this game then. <laughs> and my brain was ready to hear Void. So, um, I feel crazy because this area kind of looks really similar to the one we've done most of I know, like, missions. how did we end up he back here? I thought we were in something completely different now that we escaped from the enemies. No, that too was a tunnel. Um, is, are we still next to the Ark? We can't I think be. that thing was the Ark, yeah. What? what? I guess yeah. they can't have captured the Ark. Yeah, they didn't spot weld it like they did last what, time. Why, why is this whole, why is there so much of this game that's just around this one Ark? They made these mechanics and they had no time to no time to come up with good levels for it. He was Lex in Smallville. Oh, so it was someone from fucking Smallville, but it wasn't Superman. It was like Lucer. Fucking what? Okay, now I gotta watch an episode of Smallville that's focused around Lex Luthor before we play that game. <laughs> and the villain of Dark Sector is Lieutenant Barclay from Star Trek. Whoa. Oh my god, oh. that's awesome! Oh my god, what? That's incredible! I love that actor! That's oh man. That's really great. Dark Sector could have been in this week in one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Unless. Unless, yeah, it might. I, it might fall to this. It might fall to this. Because the whole thing is like bargain bin Resident Evil 4. Oh, really? Yeah. Does it control like that too? Does it have sort of tank controls? It no, they they do smooth out the controls a bit because they, they, okay. they, they kind of took the inspiration from gears and have moving and shooting okay. and covering. But you have Does the gun the cover upgrading work? and cover works. That's good. This is a really weird game. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm just taking it all in in this moment of listening to this song, thinking about the vibes of the Rocketeer, uh -huh. Mass Effect, Star Wars, Uncharted, and it's now that I'm ready to call it, this game's weird. <laughs> um, you ever played Darkness 1 and 2? Uh, we play, yeah. I played 1. Yeah, I, I played both very little, though. Uh, you played two. I, I think I played a tiny bit of two. I, I can't we have remember. A, we have a quick play, I'm pretty sure. Right. I wouldn't watch it, though. It's a quick play. It's terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. So the real question is, in a game like this, where you're supposed to notionally want to be on the ground even at all ever, Okay. Okay. Why would you make the ground guns overheat and need to reload and also not do as much damage? I don't These know. These things just shoot forever. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Because they're too afraid to just give you, like, absurd arcade shooter-style weapons on the ground. Because that's what they'd be. They'd be like, non-reloading things like Doom 1. Mm -hmm. And people during Savage Gen would not make that. They were afraid of it. Though that segment was enjoyable. It <laughs> does feel kind of... Billery. Oh, she was. Oh, she doesn't have a jetpack. Oh, no. Are we gonna have a moment where we dive down and try to save her? Oh, you thought I was in a ship. No. Okay. Yep. Hey, Bobby, you should watch the Rocketeer. 
Yeah, I should. I haven't been needing to see that for a very long time. I think still sparking from when we charged it up. What might have been years ago, <laughs> right? Oh, oh man. That, this film that grain's really risky. covering up this gradient in the background. It looks stellar. Yeah. Remember when we met? Remember. Yeah, those coal miners were trapped. Yeah, and the Red Cross pilots wouldn't fly because of the blizzard. <laughs> now that... She said we're trapped, right? Not we trapped? <laughs> yes, we're trapped. Because it sounded like we, and the subtitles were hard to read, and I'm like, we're, right? We're, right? Wow, that is huge. Oh my god. I have never seen anyone fly like that. Her face looks edited on right, from no. this angle. Her neck just oh, craned around the God, that ring is supposed to be a ring. <laughs> There's no way. It's got to be sure something else. Water. It's got to be some other thing that he's pretending is a ring. I've never proposed to you before. And I bought it from a gypsy. It's good luck. Well, I'm honored. What, why is the ring that huge, Bob? No, no, they're gonna explain it, right? Tell you. At the top of that tower, the watchers have opened a portal. Bob, if this is where it ends, this is absolutely where it ends. We are going to close it. Bob, if this is where it ends, I know. There's no way. Back home, in London, there's a party. That. After we. This will be like. When we get back. Peak Sephisjet. We, the last battle was fillery thing, and then she's like, well, will you marry me, and the game's over. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I started getting heart palpitations. I'm like, this might be the most 7 Gen game ever if that happens, because it's like, the game's identity is this, right? Uh-huh. And it's buried in Uncharted. We know. Oh, no! So close! I run out of ammo with everything else so fast. I know, right? I can't even risk it. Oh my god, Tavi. You're, you're real. So, you're so ripped. You're fucking huge, dude. They're, they're like side things are extending constantly. Yeah, I and know, I things. know. It's supposed to be a cool effect, and it is a cool effect, but then it makes you ask questions anatomically, and right. that's where it gets complicated. Most game devs are not brave enough to just have the cuts go, yeah, 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 for a minute. Uh-huh. It showed us a new chapter. I'm still like, the game's just going to end, though, isn't it? No, Bob, we're going to do one sky battle and then it's going to end abrupt. That thing's cool. Yeah, that's the thing that was seemingly following us forever ago. Right? Uh, I don't know why there was all that shit in between. Oh my God, that thing looks sick. Yeah, that looks cooler than anything else in this game. What in the world? Yeah, it literally looks like it could have been from a Final Fantasy, yeah. right? God, I feel bad that I could have just grinded more on the uh, turret segment. Uh huh. It's weak to bullets and bullets both. Yeah, it's just a Mecha King Ghidori. Absolutely. And that's great. They gave me the thermal detonator instead of the grenade I can cook. Oh. This is insane compared to the rest of the game. Yeah. Like, rocks are flying everywhere. I'm doing, like, a shmup. A flying shooter boss battle. Imagine that. We had those before. They were against the, the, those see. things you hate. The, the archons? archons? You mean the ones I have to land for? Yes. That's not a flying shooter, then, now, is it? Well, actually, you shouldn't land for those. But you have you. to to finish them. Uh, you can just float by them. And hit B? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Technically. Sure, your feet touch the ground, but it's in a cutscene if you do it exactly this way. <laughs> Chris uh, says, I didn't expect you to fight the iconic Yu Gi Oh! monster, 100 Eyes Dragon, that is the final boss. 
Yeah, Me neither. that's fair. Did I spot more to admit this final boss? What are, oh what my god, I... what? Is there a QTE where he kills you? No, I'm killing him. Oh. I hit the B button to do this. Okay. Yeah, rip his eye out. I sincerely hope that's where this is going. What's that? That, that was supposed to be cool. I did a dive punch to his eye. Oh my god. I know it looked really rough and it was hard for you to tell what was happening, but the, I assure you, you were impressed. The whole head exploded. Oh, maybe not. Maybe yeah, not. it was like, it was an eye on its hand or something. Yeah, it sure would have been cool if this had more boss fights in more cool environments like this. Like, they were really unique instead of just a bunch of canyons around the arc. Whoa. We gonna heal ever, dude? No. Don't be rude to him. Yeah, see, this is cool. Yeah. This is a cool thing I'm doing. I am enjoying this cool thing I am doing. Why was the game so much not this? I feel like any number of fights... Whoa! Any number of fights could have been this. Mm hmm But they weren't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> My head is spinning! <laughs> if there was ever a game for that sound effect. <laughs> yeah. No! <laughs> game! Callouts. There's a reason other games have them. It's so I know the enemy that is completely behind me is about to do a dive into my asshole. Um, we make flying shooters like this. Uh, we don't know what a boss fight is. We've never seen one before. And we will not check. I assume we did it, though. <laughs> If I shoot him enough, it opens up. Yep, there's the bee. Bee! Yeah, the uh, <laughs> the blue explosion is from the first thing. Okay, which are the two buttons? Yeah, this is sick. Yeah. And then he does a sick dodge, and then he punch. Or, you know, <laughs> hits him with his face. Or knee. Oh no, <gasps> your no, helmet. No, not my void head. <laughs> and your jetpack. What do we even do? Oh no. A liner. Oh, okay. He's gotta say something. You still have time. You, you, you could have even time. just said, fuck you. <laughs> you still have time. Say something. I think, I think that might be the dark void. It might be. Oh my god, the game's over, isn't it? I yeah, literally absolutely. called it when I said one absolutely. sky battle and it's done. It's not time yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What is this? You the game was ending! Let me walk over in front of the next <laughs> oh, way. Oh right, I didn't think about how there were two of you and one of me. to serve it is all you have ever been oh! i wish my loved one was not dead but alive and they murdered her because i wanted her dead <laughs> Betray your arm. It's just and that's how good you'll sense. smell if you use axe body spray <laughs> Hey, real quick question though. What was that explosion? What was any of that that caused the <laughs> Why was I protected? Here. Well, he's the key. It's the divide. Okay. Set me so down. explosions. I don't, don't know. I don't know why the key okay. the... You're gonna I don't know why the thing blew up. Well, please. Sit on the other side. 
Do you know what the Imperator told me? She that I would fall in love with the key. You right? Came to Why is it the picture? There's only one way to close this. I'm not going to make it back. Ava. Ava, I can't. Please, concentrate. Here with me now. There isn't much time. The fifth element is love! <laughs> Explosion. <laughs> hey, hey, Bob. What's up? This is a weird video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Also, there's a musical cure in here. Um, a musical note in here, riff in here, cue uh -huh. that's literally from Twin Peaks. Yes, absolutely. It had been three months or seven years or 10 hours. <laughs> I wish my loved one was not dead, but alive. The ring is normal size now. I think it's normal size for you wearing a thick ass leather glove. Yeah. She did Yippee. what she had to do. There's nothing you could have done. Come. There's I wish my loved done. one was not dead, but alive. I wish my loved one was not dead, but alive. That might earn it the most out of any game we streamed since that soundtrack. Congratulations, yes. your radar has, has been, been up. Nothing. Oh, it shows collectibles. Okay, that's that's neat. Um, yeah, no, that that seemed all right. Yeah, that seems like a seven or so. It's I, 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 that I, there's a lot of like stuff that, that shouldn't be there, dead. like all the Ed Freeze. What? I wish like get fries from dead, but from no fucking life. Xbox. That makes sense. Like like left Xbox went to okay Moby Games. Ed, check on this. Yeah, that's the guy who made the Xbox division, isn't it? In 1995, he joined Microsoft Game Studios and began publishing relationships with game developers. Gigantic list. Holy shit. The dude went off, made his own studio with people from FASA. And then history denied him. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough. That's rough. I would say the Capcom didn't know how to advertise it, but also this game is so confused. Yeah. And weird. I, I'm going to be honest. I'm starting to think Capcom mandated one half of this game go in there because I it just seems so weird that the Uncharted thing is there. Maybe, but every time we hear about these Capcom outsourcing projects, they're, they they say insanely hands off, almost to a detriment. Adam fucking boys? Yeah, right? What? Can I get weirder names to show up in the fucking credits? Um... Are you sure you aren't thinking of the Square Enix thing? Because with the uh, DMC, the DMC, like they they gave feedback on Dante. They did, but they also told them to do more of their own thing a lot too. Like they did, they wanted something really different, Will, and they pushed them to do that. He didn't make it. He didn't. Oh, this what? is the eight bit music. This clearly Mega Man 2 inspired sound font. Yeah, it's font. Like Mega Man 2. Why? You gotta be kidding. You took the theme song that is basically from Twin Peaks. Because that's Laura Palmer's theme. It's literally the sad theme that plays when people sob thinking about Laura Palmer. This is insane. Oh, hello. What is all this stuff? Were we really the Dark Void all along? Thank you for the fifteen dollars. I didn't. I missed that part. Were we the Dark Void all along? No, we. Well, 
maybe we have the power to open the dark void or leave the or dark void? Or sit on the other side of the dark void and close the dark void? Hey, you know what have helped this game narratively? Uh, if we went through a dark void to get to the void. Yes. Because we still ultimately went through a tunnel and we were there instead of the tropic island we were on. I'm still convinced it was it was the plane crash at the beginning when with the beam of targets. That was us entering the dark void. But you know everywhere else in the game is the single desert biome. I know. And they're like, oh, let me explain this place you have come to, Traveler. <laughs> like, it doesn't make sense for the tropical island where they didn't go, where are we? This is unlike anything on Earth. Uh -huh. To be in the void. They just went through a tunnel in the ground and then they ended up in the desert place. Because the moment that happens, that's when the guy gives you the introduction to, let me explain this is that place. Right. So it's clearly that first part's in the Bermuda Triangle. And then there's a hole in the ground we go into. Why'd you do that? Man, there sure were two whole biome. The three. Because <laughs> there's also indoor sci-fi. Right, there's also spaceship insides. Everybody, everybody loves spaceship insides. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. The the Colonel from fucking Metal Gear keeps showing up in these fucking Demon Pit games. Yeah, he is. He's in all of them. They're about. That's damning, if nothing else. Right? <laughs> Ooh, thank you, NVIDIA, for Physx. The Focus SE is the perfect vehicle for driving around Shadow Moses Island. Z-Lib. Man, that font's terrible. <laughs> Zub? Yeah. That's the ball game. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> so about how this game's weird. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. What a weird game. Want to do it again? No. Oh. Well, I, I guess we'll play Aliens Colonial Marine then. Uh, can hmm. you turn it on with the Xbox controller next to you? Sure. It's an all Xbox night and none of the games are new. Well, that just has to be how it works, man. Evidently. Oh, this isn't turning it off for some reason. Did 360 not do that? It did. Did it get unplugged? How did it get unplugged? I, oh my god, how did that? It barely came loose at the brick. Oh, okay. I don't know how, though. Weird. I think someone must. It's on. Right? There's like no cable <laughs> on to do that. No. The power brick, which is. So close to the series actually you'd be like, ow, I fucked my ankle up and stepped on this and swiped. I do like uh was it the guy who makes the uh lesbian gamer comic or whatever? Oh, it's the the Brienne and Yeah. Um He made the joke of the Xbox consoles have had a, a boot logo that is an X on a box once. <laughs> Every other time, ball. Yeah. And I'm like, you, shit, he's right. When's the X ball coming out? I don't know. They should do it. Um, By the way, I'm just letting this grow in for the demon pit because I figured it'd be funny if each of these streams I was more bearded and neck bearded. I guess I can do it on my account so that Whatever I Whatever you want, man. Also, hey, check out my cute shirt. <laughs> Isn't that shirt cute? Cute shirt. Why do you hate the Game Sphere? <laughs> I mean, I would love the Game Sphere if it was called the Game Sphere. Do you think they, just, they have people at that company just upset that making a Sphere-like product is really hard and oh, doesn't yeah. actually do benefit anyone. I assume most product designers right. are that. It is taking a long time oh, to yeah. sign in. <laughs> so so check this out. Focus is pulled here. That way my face is a little bit 
a little bit soften. If I come into... Look at that. <laughs> what the demon print does to you! Anyway, so... It also gives a nice, beautiful, like, out-of-focus look to most everything. Let's go check out Bob's cam, because it's still signing in. Is the... Maybe the Ethernet got pulled out. The Ethernet was yeah, it's plugged in. Uh, I guess it was a mistake choosing my profile. Maybe that's just bored because I haven't logged in forever. Oh, it, oh, it's trying to do something. Now it's finally popping. How wow. the fuck is this console doing this? It's never... Now go to the Bobcam. Why is the Bobcam so easy? See that? So much noise. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see from back here. Yeah, but it's like on everything. I don't think our settings are... Settings that different? Why can't it? I don't know. I'm going to power set the uh, wireless. <laughs> right, well, I guess you don't know. I don't know. It's really unfortunate that Barry is being so mean to Torb over there. Beating him up. Yeah. It's uh, sell down. Oh, it, you you told it not to. I guess we can still jump over and try. Uh, you can do it through the Xbox Guide button. Uh, just just yeah, just bring up the Xbox Guide. Uh, it says it's signed in now. Connect oh, Xbox there's Live. <laughs> we really don't need the Xbox Live connection for this, but... We don't know that. It might have some weird online mechanic that totally still... We would have said the same about Two Human, now wouldn't we? <laughs> Technically, that didn't do anything for us as we played through that As game. we played through it normally, yeah. yes. For, on the stream. But maybe someone can join and be the alien. What the fuck is happening? I don't know. Maybe the Xbox Live servers are down. Possible. Could you imagine? I mean, who's Shax? Hey, remember that time the Sony servers went down and because they were hacked? Uh -huh. And not even that long before it, the Xbox servers had gone down twice. I saw people on Twitter who were like, what in the fuck? It wants fuck? to add more security to my account. Is no. that why? Maybe that's why any of this happened. Sign in with your email and password? Question mark? What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Right, I don't no, care no, anymore. We don't. We don't need. This. Jesus oh fucking Christ! How is Microsoft a company? Wait, what's up? I think it logged you out entirely. Bring up the guide again. Yeah. So now you gotta. We'll just sign in as Dan because it does not want to. Sounds great. I would love to have these achievements. I would love that so much. Oh, hey, mine worked. Crazy. I honestly expected it to do the same. 